Well, hello everybody. Oh, we're muted. Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Arbor Stone. Woo! Uh, so today, part four. Uh, actually, this is House Two Helzer. This is not Arbor Stone. This is House Two Helzer. Um, once again, I got here because I kind of ran over here during the uh, the review that I put up for day three, um, and I grabbed this one mastery. Uh, so yeah, uh, welcome guys. Today we're going to be uh, continuing our adventure in End of Dragons. I'm expecting a lot more story today than there was yesterday. And um, basically just uh, progressing through the Echovald Wilds, grabbing whatever we can. Um, I also really kind of want to see the Saitang Province jumping puzzle. But I have no idea where it is. And I kind of want to do the Spirit Blossom Spider thing there as well. But I'm not too... Somebody gave me some advice on that. They said in a... I can't remember. They said in a field or something. <laughs> they were more accurate than that. I just can't remember. Um, and the other thing I really want to do as we start out here is I want to buy some fishing supplies. Because we stopped fishing in the back half of the previous part. And that was pretty disappointing to me. So um, I do want to be fishing and I want to see some of this stuff. Also, since we're here, the meta I'd like to do today in this part, the Gang uh, War of Echovald. And we have some relics that we can collect in the rubble here at House Zuhelzer, so I kind of want to do this too. Because I saw this event earlier in the review, and I never really got to uh, progress with it too much. Wow, whoops. I thought I was on Warhorn there, and I'm totally not on Warhorn. Uh, I also might change my build a little bit. See, I really like vampirism rooms. I like being the vampire harbinger. I think it's really cool. Like, look at this hill when this guy dies. Boom, it's so nice. But at the same time, I want quickness. So one of the big fantasies about Harbinger to me is giving myself my own quickness on a power build and using Lich Form with it. I mean, and the best time to do that is going to be before we get the new Elite, the Elixir Elite, which isn't that amazing for solo gameplay. I, I grant you that. But, uh, you know, we'll be wanting to play with it. So I'm just not sure. I'm wondering if I can get my heals and stuff purely through Dagger 2. The heal and then the signet. The signet of the Locust. So that's kind of what's on my mind right now. Um, and then also a little bit of the weakness ripping. But you'll notice here, our quickness uptime is not that great. Like, if I Lich here, what do we get? Two quickness auto attacks? And then we go back to the slow. Which isn't a fantasy, really. So I'm wondering if we can change our um, setup. Uh, I, I kind of want to look at diviners, basically. But if that takes the vitality away, I think it may be diviners' leadership or something. Look at that, though. 20,900. Just from a single two. It does feel really good when you get that shotgun. Also, I've changed here Dread, so I kind of misinterpreted Dread on the previous part. Dread is not gain quickness on the three, okay? Dread is gain quickness when you fear. And it just so happens that on Cornet Crow and on Reaper, the three is a fear. So for those two specializations, it's a fear. And therefore, it's quickness. But for Harbinger, it's not a fear at all. It's just a dash. If Devouring Cut was dash in and fear people around you, it would be really cool. So basically, this Grandmaster trait on Harbinger doesn't have an extra cool synergy. It just has, you know, it, it's just a cooldown will come up sometimes if you're getting a lot of kills. But so, I kind of didn't like that idea. So then I thought, well, I'll do Spike the Spirit. But that's a bit lame too, and I don't see anything especially synergistic. So I'm just going close to death. So we just get 20% more damage when they're nearly dead. Which is fine, you know? It's pretty cool too. Um, maybe I should turn the game down just a little bit. Since it's this combat game. Uh, what else was I thinking of the build? Can't really remember. I still don't really want to try Cascading Corruption. I mean, that's the thing. Right now, our build is probably a Cascading Corruption build just because... The quickness won't linger outside. But the quickness inside is good. This is going to feel really lame without it. But just a little bit of a cripple pulse every now and then. It's, it's not worth it, you know. It's not like I get sustain out of that little pulse, you know. Just everything about the spec is going to start feeling way less responsive. 
All right, what's going on here, man? There's just infinite enemies spawning at this relic. Use a rune key to disable this. Oh my god. Oh no no no! I misclicked. Okay, one, two. I don't know where I got this rune key from. Was that what I picked up in the rubble? There we go. Speakers, thank you for your help. So now I have one relic. Man, though, we only have um, we only have 90 seconds before this is over. And there's a ton of players around, but very little progress. How much progress do I make when I give in two? Oh, wow, this isn't going to go. We're not going to succeed here. It's nice to see a spud, by the way. We're not going to succeed here. There's just way too much that we need to do. I think this one's scaled a bit. Attempt to bypass without a key. Oh, okay, so you just get punished for that. So I've got to go to the rubble first. I wonder how many players have actually figured that out about this event, and that's why it's going so slow. People don't know how it works. Look how tanky this guy is, too. Man. Might just be the, the build is probably. Also, the other thing is I want quickness dagger always. That's kind of the thing, you know. When I'm not in, I want to be doing this, but under quickness. And that, that is sustain as well, you know, the dagger eyes. It's easy to forget about. It's kind of one of those sort of unsung heroes of vanilla, I think. I think there were necro players way back in the day around launch that really understood dagger eyes were cool, but in dungeons and stuff. But it's kind of been forgotten by me, I think, for a long time. Since Reaper came out, really. Anyway, so we press F on the rubble. I'm not exactly helping here, am I? Oh, we're halfway, but yeah, we're not going to make it. Yeah, look, I have a key icon above my head. Sorry. That's as long as I can hold it. Well, I suppose we can always try again another time. Wow, that animation of him digging was really crazy there. All right, that's cool. Um, That's fine. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. I'm going to sort to divine this. I'm going to stop talking about it, and I'm just going to do it. So this is power, precision, ferocity, concentration, right? Um, so you might say, well, WP, you're not going to have any vitality, so surely you're going to get nuked. We're going to go from 35,000 health here, like way down once this is done. Oh! It did my weapons too. No, it didn't. I was going to say. Oh, there's been a patch there. We could also just put a, a, a concentration sigil on instead of going like this. Because I kind of want to stay as dragon. So look, we've just lost 7,000 health. Um, <clears throat> instead of accuracy here, let's put strength here. So it matches the other set. And then instead of vampirism runes, we're going to lose a bunch more here. I think I'll go leadership. Uh, wait, no, not leadership. We could do divinity. That way we keep a little bit of our health. So our boon duration is now 86%. So this will hit all of our boons. And what this will make, this kind of plays into the Harbinger thing a little bit more as well. When we get the Elixir of Ambition. Um, that's with the tool. Hold on. Yeah, gaining every boon. They just don't listen on the tooltip, I suppose. When we get the Elixir of Ambition, you know, that will be a big, big bump for us now. So we'll see. We'll see how this feels. Um, so we're moving these. The idea being, whatever heals I was getting from vampirism, we can substitute now with dagger and stuff. I imagine some of them will end up on display. Most of we heard that yesterday in the previous part. Okay, so what's going on here? This looks like some kind of side quest. Oh no no no! Uh, we already spoke to her. What do you want me to do? Look for items of significance to the Zuhelzer house. Anything that might help me figure out more of their story. To find a pristine Kurzic relic within the rubble. Huh. I'm not sure. Someone in the live chat says, Hey WP, I'm still getting through part three and loving every minute of it. Thank you, man. I'm really glad. Um, I'm actually really glad at how many people are watching those videos. You know, it's a lot to get through on this Let's Play, and it seems people are really enjoying it. And they, even if they're not able to get here, like, right as the videos are first going up, it seems a lot of people are watching them retroactively. Like, I'm currently getting a lot of comments on part two. 
I don't know whether that's just because people want to watch everything before they get to part three or they don't know part three's there yet or whatever. But a lot of people are watching part two at the moment. Which, uh, yeah, makes me really happy. So, anyway, yeah. Thanks, man. Did you see the tourists from Tyria? Yes, it's... Yeah, we already heard them talking about that. So I kind of had a weird thing in the review today. I think I'm going to get a bit of kickback from the community. Because everyone's in a very positive headspace at the moment, you know. So criticism doesn't go too well in, in moments like this. But I was talking about how I'm kind of disappointed in Echo Valley, You know how open it is? But here's the funny thing is, I did that in the review. I, I script, then I record the audio, edit the audio, and then I do the footage last, okay? So when I was getting the footage, I want Guild Wars to look good. I want these. I want to be make the game to be impressive, right? So I came to Echo Valley and I started filming stuff every beautiful area I can. So what's now going on with that review, and I, I can see it coming, I think. Is there's me in the commentary whinging about how I feel like it doesn't quite hit all the sweet spots But I'm like countering my own argument in the footage that people are watching as I speak because I've then gone and tried to undermine it as best I can Which is kind of a weird one, but yeah Like moths caught in flames. Are you a speaker? No, not anymore. Not for a long time. They lost their way when the wardens came in. Oh, I can't speak positively enough about the Wardens in this expansion right now. You know what struck me, guys, in, in the previous part, in part three? You know, they're really emphasizing that the Wardens are hundreds of year old, right? That totally ties them to the Silvari thing. Hey, where are the Wisps? Just like we saw in Melanju's realm. That's awesome. Uh, that ties totally to the Silvari thing, where we don't know if Silvari age. I think they're continuing to string us along this idea that they might be another variety of the Silvari. Really excited to see where that goes. Skygazer Cathedral. Oh, wow. Echovald Unmade found two out of five instabilities in the Echovald Wilds. Oh, shit. Was that Petrified Warden, the other one that I found? Oh, look, there's bits of void around. Oh, look, it has the whole void effect. Oh! Yes, we found them. They're in there. Ugh. Must have snuck off to visit Lover's Cathedral. Please, you have to let me in. No, do not go in there. Let us take care of it. <gasps> let me through. I need to see her. Uh, I know I can't stop you. <laughs> but there is something wrong with the bodies. Very wrong. So I'm wondering... Oh, is the effect gone now? Oh, it was there for a bit. Yeah, look, look, look. it does kind of... The lighting isn't as good as it was when we first got to Arborstone earlier, you know? But it's pretty good. Dude, it's very creepy and cool and exciting, isn't it? What is this tunnel over here? Look at this room over here. What is this? Oh, I want to go in. This is Lover's Cathedral, is it? More Will of the Wit. Oh, my lord. Look at the blues. It's even a little bit purpley in here. Oh, hello. The Will of the Lip Wisps want to fight. Okay, let's check out Diviners, shall we? Let's pull them both in. Whoa! Oh, they have different abilities. Let's bounce the uh, scythe through them. Oh, it doesn't bounce anymore, does it? I swear, that's an example of a skill they made a lot more boring after that. So here, what we're looking at is our might as well, right? All the boon duration will help our might. God, I'm dying though. That confusion. Dagger two. Big heal. Signet. Big heal. I can't really auto with the dagger here because... There we go. Okay, there I took a lot of damage, but it was just confusion, which kind of wrecks this build. Oh my god, this place is beautiful. Is there anything for me to do in here? I've had that experience quite a lot here at Echovald, where they've made some really incredible places. Ah, oh, Guild Wars just suffers not having traditional quests, man. In any other MMO, you'd be like, ah, there's probably just a little quest that makes use of this environment. In Guild Wars, if there's no map comp there and you can't see an event nearby, it's very likely that it's just... Well, I, I don't know, maybe I'm whining about something I shouldn't be. Maybe there's a set, Maybe an event goes in there eventually. Um, oh, hey, we had a donation. Jesus, thank you. Blood blood bow. You know, I, I made... I was like five hours into episode three before that happened. Thank you, dude. Hey, WP, are you a driver or a co-pilot? Being dyslexic, it's wonderful to be able to live the whole story without stopping for five minutes at every text. Thanks. 
What does that mean, driver or co-pilot? I don't know. Is that a joke? What is that? Are you just asking generally how I view myself? I don't know. I feel like I, um... I feel like there's more honor in the support role. But my arrogance is such that I'd rather be the driver. <laughs> is that... <laughs> that the best way of, of describing myself? <laughs> um... Let's try and kill these guys. Uh, I feel like I'm missing some terminology there. Once again, the weakness. Very disappointing. Uh, not, not, not. Uh, that's not a criticism of the game. Disappointing my build can't handle it. I guess we could use the cleanse. The thing is, I don't want to dedicate a utility skill to it. Especially when that would mean I have to dip out of shroud. So let's watch our quickness here. Okay. Damage, we stun, we do damage, we dip out. Oh yeah, we got plenty now, look at this. There we go. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. This is what I'm talking about. Plus the 25 might. Yeah, lich form, baby. We got it. We got it. What's going on here? Kestrel, Tomiko. Good to see you, Gux. Ayumi sent me to keep an eye on the speaker headquarters, but I made a rookie mistake and got caught. Barely met. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this just the heart guy that we spent all that time with yesterday? It is. It totally is. I don't really feel the need to go back in there. Let's let's explore somewhere new. I did want to go to this little pond, though. Do you remember at the end of part... Um... Oh, I never managed to get that hero challenge, though, did I? I wonder what I messed up with that. To find a way to climb. Look at that up there, by the way. Hmm. I guess we'll go back later. What is our next Harbinger thing that we're going to unlock? It's the Elixir of Bliss. Yeah, you go. Con con convert conditions on yourself into life force. It's quite good. And you also corrupt boons. I don't like how the Blight Threshold thing on all Elixirs is always the same and always uninteresting. But, uh, hey. Oh, where's this zipline go? This is going to take me up into the trees. Whoa! Oh, look at this! I'm, I'm interested in this. Oh, look, what's that? There's a spirit on this root. Hello. Well, this is a bit of the uh, the Echo Vowed fantasy I was I was looking for. Mm. Will you let me on that arena then? Oh, they will. Oh, here, we can probably get the thing. We're really high up. Anyone on this line? I'm a bit hurt over here. Might need some help getting clear of hostile territory. Look, there's some stealth kestrels up here. My god. But how would I get to the other side? The, the, the challenge is through this window. So this isn't actually what I want. I mean, it's gorgeous. Don't go. Me... Hey, look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fall. Don't fall. Look. There's a bird up there. And some ledges to climb. This is a very interesting experience right now. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We can go onto that ledge. Oh, look, this is totally like a little. This is totally a little like telegraphed climbing thing, right? I think anyway. I don't know. It's interesting with all these experiences, knowing that if I had a sky scale, this would all be so much more simple. All right, look, look, look there's a way in. And there it is. Wow, is that the intended thing? Because that's such a cool thing. The speakers have taken sight of this ancient power as their headquarters, plotting their campaign of terror from here. If I drop in there, I'm screwed. This wall looks really good. And of course, we already got the vista. The vista was a whole other thing. Remember, we were up that side and we tried to glide across and it just wasn't good enough. So I think I'll waypoint out now. Oh man, we were we were going here and we got totally distracted. Let's Let's go back to Cropper. Got a joke for you. Why does the new Luxon? Oh, we already heard that. That was yesterday. Uh, a 
I do like how the whole expansion is using this dialogue thing. You walk near them, they speak. I know I've complimented that several times, but I feel like I have to keep going. Oh, and I saw this in my review too. Look, there's actually petrified saplings here. Which is weird because we've actually already experienced gathering petrified wood. That was in Ember Bay. Long before the, the concept of this x pack was ever on their minds, clearly. Here you go. So here's that new stat set again. Condition, concentration, expertise, precision. This is basically the Condi version of Diviners, right? That's Diviners, but Condi. It doesn't have a name as far as we know, though, right now. It's just there at the exotic tier. This place looks better during the day. You know, it's funny. Every review I've done so far, I've logged in and it's nighttime. And I've had to shuffle the footage around and stuff so that you see the daytime stuff early. Because I think that's when the game looks at its best. When it came to Echovald, though, I really didn't need it to be day anymore. I, if anything, I think Echovald looks better at night. So, naturally, when I log in, guess what it is? It's day. <laughs> uh, it's just never the right one, damn it. So, it's a POI up there. This is good. This is very good. This reminds me a little bit of that cave in the Straits of Devastation where all the ranger pets are, you know, at the end of the game. Is it really still? Okay, we're about level with it now. Whatever it is. So we could glide over there. It's like in that direction, though. Why do I feel like it's on that, you know? The problem is... If I did a full Springer, plus Bond of Faith, then Glide, then Jade Bot, I could get there. But what if I'm End of Dragons exclusive, and I don't have... The Bond of Faith? You can't use the Springer in that way. Commander, something terrible's happened. The speakers just declared war on the Jade Brotherhood, and the people of Echovald are getting caught in the crossfire. I wouldn't ask if it weren't a matter of life or death. If you can, please, meet us at Mori Village. Wow, the Gang War of Echovald, an explosion rips through the Echovald. I kind of don't want to do the meta yet. I kind of want to do it on the next cycle. Oh my god, there's a zipline up here. Oh, hold on. That's going to go down, isn't it? Oh... I think I was supposed to go a completely different technique to get here. Across that gap, it would seem. Um, here we are, Yarrow's Perch. Hello. Oh, this is cool. So this is like our guerrilla forces, like up in the trees, just sort of waiting to pounce. I've got to go on that zip line. The, the zip line is how I was meant to make it. This guy's scrambling along on a sky scale. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, we had another donate. We had Little Panda with two euros. Thank you. Um, and Noise with uh, nine pounds. Thank you. Huge thanks for the Let's Play. They're letting me experience the expansion in a really comprehensive, immersive way. Even though I'm stuck in doing 12-hour days at work and not yet able to play. Man, you're exactly who I like to make these for. I mean, I, I imagine everyone that wants to be at home playing it. And um, I hope you could, you, you're getting something out of it. Thank you very much. And that's really, really generous of you. Thank you. That's generous of all of you guys. Oh, there's a chest here. Maybe this isn't the expectation. With some unusual coins. Did it, it, I feel like this is a jumping puzzle. And I've somehow backdoored it. You know? Where are we? We're at the Temple of the Dredge. I mean, there was no achievement, right? So maybe it's not a full jumping puzzle. And they did put map comp at the back of it, which is rare for jumping puzzles. Not, it, it doesn't never happen. But I think uh, in more recent patches, it's definitely rarer. Do I have, oh, I don't have any battery. I don't like how this mount energy booster effect is always on me now. The Brotherhood made their first move. They're marching toward Kroba, a Kurzik outpost in speaker territory. I don't think I'm going to enjoy this map much if every little while there's a huge amount of dialogue coming in about a meta that I'm not even playing. Hmm. Maybe that's me being picky. So what was the expected technique for me to get here like this? Oh, look, look. Spirits. Hmm. Oh. If I didn't have... Well, I'm not going to have it for the next one, am I? Oh. 
course. My trusty raptor. Do want to be careful because of our endurance. This is quite novel, isn't it? Keep an eye on the endurance. Don't do a jump too early. Hey. And then what did they expect me to do? Run along here? Oh man, look, there's void stuff all over the Temple of the Dredge. I love that dialogue in the last part about the sadness of all the dead dredge. It's really cool. In like a macabre kind of way. Devouring cut there scared me a little bit. I was I was really worried I was gonna go over the edge. Yeah, this feels good. Look at this. The spike might is crazy. 25, we got the fury, we get the quickness. Actually, I would almost say we have an overabundance of these things. The might is so huge. Well, I think we want Awaken the Pain, just so that the might is worth even more, right? We want the auto vulnerability. Yeah, I think we keep all this stuff. Okay, um... Yeah, the, 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 the POI, let's go over here. Let's go to this POI. How did the dredge all die? Um, the dialogue suggested that the Ministry of Purity came here and killed them all. What are we looking at here? Aleola shrubs. Look at this. Aha, battery as well. Good. Greedy grub. So these are sap blobs. Collect sap for the restoration ritual before the plants stop pr producing it. Oh, look, it's amber, guys. There's amber on this. Well, they're calling it sap, but it's totally ambrite, right? Maybe not. Rush. Applies a short burst of swiftness, helps you dodge worm spill. Why is that a whole new skill, not just the regular? Oh. Oh, he picked it up. Oh, and then he ran off. Oh, and the tree's empty now. Oh, and that... So what do you think I should do? Kill all the grubs first? Look at that, I was only in shroud for a second and we still have quickness here. It also means the boons, like just the random uh, regen I get here from the elixir is good. So should I wait to see a grub do something before I use the skill one? There's a mechanist helping us. So I'll do it there. There you go. The skill one helped me there. Oh, God. Dodge, dodge. Deposit sap. Nice. That was pretty cool. I think the mechanist just gave me alacrity. For a very brief second. Oh, the ultra mines are under attack. Hey, there's a nice warden. Mysterious warden. Talk to me. Are you going to talk after the event? Are we rebuilding a forever tree? Where are we? We're at Ferndale. One more. Oh, I've got to see this law here. Oh, am I a driver or a gunner? Not co-pilot, my mistake. Oh, I see. Um... I don't know, it kind of depends how old I was playing that you're talking about. Oh, are you talking about the siege tale? Hold on. Well, perhaps next time, huh? Wait, what? They'll bloom again, and maybe by then the grubs will have moved on. No! We had it done! Did the event fail? Oh, who speaks now? The warden stares at you silently, making neither friendly gestures nor aggressive ones. You sense it reacting to your presence on some level, but not much beyond that. Is this what just happens to a Silvari that gets too old? Hello, can you speak? The warden stares at you, but says nothing. You get the feeling it understands, but whether it can't speak or chooses not to, you're not certain. Oh, how cool is that? 
I don't really like their weapons much. They seem to like clash stylistically. But wow. Okay, bye. What do you want to say? There's a Silvari here. Let's just it's a Silvari. Dorian. By the way, um I've been really captivated by the idea. Do you remember when we saw that virtuoso in part one? A Silvari that had been in Cantha. I've been really captivated by the idea that one of the missing firstborn is here in the Echovald. Could this be it? Ready? I hope when I say who are you exactly, she says I'm a firstborn. That would be so good, wouldn't it? Alright, here we go. Ready? Hello, have you come because of the tree as well? What is this place? This? It's the last forever tree. At least the last I know of. It's a hidden relic of an age long past when the Kurzik people flourished in this forest. What's a forever tree? It's a magical tree sacred to the Kurziks. They had a ritual in which the chosen among them were purified of sin and bonded with a forever tree. Go on. The process made them into giant lumbering plant creatures, juggernauts. And as long as their forever tree was living, they lived with it. And we said, so dot 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 that warden. Well, I think it's possible it may actually be one of those juggernauts. The warden's not as big as the stories say, but it's bound to a small tree after all. So what are Arena Net doing? Are they saying that wardens are juggernauts now? Because they were separate. They were very much separate things in Guild Wars 1. This Silvari, looking back on the past, seems to have conflated them. But is that her mistake? Or is that the authority of Arena Net declaring something? Your friend doesn't seem real talkative. Well, no, I read that for some reason as well. No shit. I don't know why. Well, no, it isn't, unfortunately. It might help if it could tell us what the tree needed, but I've accepted that that's what it is. That it is what it is, sorry. Who are you exactly? I'm Dorian of the Cycle of Dawn. I hail, as you might imagine, from the Grove. I awakened from the dream a few years ago. I've heard some of your exploits, Commander. It's an honor. Oh, she's not a firstborn. They didn't go that way, that far. It's okay, they, they got they got a few firstborn. They can filter them around. Alright, let's have one of the firstborn on like this island here. By the way, I've said it, if I've not said it before, I'll say it again. Follow that shaman's Twitter. Do you guys remember how pre-release the world map got expanded and I said, hey guys, there's a chance that when it's data mined, it's even bigger. Do you remember? Well, it is. And that shaman has now data mined what's in the files. And it's even bigger than this. You can see like a whole island chain north of Isles of Janthir. There's another island chain like the Battle Isles. Up here on the top left. And you can see the continent on the top left here. You can see the Arctic and even like some black stuff above the Arctic. It's huge. Go to his Twitter. Look at the goddamn thing. It's incredibly cool. Um, so anyway, yeah. Firstborn could be all around all those areas. Who, whoever knows. Um, why are you here? I saw this place in my dream. Wow, look at this. There were, there's a Silvari with a wild hunt, do we dare say? To come here to the Echo Vale. This is it. This is what I always wanted them to write. I searched for it for years, seemingly in vain. Then I heard a tale about the great petrified forest of Cantha, and I knew I had to go there. What does your wild hunt want you to do here? I'm not sure exactly, but I believe it's my duty to help the forever tree flourish and maybe help the warden remember who it once was. Who it once was? What do you mean? Well, I think it's possible it may actually be one of the juggernauts. Okay, we read that. Quite a cunning little loop there. Do you really think that warden's a juggernaut? I, I don't know. All I know is it hasn't left this tree and it hasn't attacked me. Its only interest is protecting the tree. Maybe it, uh, maybe it only knows that the tree is special, or maybe, maybe it is. I don't like the idea that they're the same. I don't want them to be the same. But I love the idea of a warden trying to preserve the tree nonetheless. I suppose it's possible. It seems like, oh my god, there's so much. Uh, let's, let's humor her and say it's possible. Possible, exactly. I suppose I could be wrong. Regardless, it won't harm us as long as we are helping the tree. You're trying to do what with the tree? I want to heal it. I was trained by one of the menders that was healing mother. Sorry, the pale tree. And I thought uh, thought those techniques could work it. What the fuck? They even slipped in a little bit of a nod to the pale tree being damaged. 
You know when I said that they've done their homework when, when we found Nika in the last part? I'm getting that vibe again. Do the techniques help it? They do help it! But only for a little while so far. But the tree does still bloom. I'm very new at this, but I'm getting better. Hold on, there was so much dialogue hidden in here. Why are you here? How did you get here? I begged one of the ambassadors to take me along. I promised I wouldn't say... Wait, I begged one of the ambassadors. Who's the ambassadors? Like, the people with Kazmir and stuff. I promised I wouldn't say who, and I made my way here. Led by my memories. It's just as it was in my dream. Why is this in the dream, though? The dream is the collective pool of knowledge that Silvari have, right? From the Pale Tree. So it is suggestive that some other, like, a secondborn or a firstborn was here before, right? 25 years ago? And they fed their memories into the dream, and now Do Doirian here is coming. What an old lady name as well, by the way. Right? Aren't they basically hinting that there's there's been a Silvari here of another uh, of another generation? It's just as it was in my dream. Oh, what if I'm a Silvari? I wonder if I get unique dialogue. How do you mean you want to make the tree flourish? I want to heal it. Do the techniques work? Yeah? Okay, what was it? Why are you here? Why does your wild cunt want you to go here? Who it once was, what do you mean? Do you really think it's a juggernaut? That seems like a stretch. You might be right, but regardless, it won't harm us as long as we're helping the tree. Okay, I think we got all the dialogue. Oh, really good. We gotta, we gotta do the event. We gotta wait for the event. We gotta do it. I can't believe that event failed. Or maybe we succeeded and it's just doomed to fail in the story. Right. Uh, um, oh my god, I had another person with a donation in the live chat. I'll tell you, it's really cool Let's Playing with live chat if people do that. <laughs> uh, hand Headman. Thanks, man. Uh, with $10. Says, really looking forward to your thoughts on the rest of the story. What have been your favorite bits so far? I mean, everything Anka. Everything Aether Blades. My trin was a bit of a lame duck. But aside from that... I mean, I think it's all been fantastic. Really well paced. Gorik's hilarious. Um, there's not been an over, but there are certain characters I don't, I'm not that entertained by, and they're not in the story much. So I, I think I kind of wish Marjorie had a little bit more edge or something to her. Maybe I don't know. I feel like Detective Marjorie hasn't quite gone anywhere for me yet. But all the stuff with the Elder Dragons and stuff is is great. The visuals of Suwon disappointed me a bit, but aside from that, I'm I'm pretty much flying high with this at the moment. Fucking awesome, man. Is this the south of the map? I think it is. Ugh, but when's it gonna re-trigger? So I guess they misspoke in the press stuff earlier about the uh, the wardens and so on. I guess I'll leave. Oh, wow. What's that there? Oh, it's an offensive protocol. I think these deer are overused. They're everywhere. <laughs> I don't think they had much budget for new enemies and stuff on this one. <laughs> I said it yesterday. I think that so far I haven't seen any like new faction as cool as the Forged. I think the Forge were really cool. And I think all the Morgem stuff from Heart of Thorns was really good. And the New Hawk and the Itzel. This expansion's a bit weaker on that front. So far. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what the Void are like. But I think they're going to be mostly reused. So I think that in a lot of ways, End of Dragons looks like it has been constrained a bit. And, you know, it, it, it's gone. it's been developed in kind of a troubling, troubled time. But um, it's led them to being really fucking smart about some parts of the expansion. And I think they've learned a lot about what are the best corners to cut and stuff. Necessity is the mother invention and all that. Let's try and get this here. We're in another void area. I 
should make a reshade that I can toggle black and white on whenever I like. <laughs> whenever we go into a void area, I'll just manually tap toggle on the black and white. That counts, right, guys? Yeah, you want to go some? What you got? What you got? Is there any greater joy than spanking people down with quickness autos in the lich? For a necro. Find me that joy. Alright, we can spring her up now and the expectation is we have the springer. So It's quite cool. I like a stairway to nowhere. Always been a fan of that. By reaching this location, you've proven your mastery of Canthan terrain. <clears throat> so am I in the bottom corner of the map now? No, I'm not. Okay, so we'll hit the north POI first. Not that I'm explicitly just trying to do map comp right now, by the way, guys. Here, check it out. Prototype XJ1 has been corrupted and is not on the end of the attack. Is that the final boss of the meta? I wonder what the prototype is. I hope it's not just a reused version of what we already fought in the Kaineng meta. Which is my current thinking it's going to be. Okay, more zip lines up. This basically feels like Heart of Thorns, but they've got zip lines around, so exploration is a little bit smoother. <laughs> right? And it's, it's like a grey Maguma is what this feels like to me. Whoa, that sound effect. Something crazy is happening with the meta right now. Where's this zipline go? Oh my god, are they all dead? No, no, it's dead. This is Ariana's perch. Oh, I gotta go on that. I'm sorry. Look at this bridge. Canthan Spirit Ta Takayan? I'm not sure if that's a Guild Wars 1 character. I don't really recognize or remember it. They're standing on a teleporter. They're an elite. And you know, oh, we're at Melandra's Hope. Oh, you know what I've just realized as well? There's no locusts around. There's no locusts. I think Melandra's Hope, I think pond full of locusts. Oh, I can use the five for pressure now, can't I? Okay. Healing is definitely more of an active thing on this build. In fact, I think the elite's going to beat me. Rough but true. We can shirk some of our aggro with this, and the five will be life leech for us. Fear as well. And the break bar up there. I don't know if my shotgun hit him there. But he's definitely... There you go, he's dead. You can see him die because he was in stealth, but all my exploding minions dealt with it. That was quite cool. Lich, I actually got defensive value out of Lich there. By summoning minions that took aggro and by uh, breaking a broke bar. As well as the the healing. I do think the way to go with Lich is to rebalance the other skills. Oh, God. So many balanced things I want to see with this game. And whenever I think about Lich and all the exciting things they can do with that transform, it always just leads me to the racial transforms, you know, like bear form and stuff. Grand chest over there. I kind of got a little bit distracted there. An elite phoenix. Oh, wow. We should see a new ability then, right, on this. Right? I don't want to get knocked off. And it looks like it will knock me off if I'm not careful. Okay, shotgun. Or O's for 25 might, then look at the other ones. Bit of range there. Devouring cut again. The laser beam, that's his new ability. He has a Wyvern style laser beam. I guess as a ranger I'd get to actually just execute that. That was really nice, the feathers wobbling around a little bit there. Oh, they need to increase the... Give me a slider for corpse duration, man. Okay, uh, unusual coins. That mushroom looks cool. Okay, let's go back to that bridge. Uh, where are the mantids? Yeah, exactly. 
Well, mantids and locusts, right? Like, but then island guardians, oni. There's a lot of fauna and stuff. I mean, we'll see when we get to the JC as well. But I mean, Guild Wars One's JC was full of crazy stuff. I've also not really got much of a sense of rot wallows yet here, but I do know they're around, so that's something. Okay, we're really high, I think. I think we're just too high at this point. Where's that bridge I was at? Oh my god, it's all the way over there. The, the spirit thing took me really far away. I think both POF and uh, Heart of Thorns did better on that front as well. POF, you had the Choya, the Sand Sharks, the Hydra. Lots of fun, like new ambience. This is really wild. There's an event here as well that we can trigger. Should we go do play that? Okay, projectile mitigation, but that's fine. Okay, we got our 30 seconds. Life leech, minions, fear, and begin the auto attacks. Nice. He's in Vuln here, so. Uh, sorry, uh, in, in Moab. I'm not really using pistol much, am I? Yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy Harbinger. I don't know whether it's Stockholm Syndrome or what, but I'm starting to really get into the build craft of the thing. I still think that it's... Like, in terms of theme and stuff, not great. The mechanics don't reflect the title or anything, but... Okay, so there's an ancient ministry uh, of purity mask here. Purists, they're nothing but trouble. I should be on guard. It's fascist smashing time. Oh, okay, so they come at each end of the bridge. I mean, all right. Interesting, like, set up mechanically. Law is pretty. Oh, how did you avoid me? Or oh, whatever, there's loads of things there. I'm not going to let you just stand here and shoot me. Oh, they're all archers. Jesus Christ, I'm getting blown up by someone. So these are ghost purists. These are the purists that killed the dredge, I'm going to go ahead and say. We got a heal. Signet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 100% health, guys. Signet of the Locusts. 100% health I just got there. One button. I could use the Signet trait as well, which would recharge the crap out of it while I'm here in Shroud. Tricky fight with all the mitigation from the projectiles here. Like, when I dip out now, Signet would be back if I was on um, the Signet trait. Big CCs. Weakness runs out just in time. What is that? There's a big guy. Hello. Elite Unbound Spirit of Destruction. That's a... Um... Holy shit. Oh my god, it's like bounty mechanics. Oh god. Okay, just stay away from the laser beams, right? Let's play a little bit more kite heavy. I like, uh, Harbin just kind of got a bit of range capability and a bit of melee satisfaction, you know, so there's a good little balance there. Right, get the brake bar down. Alright, never mind. Do it with pistol. There it is. Probably kill him with Lich here. There it is. Oh, nice, we get an achievement, the Haunted Court. I really like the balance there of the uh, difficulty. That was really good. Okay. So it pays to do another random little event. So is this unfuckable down here? <laughs> Wasn't I going for these two POIs and now we're back next to the forever tree? I wonder if that amber event's up again already. I gotta check. I gotta check. 
good to see a barrier here. A uh, battery here. Sorry. Oh, it might be. Protect the Silvari until the ritual's complete. No, she's dying. No. I'm coming, Dorian. I'm coming. Don't die. I'm so close. Ah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need Well of Darkness, really. We can keep the CCs going for now. Hopefully she breaks combat. Anti-personnel turret. But there's a player here. Who's that? Is that a player? What is that? There's something weird going on with that. I need a power charge. Are you going to reset? Good, she reset. Nice. Ah, oh, the warden might be helping too, you know. Look at all the quickness I've given her. Oh, my mastery's full. Thank you, everybody, in the live chat. Depth charges for the skiff. Oh, my God. I didn't buy the fishing thing. I'm going to start it. You know, there's a... Um, in Brisbane, there's an event a lot like this with a nightmare court tree that I always thought was an interesting reference to the Forever Trees. Wouldn't it be fucking cool to find out that there's Nightmare Court here? Wouldn't it be cool to find out she's Nightmare Court? That Duchess Chrysantha has realized there's stuff to do here and she's been here since Heart of Thorns or something? What if just exploring the Echo Valley, you just found Duchess Chrysantha hanging around? I think it's safe to say that would blow my goddamn brain off. Look at that instant 25 Vaughn, dude. The well is crazy. Almost there. Almost there. Hang in there. Why won't you quit? So does this precede that the grub thing or follow the grub thing? I think it must precede it, right? Since no one's around. Try Jade Lieutenant One. The thing with Dagger is it feels a lot like Pistol. Mid range, multi packet two, CC oriented three. It's fun in PvP to slap threes on people in sequence, but in PvE, I don't know. But what else am I going to run in the main hand then? Here we go. I give up, but mark my words, you'll be sorry you brought that tree back. Will we? It's working, flush with life. Blossoms unfurl. Oh, oh she died! Oh my god, what's the warden gonna do? Oh my god! And she came back! Oh, what happened? Did I? D did we? Oh, you. You saved me. The war. Holy shit! Hold on, so can. Well, it didn't shoot into the sky, but it's blooming. The ritual did something. That's for certain. And he just sat down over there. What is this place? I want to heal it. I was trained. The tree does still bloom. I'm very new at this. but I'm getting... Her dialogue didn't change. What about his? Oh, he speaks now. The warden says that you silently, making neither friendly gestures nor aggressive ones, you sense a regret... Uh, okay. The tree looks pretty happy now, huh? The warden stays silent. But there's a sort of contentment there, you feel. Yep, happy. Wow, so the implications there are what exactly? Is she bonded to this tree now? Like, 
the Kurzix bonded to them and became Juggernauts. The whole thing with a Juggernaut was, as long as the tree was alive, the Juggernaut couldn't die. You could knock it out, whatever, it would always come back. It would always grow back. The Juggernaut would always come back as long as the tree was there. And she... Did she just get knocked out or did she die? And he... What was his involvement there? Oh, brilliant. Very tantalizing, isn't it? I'm glad I came back. I guess the amber thing is the tree dying later. I wonder if they have any plans for this or they're just sort of playing around. Wow. So happy I came back here. Let's continue on out east. Are there Warden Armor skins? That's a good question. Are there? Does anybody know in the live chat or the YouTube comments? Um, oh, hello, Rocker. Can all classes self-buff tw self 25 stacks of might this easy now? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, all classes. Maybe not all specializations, but... Solo 25 might with a bit of concentration in your build, yeah. I, I, I'm I pretty sure there's a, a mechanism for it on everyone. For sure. And it's what I would aim for in uh, any kind of solo open world build. Because you don't have someone else providing it for you, right? It's just that when it gets to a team scenario, it's better to have one guy do the job, splashed out over five targets, and everyone else fully optimizes for damage. Which is a good balance, I think. It's the right structure. It's the logic to that. One build for open world, one build for... What, one collection of builds for open world and another collection of builds for Team Snows. I, I should be, to be even more accurate with my, with my wording there. Solo versus team. So we can unfork some of this. I don't want to be looking at the map all the time. I want to be looking at the environment. For the forest. Question is, which way do we want to go? I mean, this feels a bit iffy because this loops back towards where I was a second ago. That's interesting. A player wandering around on a griffin, was that? Not flying. Oh, here we go. Here's some wallows. My first wallows that don't have the effect on them. I like this kind of fluttery music too. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Not much, it would seem. <laughs> Like you compare that to a Hydra. Oh, there you go. They have a roll and a little poison field. So they're like, uh, um, what are they called? Arrowheads? Is it arrowheads? All right, let's, um, let's go a little bit faster over here. This is interesting how I got rooted around. There was a way, though, wasn't there? Never really got to spend that time at Melandru's Hope, which is what I wanted. Oh, let's fight this guy, this elite warden. You're a warden. blight on the land! You're a blight on the land, nice. That's a good line. We want to have all these speakers in at once, do we? Alright, no problemo. Ow! Maybe a problemo. Dude, he's just fighting the deer. I want them to ball up before I use my stuff. All right, this is this is as good as I can get. Because now he runs it. That's right, I can break it anyway. Gotta get rid of that um, protection. So let's use five. 
These guys actually really hurt right now. Let's kill this guy first. I very rarely want to use the Lich flip over to teleport. Protection's back. Oh no, I messed up. Oh, the uh, UI telegraph actually helped me out there. Does the signet get rid of it? Yeah, it does. It's really good too. What a skill. So, I mean, he feels a lot like fighting a Mordrum, really. Not those hammer guys, but it's pretty good. Punishers, I think they were called, weren't they? You started out not liking Echovald very much, but it grew on you. Is that an intentional pun? All the events are really good. Lots of extra quests you can do to get to certain POIs. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Actually, I know what I should just use. Oh, well, they're all multi-packets. The two on axe is multi-packet. A sickly Kirin. Look, it's a void Kirin. So this is a little bit more of what they were saying. Like, everything's going crazy, right? Are we in a heart area? No. The meta's over now. Sickly plants. I can't really interact with these. Hold on. Help the Jan family reconnect with their family's past by cleansing the site with Luckgardist music. Speak with Jan or their assistant to receive a flute and explore the ruins to find records of different cleansing melodies. Oh my lord, we're, we're playing Ocarina, Ocarina of Time here, are we? Wow, that's a good little visual there. The grey. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm a little overwhelmed. Why? What's going on? I was just told by the ghost of one of the, my ancestors that if I can somehow heal the land here, he'll help me find a magic flute that can save my family business. Which is, we have an instrument shop in New Kaineng. A few of my ancestors started it after our house, the house of Goddess, was conquered. It's always done well enough for us to live comfor comfortably, but, but now everyone wants these fancy new jade tech instruments. Business has plummeted. I'm hoping maybe if I can find this magic flute, it will save us. But Vasily can't, Vasily can't help uh, till I get rid of this magic. How are you going to do that? Well, Vasily being Vasily Luckgard is a ghost here. Vasily said that the ghost of my ancestors can teach me cleansing magic, which can, I can play on these regular old flutes I've made. What kind of things need cleansing? From what I can see, basically everything. Whatever the magic is, it seems to have affected plants, animals, water, even the remains of the buildings. They were made from petrified trees, though. Is there a way I can help? Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Thanks. This will go so much faster with help. If you lose the flute, I have plenty more. I hope to do some trading. My assistant's out there somewhere. She has extras, too. Gods, we have so many flutes. This is cool. We get a little bit more of the whole, like, singing side of the Kurzix. And the music, which was a big thing culturally. And an awesome thing to pair with a big echoing stone forest, if you think about it. I'm looking for a magic flute. I don't suppose you've seen anything like that? No, but tell her what Jan told you. Wait, a ghost? And we're cleansing things now? Okay, well, I guess I'll see if I can learn those magic things too. So I have to learn a song, though, right? I can't just walk up to a plant. Have you heard of the tree singers? Members of House Luckgarzis used to sing to the forever trees. If their songs were interrupted, the trees would die. Use this their song to heal the flora. Okay, I will. Oh my god. Whoa, I'm not gonna know that! It was that, wasn't it? Oh god, quickly before I forget. It was this, right? Oh, I messed up. Oh, I swear that's what he taught me. Let's let's look again. Three, 
three, four, five. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's actually three. Straight up to seven and then that. There we go. Luck artist maestro. Why are you still sick though? Please don't be sick. Wait, is this just for plants, maybe? This one might just be for plants. Yeah, it is just for plants. Oh god, I'm actually going to learn this now, aren't I? It's going to start sinking in. Give me my flute back, thank you. Uh, this special action to toggle into a new skill bar is so good, the way that they use it. Okay. You probably want to learn how to cleanse the ruins and the, uh... Oh, there's a sickly grub. Well, we need more ghosts, then. This feels like a goddamn heart, and it's not even a heart. It's just an event. Thankfully, this one's not on a timer. If this was on a timer, I think it would feel pretty bad. I'm going to be skill clicking this one because um, my keybinds, I don't know, I think it, I, I'm much more likely to mess it up. It's very easy with skill clicking, <laughs> by contrast here. Oh, here's another spirit. Are you going to teach me something else? Hold on. Okay, what do you got? It's the same song. What about you? What have you got? The Kirin attack you if you played the wrong song too many times. That's awesome. Oh, here we go. House Luck Goddess served the goddess Melandru, who, in her role as the goddess of nature, cared for all the animals. Use this song to give them back their peace of mind. I don't want them to keep suffering. I'll do it. Oh God. It wasn't that. I messed up. I like how when you mess up, you can hear that you've messed up. <laughs> it sounds kind of derpy. Ah, uh, it's that one. Oh God. There we go. I'll click it along with you. Let's do it again, please, tutor. Let's do it again. Okay, let's try and use this. So this is for the animals. So I believe it was... No, I fucked it up. <laughs> How have I messed up? Oh no, it's mad at me! Oh wait, or is that good? I think that's probably not good. Sorry. This is not how Melange would have done things. Wait, where's the ghost gone? Friend! Where's my flute gone? Give me the flute. Thanks. This will go so much faster with help. Oh my god, the ghosts only appear while you're holding the flute. That's so cool. Okay, let's let's relearn. The song again. Where are we? Teaches animal cleansing songs, as it says there. Alright. Okay, we're starting on purple. And we're not going all the way to the start. Alright, so we go. Suru is happy again. Alright, let's do the deer over here. I think there are too many of you here. I think your population is getting out of control, but... Do you know what? I bet I've forgotten that other goddamn song already. I think I have. <laughs> I think I've forgotten the other song. 
Let's learn um, how to cleanse architecture now, though. Or water. Hello. Lord Rolf Luckgardis chose this uh, as the site for the Luckgardis Conservatory after the sign from the gods. Our connect I wonder if that was in the outpost lore before. Our connections to it run deep. Use this song to cleanse the corruption that has taken a hold. Fuck me. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so it was... Wait, 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 wait. Let's do that again. I got Maestro there. I didn't really learn that though, did I? <laughs> I'm just following along with him. Let's go again. This one's not going in, guys. It's not going in. Right, I'm going to try and commit it to memory here instead of just playing along. Okay, I think it's you, 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 you. No, it's not. It's you, 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 you. I think. Let me just check again. No, it is that. It is that. It's you, 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 you. Alright, let's try it. Can I play the flute in the water? Is that what you want me to do? Some underwater flute action? Oh, you want me on a skiff! You dastardly bastards. did the trick, Vasily. I can't believe we used to do this sort of thing all the time. We... we were remarkable. We are remarkable, Jan. But... Uh, I'm afraid I can't give you my flute. It was destroyed by the Ministry of Purity. Destroyed? Really? Really. But it doesn't matter. Your flutes are as good as mine ever were. All you needed was the songs. You couldn't ask for them. I can offer them, I'm just but by dedicating yourself in service, wise. you earn them. I... I see, I think. But how am I supposed to save our family with music? The answer will become clear. But now it's time for me to go. For all of us to go. But, you'll be around. Nice. I kind of want to see the introductory dialogue to this event. Hey, WP, I was looking to buy the game because of you. Do you have a promo code or I can use... Or you only have to use my affiliate link. No, there's no promo code. There's just in the description the link that's there. So you just click show more in the description right under this video. It's just that. You just click that. And I think if, it, if you get blocked or something, you want to disable ad blocker or use Firefox or something. Oh, these guys don't talk now. Damn, the event ended too quickly. I never got the ruin cleansing. I never cleansed the ruins. But hey, pretty good. So this is where the blade sworn is. Weird. I would have thought the Blade Sworn would be in a more jade techy place. But it's amber, isn't it, in the Great Sword and the Bullets, so. Traveller, has anyone told you that tromping around behind a seasoned Blade Sworn like myself could get you killed? If I believed you hostile, I may have cut you down. That's a fancy great sword you got there. This is actually a gun sabre. It may re represent a great sword. Sorry, resemble a great sword, but only in shape and size. You may have seen them in your travels around Cantha. So tell me more about gun sabres. The gun saber is a tricky weapon to use. Even though it has a lot of advantage over a standard gun or sword, the hardest part is being able to reload while performing sword techniques. They, uh, whoever wrote or did this part of the expansion, all the elite spec dialogue is like weirdly broken. You see here I can ask about flow, but he hasn't mentioned flow. We had this problem with two of the other NPCs as well. Anyway, flow. 
Flow is a kind of mental state you need to be in for the most efficient use of the weapon. A positive flow is needed to smoothly load the amber cartridges required to perform a dragon slash. Dragon slash? It's the ultimate blade swan technique. You fire amber cartridges while swinging the sword to accelerate the blade. It can take out the most powerful foes with a single swing if you do it right. That kind of payoff must come with a downside. To be a blade swan means that you are dedicated to the use of the gunsaber. It's a difficult weapon to master and as a result, we cannot use the same we variety of weapons as a traditional warrior. It'd be really nice if the mechanics represented this, you know. Like it was really, really tricky, but you could get the big one shots. Um, aside from the gun saber, do you got anything else? Well, we also have a pistol. It uses the same amber cartridges as the gun saber does, which gives us a lot of stopping power at the cost of range. I see. Can you stow gun sabers now? Any any um, warriors out there want to tell me? Can you stow the gun saber? Because that was the one thing that, like, I kind of liked walking around with one, but you couldn't skin it and you couldn't. You couldn't um, stow it, so it, on those two areas, it felt kind of like not a real. Wow, this is good, isn't it? Look at this. I want to fish in there, to be honest, or swim down or something. Wow, is that one going to take me off as well? We're actually level with the Vista right now, so we want to be about this high. Holy shit! Now this is what I call a zipline. <laughs> oh my god. Woohoo! It's so long that it bugged the uh, the trail out. Holy crap, that's cool. Why is that so much cooler than gliding? I don't know, you guys tell me. Speaking of gliding, now that we have this extra high... Why would we want to be this high? This is high! Wait! This is where I was earlier! We want to get to that vista. Vista. Wow, this game looks great. Why is there no buzz around it? Um, I could answer that, and there's a million reasons. I, I kind of want to do a video um, about that. I had a really good idea for a title for it last night. What was I going to call it? It wouldn't be for a while. Because I don't want to be too much of a party pooper or whatever. I think I was going to call it Why Does Nobody Care About End of Dragons or something like that. Something hyperbolic, something that grabs you straight away. And I was going to explain all the reasons, because there's a ton of reasons why this game doesn't get the attention it deserves. Some of it's by design and will never change. Some of it's ineptitude. Alright, here we go. See, look, the Vistas are doing it again, this flashing thing. Nonetheless, it's quite gorgeous, isn't it? Where's my shirt? So I'm going to put on a second layer here because uh, I'm cold. I've got the heating on, but I'm cold, man. God damn it. It's March now. Where the hell is the sun? The Echovaled Wilds. Two out of five. Now this POI... It was kind of awkward to lose all my height here, but maybe that's what I want to do. I did say I wanted to go in the water. Yeah. And we're going to slowly glide down, so I've got a second here to put this uh, shirt on. <laughs> Don't go too far off course, Gux. Where the hell is he on? No, turn around, Gux. Turn around. There we go. Okay, second arm. Alright. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, the POI must be this little shack that we saw in the uh, in the vista. Okay, lines are in the water. And now we just sit back and wait for the fish to bite. Oh, this is like a little Wait, Are you a that's all? Fisher. Mm -hmm. a terrific We've done trauma. all the preparation a we can. Biscuitor? Picked a good Spider hole at the right time of day. Here. Baited our hooks smartly. <sighs> there isn't anything else we can do to make him bite? No, 
and that's an important lesson. Not just for fishing. <sighs> Look, there always comes a point where you've done everything you can. And then you it's out of your hands. All you can do is a wait for the fish to bite. Difficult life lessons to learn here. Uh, there's something quite funny about this. Very quiet, very measured conversation about the patience of fishing. I step remotely near this Tengu and he starts screaming about the, the thrills of a competition. <laughs> oh, but I don't have my equipment. I would do it, dude, but I can't fish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You'll sell me some? Hey, he will. Okay, good. So what did I run out of? <clears throat> And how does, like, uh, capacity and stuff work? So I have a fishing rod. The Ministry of Interior invites you to test your skills in the bountiful waters of Lake Lutgaris. A type of bait that can be used in conjunction with a rod for 100. But where does it say, like, durability and stuff? Because some of my stuff's been running out real quick, you know. I need to become a local legend to... Inventory's full. God damn. The Ministry of Interior invites you to test your skills in the bountiful waters of Lake Lutgaris. Double click to acquire 25 bait in bulk. Maybe that's what I wanted, the bulk bait. But what about a lure? Where, where can I get a lure? I mean, that's not it. I have to figure this out later. Okay, anyway, I'll play. I'll play. All right, you eager anglers, it's the time you've been waiting for. Begin. Okay. Uh, can I be in your party, dude? Please. Let me sail with you. Let me sail. Oh, he's not gonna do it. I would happily. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, he did it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm a little bit behind him though. Okay, wait, wait. Switch seats. No, no. Just disembark. Okay. Start fishing. Okay, go. Oh, he's gonna beat me. It's nice to not have a command tag this time, so my exclamation mark will appear. There it is. Our first echo valve fish, everybody. Ooh. What's going on with the UI here? Can you see how the yellow progress bar is like... There's some kind of, like, other bar over the front of the texture. Oh my god, I'm not going to get the fish! I'm not going to get it! It's a really difficult fish! Oh my god! Come on. No! <laughs> oh! He kicked me out. Alright, I'm not doing it that way. He's actually dying. He's getting killed by the drakes in the water. <laughs> Hold on, we should fight some of these. Oh, is he off? I mean, I'm in combat, so I can't... Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's an engineer with the Master of the Forge title. I see, he's got his roleplay going. He's a hollow, sorry, with the Master of the Forge. That's what I'm trying to get at. Alright. He kicked me off. I was going to win a, a tricky fight with a challenging fish there. I still haven't set this keybind up. Okay, here we go. Round two. Oh, the first item in that vendor list was the lure? Okay. Oh, it's good to see these kicking back a bit now. There we go. We got a stone loach. Right, let's sail over here. How long we got there? Five minutes. If that Drake breaks my thing, I'll be very sad. To get off the boat and defend it in a second. It's gonna start rocking the boat. That'd be quite cool if when the skiff gets hit it starts like shaking more or something. I think it is getting hit, it just flashed. Yeah, it is getting hit. 
It's an interesting feeling as well, being separate to another health hit hitbox. So that's sort of how you feel playing Valheim or something. You know? Or Ark. God, the shroud does so much more damage so fast. I mean, I suppose that should make sense better than Trident. We should start using Angler Sense. It's pretty good. Oh, he's over that rare fish. Whatever. I'll go here. This was your favourite fishing spot in the whole expansion for some reason. Colours and the reflection, it's your perfect Hussek. That's cool, man. Did you get all the fish from this area then, or...? I've liked a lot of the fishing areas, actually. Like I said yesterday, I think on part two... Sorry, part three. I get the sense that the later episodes of this Let's Play... <clears throat> I'm just going to be us quietly fishing <laughs> in all kinds of different areas. You know, this will actually be the perfect feature for, for when I, like, stream on Twitch and stuff. And we just, like, rant about the game and the community and, you know, hot topics. And previously, I'm just standing there or running in circles around Lion's Arch. Now, I'll be making meaningful fishing progress. We get a black carp. I feel like there's a lot of work that's gone into all the different names of fish and icons and stuff, but they're not, like, emphasised by the UI well enough to really make it feel great. It should pop up right in the middle, new fish scene or something. With the name of it very clear and the little picture of it. Are you a fearless fisher? A terrific crawler? A perfect a Twilight Striker. Sign up for the fishing tournament! Head on over here, rare fish. What's my opinion on challenging open world mer events? It's a silly idea to try and make them challenging. Um, I think the 150 man challenge scale experiment was a fun experiment, but it shouldn't be done. If you're looking for challenging boss experiences, find them in strikes, find them in fractals, find them in raids. I think the open world bar should be lower, but I think there should be a degree of complexity that metas need. And spectacle that metas need. But difficulty, no. Foolish desire. There are other areas of the game that have uh, more appropriate places for that. And if you really have to do it, it should be done through guild consumables, so you can pop your own instance. And when you realise that that's a very good idea, you'll realise what you're doing is just creating another branch of the game that feels almost the same as raids. Just like high player cap raids, but yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm not really a believer. I sound tired. No, I'm just enjoying the game at my own pace, and I'm not... This Let's Play is less about me trying to entertain you all every second of the day. It's about me enjoying End of Dragons. Normally I'd be doing this completely in private, but I decided to, to make videos out of it this time. But, you know, I want to play the game, not jingle keys in front of people to keep their attention. I actually am feeling very awake. I slept so well two nights ago. I slept so well, it's unreal. Ugh. Oh god, I don't want to beach it. How long have we got? 20 seconds. Can we reach? And don't you break this, Drake. I think we're in there. Oh, I missed it. I was looking at the live chat and I missed it. No! Uh, Spaghetti said, I think that's what his name is meant to be. Because this competition is complete. Ah, oh, the hollow beat me. 
We were in a fishing 1v1 and I lost the fishing 1v1. If we caught that last fish, I definitely would have won the fishing 1v1. How does depth charge work then? Oh my god. Did we just nuke all the drakes down there? <laughs> Not very environmentalist. Um, yeah, uh, I think having a mechanic where the small number of people can cause the meta to fail is not a very good fit for the open world. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. But I believe in complicated, and I believe I, I believe in, I believe in diverse, multi-layered, intricate metas. I believe in all of that. I believe in spectacle with metas. I do not believe in difficulty with with metas. And I believe in compelling rewards as well, of course. Who doesn't? And you're talking to someone who's, you know, I'm not just waffling that opinion out. You know, I've, I've engaged very directly at the hardest metas that they've done on launch. You know, I've played plenty of that stuff. You know, this isn't necessarily just a personal preference thing. This is actually born out of a lot of years of experience within the game. Not to toot my own horn too much or whatever, but I, I really do believe in what I'm saying here. I'm not speculating. Um, okay, where are we now? This place seems very, very cool. Okay, this is Mori Village. In fact, hold on. Wasn't the story asking me to go to Mori Village? After I investigate the Aetherblade camp, maybe? Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll do this first, and we'll come back again later if we have to. I don't mind. I don't mind looping around multiple times. So what are we doing here? This is a heart. Oh, you guys are just waiting around in this bog, are you? Oh, a zipline. Oh, oh my god, this place is cool. This is like Jakarizzo. Oh! Except that we have to send them money. Well, in theory, if anyone ever tried to invade us, they'd stop them. Would they? Or would our archers fill the invaders full of arrows before the Ministry of Security even got the memo? We haven't even managed to stop those gangs from gaining a foothold. What makes you think we'd stand up to a full army? Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, I really wanted a third layer. I really wanted a third layer. It's okay. Two layers is pretty goddamn good, too. What's that up there? This place is cool. I mean, it kind of is. I was kind of already on the third layer, actually. All right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to take this one one thing at a time. The first thing I want to do is use our newfound height to grab this, and then we can work our way in. We've also got a mastery point nearby. What what do they want to talk to me about? Curious youngster. Hi, you're one of the visitors from outside of Cantha, right? I am. You've seen a lot of people in a lot of places. Do people ever stop being selfish without being forced to? Oh shit, I can be an optimist or a pessimist here. I've seen many people better themselves when faced with the harm they do. Or no, in my experience, people don't change. I'm not sure how to answer that. Can this should be valid, ArenaNet, because I don't know how to answer this. I really don't. This is one of those great mysteries of life to me. That I don't know what side of the, the argument I'm on. This should progress the heart. <laughs> I have to stake a claim, do I? Oh, it's changed. Oh, here we go. It depends how old you are. And that age changes based on people's life experiences. But I think everyone is on an inevitable collision. And everyone inevitably stops thinking critically. Everyone inevitably gets comfortable. Everyone inevitably gets tired of challenging their worldview. And everyone inevitably becomes an ignorant bastard resistant to change. Those better among us keep that youthful, flexible mindset longer than others. But most people... Uh, but this is Tyria though, so I mean... I don't know, I think Tyria is pretty much the same. Maybe some exceptions. I'm going to say no, people don't change. Eventually, people don't change. But, I mean, societies do move on. There is development. There is turmoil. There is both evolution and devolution. You're asking about pe if people change or if society changes, right? That There's a difference there. 
society changes pebble by pebble, but if you look at any individual any individual brick in that wall, they didn't change very much. So I'm going to say no, people don't change. Oh, I see. So if they're doing bad things, all you can really do is force them to stop? That's what that guy said to you. Oh, I got it wrong, did I? I'm wrong, am I, Arena? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong apparently. <laughs> That's not right. I need to fill his la his uh, head with optimistic bullshit. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Look, people better themselves. Really? So you don't always have to use force? Hey, look. I never said that you have to use force when I said no. All right. You put that in my mouth. Yeah. They're talking patrol schedule. Ship change it. Ah, they're using their weird way of telling time. Something about how the light hits the trees. Pretty sure they mean around 1800. Well, I was fascinated in what you had to say. I was just trying to eavesdrop. But if you're okay. going to force me to fight. Dude, I really want Dagger Offhand back because it, I could flip this goddamn Condi away. I mean, we can use that next elixir. Should we throw away the Word of Suffering? Put another elixir on? I mean, why not? The Elixir of Ignorance. Very fitting. Where is this going to go? Holy shit. There's a Veteran Wallow. Let's see what the Veteran Wallow does. He should get a new ability, right? So there's the roll in the Poison Field. Ticks of damage on it too. I wonder what this reads in the combat log. Necrotic stench. <laughs> he's, he's not doing anything. Like, literally, I thought they weren't doing anything before. Come on, man. Show me what you got. Maybe it's only when he gets low. Alright, so, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think he wants this fight, man. I don't think his heart's in it. I really don't. I'm going to let him live. I'm going to show you mercy. Because that is one depressed wallow. <laughs> that wallow just needs a break, I'll tell you. I'm not going to put him through all the effort of respawning and all that. Just chill out, man. Have fun. In your experience, it's more with elites and champs than vets. That's fair. Build up the defenses. I don't really want to waste the whole heart doing this. I mean, there's not much extra to see there, is there really? I want to do the dialogue options and whatever substantive. I think. Like this self bleed from Dagger as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Mind you, the self bleed into the elixir. Stun break. Ugh, this is an awful skill. A stun break with a little bit of blind resistance. I mean, I guess it feels okay. It's not. It's more of a competitive format ability, to be honest. I've been a bit harsh, a bit judgy on that one. Oh, by the way, what are we training now? The speed boost. I kind of want to go back to Jade Bot and get my quadruple thing. Also, I was thinking, guys, I think I'm not going to do Arbor Stone revitalization for as long as possible. Because once that tears up, Arbor Stone will change visually and have new NPCs and stuff, right? So it's it's like, if I want to... And that changes forever, because it's account bounds, and that's it. So if I want to get the most value and feeling out of that place and enjoy each tier as much as possible, I'm going to del delay it. Okay, this guy's wary. Hmph, outsider. Perhaps a show of respect is in order. Salute. No. What about bow? I appreciate your show of respect. Welcome to Mori Village. I'd love to know more about your people. What can I answer? Your beliefs? Ah, yes. If a Tengu lives a good, just life, their spirit will fly in the sky above the fly. Uh, the sky above the fly? <laughs> the sky above the sky. Are the gangs causing you trouble? The Speakers and the Jade Brotherhood are constantly troubling us. 
Do not give anyone a reason to think you're one of them in disguise. How should I be respectful? Respect to the forest and our people. I uh, just respect the forest and our people. And don't mention the Ministry of Purity to any of my brethren unless you're looking for a fight. Are you Angchu or Sinsali? We are Angchu. I don't know where the Sinsali fled to, but our people made for Echovald when the Ministry of Purity drove us out. After the Ministry fell, some of us migrated elsewhere. This is really cool. I love they've, they've done that hard line with the Sinsali really... It makes the Dominion of Winds even more interesting, you know, because it's like... It's, what what have the Sinsali done up there? How do they feel? Who are they? Does that mean Caladris is a Sinsali? Did she say? It's interesting that what were essentially the bad guys were the ones that are actually closer to home nowadays. You know, up in Central Tyria. Do you still celebrate the Day of the Tengu? What a great question. Considering that celebrated a, considering that celebrated a peace with the Canthan Empire that was later dashed to pieces, no. Make no mistake, we are at peace now, and we have been for a few generations, but the past is still painful. So instead, we have a festival that makes the founding of this that marks the founding of this village and our survival. Oh, I get to spend a ton of time with the Angchu here. This is cool. I love that I can ask them about the day of the Tengu. Maybe we can uh, point that out to Togo later, if he ends up at Arborstone, like I hope you will. So why did uh, Dagger Two Council cast there, but Pistol Two did it? Cold. That was weird. There's a shrine. This shrine honors an Angchu ancestor whose leadership progressed the Tengu to a brighter future. Pay my respects. Hmm. I just want to make a point here, guys. The shrine honors a Tengu ancestor. I just want to make a point here, guys. Why can't I see it? First of all, we got Merlin. Merlin Featherstone. Of the original game. But more, more, much more important. Oh, it's because they're in the uh, outfit here. This guy actually is a char that's meant to look like a Tengu, but has somehow ended up in the Forge outfit layer. Saw on a claw. Uh, we might get an actual reference to Saw here. So let's see. It's weird to look back at it and think, actually, man, I was going to... I don't know, one day, hopefully they do playable Tengu and Saul will, will have value. Here you go, the shrine honors Talon, an Angchu ancestor. Here we go, this is probably her here. Well, maybe not. This shrine honors a Tengu ancestor who dedicated her life to spiritually guiding the United Angchu of Echovald. Oh, they didn't give me her name. Here, do you want me to shovel some uh, patronizing and feel good shit in your mouth? Hi, you're one of the visitors. There you go, people better themselves. You don't have to use force. We'll see in a second, let's go a bit. Look, the Jade Bot helps with little moments like that, you know. Slightly too long out of a normal glide, but here's a Tengu shrine with a sword. This shrine on is one of the many heroic warriors who helped the Tengu flee to the Echovald. A, a military salute. You helped the Tengu of Mori village. This is an Angchu ancestor whose leadership progressed them to a brighter future. A reverent bow. So I think we bow when it's a scroll, salute when it's a sword at the shrine. Maybe some other stuff. What's going on with the bird nest? You're carrying a basket to collect crafting components. Press the special action key to stow it. Search for an arrow shaft, an arrowhead, and feathers. You can also rush around with this. Really? Oh my god, look at this! Dude, this is a bit like the um, Labyrinth and Cliffs as well, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. 
Oh my god, this place is really big and detailed. Wow. I don't have a charge. Hi. What do you want? Sorry, I just wanted to connect. I'm not really easy. I'm not really eager to connect with outsiders. They always want something from us. What is it you want? A powerful alliance. It would benefit both of us. To make sure the Ministry of Purity and its like never rise again. Or to help you live in a way to earn a place in the sky above the sky. I mean, what is this? Is diplomacy, right? So I just I say what he wants to hear. Well, let's go to the sky above the sky one. You've taken the time to little learn a little about us. That's a good sign. Keep it up. I just tried for the first time to jump off of a zip line halfway. So here we go. We can. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's see who this is here. This shrine honors one of the many heroes. Okay. Oh, did I already do it? I still don't have the waypoint, by the way. I should probably grab that. Is that low down? Mm. I love that roof texture. Or asset, I guess I should say. There's a workbench. I still haven't learned anything about that. Impressionable youngster. You're an adventurer, right? Any tips? I'm going to go on an adventure soon. Do your parents know? No, but they, wo they won't think I'm ready. I need to show them I am, just like that guy said. Uh-huh. And did he offer to take you himself? He's suspicious, Tengu. Yes. I think he's trying to recruit you into something nefarious. Be careful. They can make their own choices. Oh, nice. I love the way he screamed that at me, right as I said it. That went really well. Yeah, that's it. Get out of there. I think we're going to have a fight with this one as well. Oh, here we go. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. This guy's wary. Here, I'll, I'll show I know something about you. I think, uh, I should think with everything going on, you'd want powerful friends. What does it feel like to fly? I want to be of service to the Tengu to prove I'm worthy of your trust. Let's ask him what it's like to fly. Oh, no, they can't fly. <laughs> I almost I almost did that. Uh, that would offend him greatly. <laughs> uh, I just want to be of service. Prove that I'm worthy of trust. Hmm, that's a noble aim. I hope you're sincere. And if you are, maybe one day we'll be friends. This little building's nice. Yes. I want to be of service. So I can pick up the arrowheads here now. There you go. A thin, sturdy piece of wood needed to make an arrow shaft can be gathered from the saplings in the forest. Really interesting format here with this. You can mouse over for information about where to go. I have feathers. I just need a shaft now. Now, can I pick up multiple heads? No, I already have it. Okay. Tune in for an interview with Dr. Kyung Hoo from the Ministry of Agriculture about her book, Is the Jade Sea Melting? Hey, nice. Oh, bad enough he bought that foul contraption, but does he have to keep it on all day and all night? Yeah, I thought it was interesting oh, to have one of these. Voice. <laughs> it's burned into my brain. I find her narrating my thoughts sometimes. Terrible. Oh, it's like when you read too much of I'm a book. I'm going to lodge an official complaint with Ico. It's like when you read too much, and then suddenly life is third person <laughs> as you're narrating as you go along. Okay, let's um, let's go into the forest, because I don't want to miss this element of the heart before the heart's done. There's a historic plaque. Hmm. Perimeter defense, battery. Blanketed by forest thicket, Mori Village became the first permanent settlement of the Angchu Tengu after they were driven out of their ancestral home by the Ministry of Purity. The plaque was placed by the Ministry of Archives to improve education efforts following the collapse, and someone scratched off the word purity and wrote something far more poignant. 
The ministry of what? What's what's the word, guys? There's lake fish there. The uh, sorry, what's this? The skill bar has a detector. Don't make eye contact. Oh, I really do feel like an outsider among these people, right? Oh my god, it does have a pointer. Dude, this is really good. I hope they use this more. This is excellent. They can just copy paste this idea and retheme it for how many number of hearts. It's up in the trees, like it's up. I love how it even been on a mount isn't like throwing off the mojo of the thing as well. Okay, here you go. You've collected all the crafting components you need. Take them back to the workbench to assemble the finished product. The Jade Bot workbench? Surely not. Of poverty? Yeah, something like that, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a great one. No, it's clearly this one. The Fletcher's word workbench, I was going to say. And they even have that telegraphed on my minimap, see? And they even have a little icon. What's this called as well? When it attaches to the edge? Can't remember. Here you go. The Fletcher's bench is set up with tools for making arrows. All it needs are the right components. Use the gathered supplies to make an arrow. So here's an arrow. That's a lot of energy for one arrow. I, I almost thought that would just finish the heart straight up. Not that it's bad it didn't. What do you want? Sorry, I just wanted to connect. Let's talk about the sky above the sky. I want to do that hero challenge up there. Impressionable youth with a suspicious guy next to him. What are you looking at? Someone's trying to manipulate innocent children into joining their gang. You should stick your nose into stuff that doesn't concern you. Well, if I have to. Business. So look at us, right? A generation of cur curtain twitches. That's what we've become, guys. We should be minding our own business. Not sticking our nose into his drama. Hey, the Soul Beast's here! Soul Beast? Untamed's here! Hmph, outsider. I will bow to you. Good sir. Hmm. Renowned adventurer. One more heart in the whole expansion to do. New build available! Already? Man, if you look at the forums and all the patch notes, it's crazy to see how many are going on in the moment. Um... I've been hearing all sorts of buzz about the considerate outsider going around and taking the time to learn, to understand, and assist where possible. We're grateful and hope you feel welcome in our home from now on. I've got to speak to you. Greetings, traveller. This part of the forest isn't kind to strangers. I'd be careful wandering about. I've heard whispers, cries. Something is disturbed here. Thanks for the warning. What's a ranger doing all the way out here, alone? I'm never alone with my companion by my side. My name is Fars. I'm one of the untamed. What do you mean by untamed? The untamed are one with the forest. We've largely abandoned society and have become one with the wild side of nature. That sounds like a soul beast to me. Ah, I've heard of them. Alas, their practice is far more spiritual. They become one with their pet while we... My companion and I take turns sharing the burden of the untamed. What's the burden of the untamed? In layman's terms, it's a corruption of sorts. Deep, primal energies that we pass back and forth. It's like a dance. A dangerous primal waltz. This makes the untamed sound so cool. I was very close to doing this Let's Play on an untamed, guys. I think it would be really good to do as a ranger. Because you get the added benefit of like collecting the phoenix and stuff. Um, and all the new pets. And I genuinely do think... I like ranger, as far as PvE is concerned. And I, I think that the untamed has a really cool idea. I, I, I kind of like the idea of having shadow step capabilities for my pets and stuff. And they make the lore and stuff sound cool here, but the mechanics, it's just so badly made as far as, like, skills and stuff and traits, so, I don't know. There's more ver 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 variety here on Necro, I think. Uh, what sort of weapons do you use? Untamed specialise in the use of hammers, but we can also wield any weapon that a normal ranger can well enough. 
I find the hammer to be brutal. There's a beauty in Frosty. They're pretty slow, aren't they? Maybe a bit slower than a sword or a dagger, but the thump of a hammer is always satisfying when it connects with your foe. The crashing of... Uh, should we return to a more casual topic? <laughs> Jesus. What's special about you? We can draw upon the forest and channel pa powerful nature magic. Unleashing this magic empowers our strikes, but also makes us more susceptible to enemy attacks. It's an elegant, vicious dance. I can unleash this primal magic on my companion as well, yes. Though, only one of us can channel it at a given time. It's the ultimate display of trust. The strength of bond, of our bond, never wavers. And why are you here? No, we already read that. Okay, cool. Uh, I've got to get this uh, ch hero challenge. I want to climb high as well. I mean, I feel like we're only just getting a sense of... But look at this place. Look at this place. even mean to be a territory of Cantha, except that we have to send them money. Well, that's how that conversation well, starts. Theory, if anyone ever tried to invade us, they'd stop them. Would they? So I'm wondering if a zip line takes me higher. Let's see with the preview of where this one goes. It might be down again though. Yeah, that one's down. Okay, it's time for nest creators. Each team has a nest, and in that nest are the balls, the eggs. You gotta try to steal the eggs from the other team's nest without getting tagged. If you steal an egg from the other team, you put it in your own nest. But be careful, because it can be stolen back. Goal is to capture as many eggs as possible without losing your own. Everyone got it? Good. Let's go! I love the way that they sort of violently and quickly jerk their heads around. It's really cool. Okay. That's not an event or anything. That's just fun background. That's cool. There has to be a reference to Saw here somewhere, and I missed it. I've missed the reference to Saw on a claw. All right, let's skim her up then. If zip lines won't do the job. Best mounts in gaming will. There is a zip line here. Dude, the music here. Is that because the kids are playing? The music's changed because the kids are playing. Wow, listen to this. There you go, I'll turn it down again. I wonder if I could play with them then. Do you think I could have played the game with the balls in the uh, the nests? Just as like a fun little thing if I had paid attention. So a guy with a legendary trinket here. So we're about on the same level as a POI right now. Which is what's got my attention. Brotherhood listening devices. Oh, they make me so mad. You shouldn't be here snooping, brotherhood. Oh, look, 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 spirits. The elder's roost. What is it? Move this. Break the crates. Yay. That's a new one. I've now found 12 out of 50. Okay, that goes a long way away. My plan was to do the hero challenge, and now we've sort of uh, gone all over the place. Wait, were there spirits here as well? No, I don't think there were. Okay, um... Does this zip line go up? Please go up. Damn. We had found the right zip lines a second ago. Yeah, this one looks good. Hmm. 
Don't go down, don't go down. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. It's there, that's where we want to be. We could definitely wrap it to that now. Oh, could I just interact with something there? Oh, I can pick this up. Hey! Nearly missed that. I didn't even see any spirits here. Nice. Map spinning down because of the patch. Everyone's logging out. Here we go, the village overlook. The gentle hum of life in Mori village fills your ears. The bustling community filling you with a sense of ease. Really lovely. And look, here's a clothesline thing as well, which I wanted in Canther. I can't bounce on it or anything. Okay, so uh, let's re-log the game then, I guess. Um... Really nice. Let's relog the game. Okay, what I want to do is... Oh my god, these maps are so big. Look at this. Look at all this territory I haven't really explored or done anything. Look at all that completion stuff. The whole middle section I've not seen anything of. All of this up here I've not seen anything of. This waypoint near Unfogged seems weird. Not to mention all the personal story, which I want to move to next. So, this is all generally localized. So, we're going to do the personal story. Uh, we're going to start at... Uh, Cathedral Zoo Helzer, I think, is probably a good place. But we, well, we're going to relog. Yes, it's so strange having them here. Oh yeah, that's the I've thing about the char and char, stuff. So uh, yeah, and while I relog, I'm going to quickly nip to the loo since this seems like a good time for it. So. Just two seconds, guys. Only a couple of moments here. I kind of want to be able to cut these out of the videos as well, you know. But um, if I do that, uh, I think it will kill... Currently, when people watch this Let's Play on the VODs, live chat appears there. It takes a while to come on, but you can see the live chat. Um, if I edit at all, it breaks the live chat and it will go away forever. So that's going to be a bit of a shame. Anyway, yeah, one second. Alright, I'm back. Hello. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the uh, character select music there. I probably should have turned the volume up a bit for you all, but that's fine. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh my god, i got to deal with my mails. I forgot to do that on the previous episode. There must be so many people trying to get in the guild right now. Oh, by the way, speaking about the guild, we are going to be taking the new guild hall, but we're going to do it in a little bit, just so that everyone's got time to enjoy... You know, and we'll uh, we'll get together and we'll capture it. I, I was thinking we could do it like in the next couple of days, but I think we're going to push it back a bit even further than that. So sometime probably early next week or something. I don't know exactly when. Um, so don't take anything as concrete. But uh, but yeah, we will be doing it. Both branches, the EU and the NA. In fact, I think one of the two regions it's already like booked in. Um, I'm not quite sure when it is exactly. Yeah. But the other region's a little bit more up near. But we will be good. And uh, I suggested as well we give decoration access to everyone as well. So you can use all the decorations. And we'll be doing that too. So it'll be a good time to be a part of Spud. Because you really will get to mess around with the new hall. And you'll have a huge inventory of decorations and things to play around with. Okay, so. Investigate the Aether Blade camp. Um, just to remind myself a little bit of the story here. 
Uh, Anka has a device. What was the device again? But she seems to have like planted it here, and now we've got it. I think she's luring us into a trap, but I can't remember the ex the, the, the exact particulars of what's going on there. Uh, we had a donation. Five pounds from Maz Mondi, who says, Will you be progressing personal story this stream? Thank you very much, man. Uh, yeah, that's literally what you're looking at here. Wow, this place looks crazy. Oh, this is the dumping. This is the tip site, right? Oh my god, this is really weird. Wow. Okay, hold on. There's a POI in this. Junlai J Junk Outpost. Supervisor Bay Fung. You here because of my ad, or did main office send you over? Yeah, either way, it looks like you'll do. Excuse me? Yeah, to help with the patrol. Junkyard's crawling with hoodlums. They already put two of my pups out of commission. Can't send this one out alone. And I gotta stay here to fix the others. Your pups? Yeah, the patrol mechs. Don't hold with pers personifying machines. Creeps them out, if I'm being honest. Okay, do you work for Jinlai? Barely. You got in trouble for asking too many questions. Worked there too long to fire me, so they gave me this assignment. Thinking I'd quit. Joke's on them. I love it out here. No people, usually. Look at the, the mech here. It looks so cool. I like how she's calling him a pup and it's very dog-like. So you need something? Yeah, help with the patrol. Okay. Oh, that's weird, but okay. You want to help? I won't say no. You ready for a walk, buddy? Who's gonna rob some scoundrels from Mama? <laughs> ah, she's crazy. <sighs> he knows what to do. You just follow along and help him, whatever pops up. If he takes too much damage, he'll run home and enter shutdown. Then you're on your own. Is it Lenchi or... Okay, it's this guy. Alright. I'll take the dog in a walk. The dog in a walk. Surveillance systems online. In control. Okay. Audio and video are online. I can see everything you do. It's no funny business. White Tiger actually moves around a good amount. They're quite fun to fight. Oh, I have no batteries again. Do we lose batteries on relog and on map change? I guess we do. Wow, look, can we push these things around at any level? AWV, how does your Asura have two different eye colors? Uh, this is a new Canth and Asuran face. Uh, a little bit before Canth came out. Get out of my junkyard, you scavengers! <laughs> they added exclusive new uh, faces and stuff for all the races in the game. And one of the one of the Asuran faces is I don't have two different coloured eyes. I only have one eye. One of my eyes is like scarred and, and lost. So um, so that's what's going on with my face. But uh, yeah, everyone should check out if you've got a total makeover kit or anything like that. There were like three new faces for both genders and like new hairstyles. Obviously, if you play a human, they'll be very camp and looky, but for the other races, they, they really did some weird stuff. I think it was Char had some really peculiar appearances, too. Maybe if you made some of your own, instead of slapping a coat of paint on our cast dolls, you wouldn't be dead now. <laughs> Look at this. This place is like... The pilot's here, man. I hope you guys' monitors are calibrated well, because uh, I have uh, more than one monitor, right? And so uh, the preview that I have for making this video is on a monitor that's like not calibrated well, the contrast off. And I can hardly see the game on that monitor. <laughs> on my main monitor, it looks fine. And I know that on the video, ultimately, it does look fine, but I have a slightly off monitor and it's really hard to see. So if you guys are finding it hard to see, you might want to check out your calibration, because Jesus. But this place feels so sick, doesn't it? Hey, we had a donation from Fruit Salad HD. Didn't drop a message or anything, just $5. Thank you very much for that. Oh, 
Josh. Something's real wrong there. So. Is that a report with a few samples of the home office? But they probably didn't even open the package. That's what they did, and they buried it. I like this build. It's even good for like giving people quickness, you know? I could actually imagine running this in the next strike mission, which hopefully will be this part of the let's play, by the way, guys. Right? I think we're probably really close to the second strike mission of the expansion. And I'll totally run this build. Quickness spam for everyone. It's going to be better than what I was on before, Reaper. Well, actually, I had transfuse and blood and stuff before. I was pretty good. And I was a very sturdy build, which helped, so I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It'll be good. You guys should keep your eyes out if you want to play. I'd love to get 10 people again. I know, the last time we did a strike mission was launch day. Part 1. Hopefully that improves our odds of people wanting to play, because everyone's pushed forwards in the story. But who knows? You destroyed everything! Oh, look at all that life cipher. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, just quick this throwing Grim Spectre out is so cool. Look at that. 25 stacks of Grim Spectre. Look at my health. Oh, it's dropping off now. Dude, I wish that lasted a bit longer. It's such a flavorful, cool part of Lich form, but it's so rare to see it. You think you can intimidate me? I'm the big fun! Yeah. Bunch of players around. Good pulls here as well, so they're they're instantly getting balled up and nuked. I'm really enjoying the gameplay today. I don't know what it is. It's really started to click for me. I think what what Harbinger really needs is some kind of countdown mechanic. Like a proper countdown mechanic. The Blight stuff is just like superficially interesting. Isn't it? I think I'm just having fun because I feel really overpowered actually. I think that's what it is. And that's how it came down in beta 1 as well. The first time I was playing it. Especially on those Condi builds. Alright, there we go. We've done the... We've walked the dog. I have I get an achievement that says walk the dog here. Not too worse for wear. We did get an achievement though. <laughs> Who stomped all the trespassers? You stomped all the trespassers, that's right. Oh my god. Prevent you, the mech from dropping below 90% health. Tell home office you're welcome back anytime. Jesus. That sounds really challenging, but we just one shot. I don't even know it was a thing. Okay, so I still don't have any jade slivers. I'm not quite sure where or when or how these come from. But there it is. Thanks for playing slow, says Samurai in the live chat. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. This is how I want to play it. This is like... Um, this is sort of what I do in games. And you can imagine, if I was uploading this as a normal Let's Play, you know, where it's like a 30 minute video per episode. You know, we're on like part 30 or something at this point. It's just too slow for people, you know, there's an expectation of pace. Can't normally get away with it. This is crazy, by the way. Champion 8th Blade Grenadier. I'm focusing on his buddy for now, because he seems to have a big shield anyway. Is he, is he damageable? He's blocking. Do I need to walk into him? Oh, I think I need to be in melee. Try and break this bar. Whale of Doom. Shroud. We got all our stuff. I'm going straight into Lich here. Oh, he ripped my, uh, he actually ripped my, um, quickness there. 
straight up removed it. How very dare you. Okay, look at this damage. 25k on that too. If all six of them crit, it's big though. That was one big Aether Blade. Alright, so hold on, hold on. Just down on this path, there was a POI that I missed because we were walking the dog. Oh, look, it's a whole little outpost. And the personal story is just slightly north. This is a friendly public service announcement issued by the Ministry of Transportation. <clears throat> As we see an increase in tourism and travel, we've also seen an increase in capital related casualties. Okay. Please do not feed or pet the kappa, and under no circumstances <laughs> should you look one in the eye for over two seconds. Oh, there's a warden on me? Are you serious? Give up. Ergo's the Terrible. There's a book that says Ergo's the Terrible, guys. Oh, he's like a legend. He's like a, a, a boogie monster to them, is he, at this point? Ergo's comes at night, night, night to give us all a fright, fright, fright. Don't break a branch or stomp a shrew or Ergo's will break you, you, you. Ergo's will break you. Nice. Uh, anyone who doesn't know, I'll give you the context, people that don't get this. Essentially, the Guild Wars 1 equivalent of a raid. They did very few. Cantha was when they first engaged with the idea. They called them elite missions. And the big boss of one... There was one in the Jade Sea, and there was one in the Echovald Forest. The big boss of the Jade Sea was Kanaxai, a demon from the mists, and with the Oni and so on, which you've heard a lot of people talk about. But here in the Echovald Forest, the final boss was Ergos. And the Ergos in lore kind of feels kind of similar to the Avatar of the Pale Tree and stuff. So if you believe in the Silvari Warden connections, you should look at Ergos as something a bit like the Mother of the Tree or whatever. But yeah, one of the very first raid bosses of the whole franchise, you can kind of think of it. I mean, the whole game format was very different to what most of you even understand a raid to be. But um, yeah, uh, there he is. There's our first little reference to him here in End of Dragons. Is he still around? Did he survive the assault in the first game to Thank you very much. But yeah, that's very cool. Um, and like with all that Guild Wars 1 stuff, if you want to learn about Ergos, I have videos on my channel. I have a full run of Ergos Warren. <clears throat> These missions were much closer to like super long dungeons where one wipe and you get kicked out though than kind of what Guild Wars 2 calls a raid. There was less emphasis on the final boss and more on like the, just the crazy grind of getting there. And at any moment you can fuck up and that's it, it's over. So the entrance to the Aetherblade base is here, obviously that's a, uh, a hologram. Dude, the tiger, come back out here. I wanted a dramatic moment where I run in there and he's just buggered off here. Gux can just blindly throw. He's not even coming. Fine, I'll kill you the pistol. All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's actually pretty cool looking. So there we go, the Aether Blade hideout. This is where our story continues. There's a journal. Let's read the journal first. Oh, there's an audio log from Anka over there as well. Oh, and there's one there too. Well, let's read the journal. Evolution within decay. We're all products of our environment. That's true. Don't worry, guys. Everything you ever do or ever will do, you're blameless. Because society made you do it. It's not your fault that society made you the way you are. Whatever your big issue is, laziness, for example, it's okay. Society made you that way. You are not responsible. Anka's notes. Been in Cantha for months now. Mai's, act, uh, Mai's out mixing up with the locals, gathering information. The rest of us, dying of boredom among the wreckage of human hubris. Dying of boredom among the wreckage of human hubris. At least when we were trapped in the mist, you'd never know what would try and kill you. Here, it's just risen. All day. Every day. Grim. 
Maya's been gone days now. Probably got herself caught. Didn't know they made Moas that big. There is something very wrong with it. Yep. Let's hope the poison's strong enough. So there's a Norn out there. Talking about a big Moa. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, my train's been caught for go, has been gone for days now. Probably got herself caught. Shouldn't have gone to Yong well, alone. It's slowed, but it's still going. Been talking to Renyak about what that means. We need to bring it down before the poison wears off completely. <sighs> Come on, Jaeger. Let's pluck this chicken. Oh, man. I, I, wait, I'm going to take a break here. I've got to go do this Moa event. we got to do the Moa event. It's a group event. It looks cool as shit. Is it going to be a big black mower? Let's have some fun. we got to go fight the big black mower. It's a group event, though, so I'm hoping people will be... Here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, it's got the uh, the neck, uh, the thing around his neck as well, and everything. I'm here. They're NPCs. I'm alone with the NPCs. It's okay though. Have quickness, my NPC friends. What is this bubble? Attack from close up to identify a weak point. It is the bounty thing, right? So. Look at that. We get 10% of his health in that quick. Okay, we're gonna break this and lich. Shame that they're not even as high as 10k. They just nerfed it with End of Dragons. Did they nerf it even in PvE? Alright, well there's the Grim Spectre. Scepter. Oh, it's running off. Okay. I thought I'd just been CC, but it's totally running off. Coming for you, Moa. What the hell chilled me and slowed me? Oh, I walked in some gunk that it dropped. Interesting. Commander, something terrible's happened. The speakers just declared war on the Jade. The people of Evermore are getting caught in the halls of the city. I wouldn't ask you, but it weren't a matter of life or death. If you can, please, move up your village. Ready for the next one. Oh, that felt good. Invulnerable is phased again, it's face. Oh, what a good CC! We have a stun break now. It's on the run again. Breakneck Rush. This is like, uh, what's the white mower in Dry Top called? Oh, I walked in the gunk again. It's good to see more spuds around. I'm always interested whenever I see a spud, what uh, mini they, they picked. Here we go, guys. Have my quickness. Again. Bear's fuzzy backside. This thing is tough. Either we're all total gods, or this thing is uh This thing's a little bit weak. Three toed Tootsie, that's it. Well done everybody in the live chat. Well remembered. Uh in my opinion, Staff Marauder class is more camping than the new ones. Um, yeah, I agree, so I agree. I agree. But, you know, they were in a position where that was already in the game. What are you asking them to do? Disable Daredevil? Re implement it later? Shame we couldn't take it alive. But I'm sure it'll be worthwhile to study its remains. No doubt. It put up quite the fight. Good thing we had some extra help. We have company. See, I do like that I'm getting these writs when I do these minor events. The question is, how many well, sinks well. are there for them? Looks like you took down the beast. What's it to you? One extremely hefty the bounty, made that their first one. Move. And do you think we're just going to let you take it? Outpost and we got the territory. numbers, friend. That bird is a part of the forest, and the forest belongs to us. You have as little claim to the forest as you do the spirits you imprison. <laughs> Damn. I didn't expect this follow-up event. A lot of them have break bars too. That's special grass. Did nothing. They hit a lot of targets. They did nothing. Big glitch moment here. 
Seven stacks, ten stacks, thirteen. Come on, give me more. Oh. Still pretty cool though. Pretty good max health level. Wow, we're actually right on the edge of the meta event here as well. Oh, oh god. Let's heal up with the Signet. Quite a lot of pressure on me there. Yeah, Dagger isn't doing it for me. But I don't think Axe would be making me much happier either. Nor would Staff. Rip that resistance. Whoa. This is quite a nice fight. There's a lot of mobs around and they're all pretty sturdy, you know. I guess because it's a group event. It's a group event and the whole thing is fighting these mobs. I wonder what led to them to calling this a group event, because it didn't have to be. Enough! I have no desire to join the spirits. Yeah, no bounty's worth dying over. So keep the damn thing. Hmm, I'm not sure we accept. Jaeger's pretty hungry. <laughs> Dude, that's a good sound effect. Wow. Keep that thing away from me! So you said you had someone who could take a look at the MOA? Maybe figure out the source of the corruption? Indeed. In Mori Village. Can you come along and describe its behavior? My employer will be missing for a little while longer. They broke the door locks. You want to get something to eat on the way back? I know a great little fish place on the lake. Sounds like it'll hit the spot. <laughs> the tiger yells. Yes, you get fish too, Yoga. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, you do. Okay. Do, do we actually see the follow-up to that if we follow them to all the way to Mori Village? <clears throat> okay, back to the personal story. That was nice. We had a bunch of players there as well. I wonder if you guys are all keen because we'll be doing a strike mission soon? Question mark. I can get you all in my squad. Scepter was doing well for you? Yeah, but I'm a power build. I'm not going to run Scepter on a power build. Maybe back at launch when it was hybrid, but it's not a hybrid weapon anymore. It's pure Pony. On Axe and Dagger Mayhem, the best for DPS CC on Necro? Uh, I, I don't think of the game in those terms of like best and worst. Particularly not on the parameters of DPS and CC on a solo open world build. You're, you're talking like there's a fact there, and there's not a fact there. There's just shallow thinking. Uh, wait, wait, oh, it's through here, right? No, 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 it's not through there. It's round the corner and then off on the right. Outsider, be careful. Those mechs are something else. Don't waste time banging your head against them. They got a thick outer shell. No mercy! Seen them before, though. And treat our turtles, they crack. Who was that speaking there? It was Kestrel Oriel. Didn't he? Didn't that sound like Yao? Is he? Is he in this uh, meta event as well? Yeah, this, this elixir doesn't do what I wanted to do. I wanted to cleanse, not give resistance. Okay, back to this journal. We're all good, right? Yeah. Okay, been in Canter for months now. Mai's out mixing it up with the locals, gathering information. The rest of us dying of boredom among the wreckage of human hubris. At least when we were trapped in the mist, you'd never know what would try and kill you. Here, it's just risen all day, every day. 
Maya's gone for days now. Probably got herself caught. Shouldn't have gone to Yong alone. I've been talking to Renyak about what that means. What we should do with her gone. Spotted a Cantha necromancer in the ruins today. Did something to a risen. Stole its magic and put it in a bottle. Intriguing. Follow up later. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When we were in Old Kaineng, didn't we read a message about... Blood magic or some necromancer that was that, that said it was it was they could have gone there but they thought it was too dodgy. Is this related to the Raisu Palace mystery? Mai's back just like that, and according to Ivan, her little mishap gained her an ally. Of course, she talked to him and not her first mate. As in Anka, Anka's the first mate. My and um, we see a little bit here of her disloyalty beginning to brew. It was the Harbinger NPC, was it? Yeah, you're right. The Harbinger NPC said I could be uh, using, like, Zaitan magic on my bullets and stuff, but I, that's too dodgy for me. Yes. Well done. Well remembered in the live chat there. Mai wants us to continue lying low. Promises she's working to build us a better future, whatever that means. The speakers have taken to Larry Village and are enslaving the spirits of the local dead. We cannot allow this blasphemy to continue. Imagine terrorizing people with their own ancestors. Is that the meta failing there, or is it building up? Anyway, Mai wants us to, us to continue lying low. Promises she's working to build a better future, whatever that means. Oh, come on. Are constant mobs and dialogue? Come on. Let me read the thing. I should just go in shroud to make them be quiet. Right, Mai's new ally, in quotes, is June, the matriarch of Jade Tech. I thought we were done serving wannabe gods. Wait, the, uh, Anka was talking exactly like this in that cutscene before. Learned more about Canth and Necromancers. Harbingers. Oh, there you go. There you go. We go into Shroud. Scavengers. Mixing elixirs from whatever magic they find. Dragons. Spirits. The land itself. Theory. Using so many different magics dilutes the effect. Please stop talking. Please. I'm begging you. Uh, learn more about Canthan Necromancers. They call themselves Harbingers, Scavengers, mixing elixirs from whatever magic they find. Dragons, spirits, the land itself. Theory. Using so many different magics dilutes the effect. Why not focus on one? There are so many risen here. Time to make use of them. Oh, maybe the Raisu Palace stuff is going to become a main part of the main story if Anka's been fucking with these guys. So Anka says, no, just take the, the Risen magic. Is that how she built the extractor? Renyak shot me one of those crews that hang around today. Sorry, shot one of them. I could feel its death. Such a small thing and trivial to bring it back. <sighs> Clearly the elixirs are working even better than expected. Some side effects, of course, but nothing that matters. Oh my god, not crews, crows. Right, okay, I was a little bit lost there. <laughs> Renyak shot a crow, and she could feel it die. So she's kind of becoming a necromancer because she's drinking these elixirs based on Zaitan magic and death magic. She's kind of turning into a necro, right? Like, she can feel the life force and stuff there. Some side effects, of course, but nothing that matters. I'll give Maya a bit of credit. She's using June well. We've left those ruins, set up a few other bases throughout Cantha. Part of her arrangement. Still lying low, though. Always lying low. At least the caves in Xingji and the forest of Echoval prov provide a change of scen scenery. New targets to experiment on. My abilities are getting stronger. Hidden the trees. I love the way this is written. I can f I can hear her voice. Maybe you guys watching the Let's Play can't because it's replaced with my shitty voice. But I can hear her voice as I read this. A bit like she you can she's got that slow like almost like um, disinterested tone. Like I imagine her just like musing over her hand or something, right? As she says, abilities getting stronger. Hid in the trees. Raised a dead wallow in the middle of some speakers. The looks on their faces. Need to organize the crew. Maybe time to act soon. Damn, I, I didn't get necromancy undeady vibes from her at all. But there it is. Okay, oh, let's listen. First thing that happens when we make camp, the locals have to show their coup. Prove who's in charge. Two of my pirates got caught, and normally I'd check it out as a loss. 
but I'm not that lucky. They've been savaging parts for a new whisperer. With the parts. But I should be realistic. Even if I get those parts, the portal device is a one shot. We did life in a way. Negotiation is so much easier without an emotional attachment. I gotta reread that. That guy started fighting me and completely threw me off the whole thing. Let's read it again. She said, first thing that happens when we make camp, the locals have to show their teeth and prove who's in charge. Two of my pirates got caught. Normally I'd shrug it off as a loss, but I'm not that lucky. They'd been salvaging parts for a new misport device. Wasn't such a feather brained idea, was it, Zuru? The thing is, I can't even I mute the dialogue. I can't even mute it now because I want to listen to the personal story dialogue. The gangs are withdrawing. F uh, that's the wrong dialogue. They've been salvaging parts for a new mist portal device. Then they were captured along with the parts. But I should be realistic. Even if I got those parts, the portal device is long shot. Which is nice in a way. Negotiation is much easier without an emotional attachment. Okay, she's talking about the device that just recently got lost. She's talking about events that just happened. We're seeing her side of what we learned at the end of the last episode of the LP. Okay, now let's kill more mobs. Okay. Let's turn the dialogue back on. Hope that this doesn't overlap with meta dialogue. Delivering orders from a distance. What is that darkness on the machines? Oid, it's leaking out of the corrupted tech. Okay. Pretty sure the jade is going to want to hang on to the Damn it! To the west. They fill the area with evidence that found scores of spirits. Piece of late shit. Just passed overhead. That is, I know. Completely impossible. We know what we saw, Captain. We got a good scan before it disappeared. <laughs> it got a functional portal to put on board. Field of mess. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Show me where it was headed. Oh, so she, um. So, Anka's trying to rebuild their missed portal device. Each of the captured Aether Blades had a piece she needed. Then that mystery airship appears with a working model on board. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was going to say out loud. Anka cancels the negotiations and turns her focus to finding the airship. Which means we should probably find it first. Hey, Commander. It's Ivan. You know, from work? I think me and Gorik have a lead there. Where can we all meet? I've got my hands full with the speakers and Jade Brotherhood, so I have to send this out. Yeah. Rama's yeah, waiting at our village. Tell me, we're do on you our way. in anything? I believe you're fighting the future because you're afraid of it. I believe your arrogance will be the world's undoing. The mayor sounds cool for what's worth. I like the music, I like the dialogue and stuff, but I'm not going to jump into it at the end, you know. I'd rather see it from the start and do it fully. It's a shame because it looks like I was just close enough to be in range of all that dialogue and stuff. I don't know, it also seems to be map wide. Okay, wow, I'm fascinated by this though. So hold on. They were trying to rebuild the Miss Portal device. A couple of their guys with elements of the device got captured. She's going to negotiate to get them. But then... A mystery Aetherblade airship shows up with a complete device. So she's like, cool, I can just abandon my guys. Whatever, I don't need this deal anymore. And she cuts them loose, right? So that all makes sense. I understand that completely. My big question now is who the shit is on the, the, the airship? What's going on there? And I guess what I'm thinking is, wasn't the whole story that they were in the mists for ages, fighting our alternate versions of themselves and stuff for ages? What if it's one of those? What if they somehow got out of the fractals or something? It's another version of... Which would just be a really sudden and crazy new shift for the story to suddenly start talking about. Really bizarre. But, I mean, I'm game for it. I mean, I'll, I'll see. So that's that's all I can think right now. Maybe, the, maybe it's something more logical and tangible and that's just too wild of an idea, but... Jesus. Okay, so... Let's grab our fourth battery, because, hey, why not? The tents are the body, the worse the shot. Oh my god. I love this, by the way. I love that just that this is just high enough and people are fishing off of it and stuff. I think it's really cool. A really other cool element of Mori Village that I hadn't seen before. 
And yeah, just as we thought, we were going to come to Mori Village in the story, but here we are. We've got to wait for that dialogue again. I'm going to do it just so that the conversation in the personal story is sounds good. Would they? Or would our archers fill the invaders full of arrows before the Ministry of Security even got the memo? Brought down the shield. As tempting and look, more meta dialogue here. We're not even near the dark the meta right now. Um, I had the same theory in 14. Always all the versions themselves. Well. I don't know whether it's exactly that. The point I'm getting at is it might be tied to their adventures in the fractals or something. I don't know how, but... Okay, hello, Gorik. Marjorie. Rama. Everyone. Welcome to Mori Village. I was just finishing up showing your friends around. Apparently, we're the first Asir and Dredge to be invited into the village. Yeah, real honor. Maybe we should... Oh, right. Commander, that transponder the Kestrels found, it's weird, but it was on its own network. But still technically Aetherblade. When I activated the transponders, it started broadcasting its signal. Whoever's piloting that ship probably got spooked and threw it overboard, which is how we found it. And it seems like the transponder's still communicating with the ship. Signal's weak, but it points to Melandru's Hope. Then it sounds like I'm headed to Melandru's Hope to find us an airship. Could work, you two. All right. On its own network, but it was Aetherblade. Where is this going? I really don't know where this is going. Or what this is about. Which is good. Um, let's go north of Mori Village and unfog a little bit of this on our way as we loop in, right? And I'll make as a tentative target this POI here. He's just waypointing around and doing a complete beeline. And I'll have a little bit of speed to me. I'll go on my Raptor. Mori is awesome, and I like these trees here, by the way, this wall of trees. It always feels kind of super adventure boxy, actually, that the walls are so clearly defined there. Your guess surrounding where it was going is way off. Interesting. Oh my god, if this means I can skiff around a bit as well. Had very little of that in Echovald. That was a little clunky there. I think I missed a turn. This might actually be a really bad choice here. Yeah, there's a road up here. The, the minimap looks so scary and tenderly here. It's kind of crazy. It's Gabu. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Gabu did come back into the story, I want to I wanna be clear. Axe would be nice because it would ramp a little bit of my life force when I have none. Like that moment we just saw there, but I don't know. That's kind of rare that that situation is even arising. So. Don't know. Dare I use the zip line? If it's in that direction, I'll do it. Uh, it's back. I'm not going to go there. That's probably up near the place that I was already. So. Bunch of brotherhood. This zipline will take us to the mastery point, I feel. Might be wrong, but I feel it's a thing. Is that a strike mission entrance over there? Oh, no, it's a defensive protocol. I keep doing that. I keep seeing those and thinking it's a strike mission. Oh, I don't have to do this, right? You can, you can zipline in combat. Well, whatever. Maybe you shouldn't be able to zip mine in combat. Like, people fight a little bit more. Here we go. Hmm, that one maybe? Because it's high. We could maybe try and spring her, but. It feels to me like quite often they pair the zip lines together. And so that was very nearly too steep for us as well, though. Here we go. There we go. Well, actually, 
Oh god, the Phoenix. Don't knock me off. Ah, uh, there's a player here. It's nice to see population. Wait, was there a player here? What was that? What were they fighting? Oh my god, how satisfying was that? Is that the full five targets? Oh, I should have dodged. I got a heal big time here. Big Lich Hill. Look at that. I kind of want to climb that. I love the, um, I don't know, the layers uh, texture. The, the mud on it. Okay, yeah, we're slightly too high, but I think this was the way that they wanted us to do it. Brotherhood everywhere. Man. The prototype has been corrupted on the attack. I think this is the end of the meta there, by the way. Whatever that is. That was the same boss we saw before. Okay, let's get that POI in the top right. An ancient lantern. Oh, it's a strike, right? No. This isn't the strike things. What is this? This looks like a normal stone lantern. Very old in its construction. It bears the inscription... May the hearts of the people shine ever bright. Leave the monument alone. You can go inside! But how? Has this guy got a phoenix? Oh no, that's a wyvern with the untamed thing on it. See, untamed's cool. It like changes the pets and so forth. Hold on, a mini dungeon? Uh, the POI's in there as well. I wonder if there's an event that I need to trigger nearby. There is one near us. It, well, I say near us. Actually, no, that's nowhere near us at all. That must be meta-related. I wonder. We seem to have a spud in another mega server in there. That's connected to an achievement you need to do to get the POI? Okay. Thank you for the advice there in the live chat. I love little moments like that. Oh, no, no, no. There's a light there. Can I grab that light and bring it to the thing? Hold on. Hey, oh, I see how that attack works now. He rolls on you and you're stuck in the field. Let's see. I interrupted his roll there. Which is so good. There you go. There's some, there's some dagger attacks. Oh, this is where you get the juvenile wallows. This is where you get a what roll wallow from. Or one of the places. Hearthorns tended to have like two spots in the whole X back you'd find a thing. I don't really remember how POF did it. Look, there's a light. Give me this light. Let me take it down there. Uh, I can't even think of an emo I would do here. How would I... Ca Maybe I need a torch? To take an item? It's so calm and ambient though as well at the same time. Dude, I'm getting a good sense of like a well, a little bit of a sense of a canopy here too, I was gonna say. Alright, whatever, I won't get too distracted. Looks like we gotta go this way to get round up north. That's gonna be the entrance of the JTC over there, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I'm keen to see it. It's nice they put mushroom enemies in here, by the way. It's funny, though. There's a lot of varieties of mushrooms in Heart of Thorns. Like, loads of them. I love mushroom enemies in games, by the way. You know, it makes me think of playing Maple Story, where there's a bunch of mushroom areas, uh, enemies in the early areas. And the Guild Wars mushrooms are really detailed. Like, they're some of the most beautiful enemies you'll find. But you spend so little time able to properly interact with stuff in Guild Wars that it's easy to not notice. What have we got? We've got bombers, spike throwers. I wonder if they have the queens and stuff around. Those very slow measured pistol autos feel good. 
Feeling slow and measured even with quickness. And I kind of like that, you know. Like, look at this. Dude, I got so unlucky with the crits there. Well, maybe it's not unlucky, actually. I didn't have Fury because I wasn't dipping in. So I wasn't getting the, um, the Deathly Haste. Deathly Haste being an assassin trait. Uh, skill, sorry. In You're headed in the right direction, Commander. Somewhere that way. Thanks, Gorik. <laughs> Echo Vowed Unmade. Yes. Do not look directly at it. What could possibly... Uh, I don't... I can't... What's going on? Please! Holy shit, they're getting affected by it. Don't go near the void, guys. Yeah, that's our next Echo Vowed Unmade bit. Oh my god. What's going on here? Where are we? What's this place? Cardstat Village. Charging the turrets is a weird part of the expansion. I mean, when do I want to do this? Uh, well, if an event comes rolling through here, I guess. Otherwise, it's not... It's not much of a thing, is it? We can just... Oh! Oh, how cool! Find ancient statuettes of the six that have been scattered around Cantha. I just found an ancient statuette of Duena. Air currents swirl gently around this statuette. Oh, what a cool little achievement. Oh, I gotta sort this out. This is a... This is a shit show right here. Hey, I got a new staff as well. I don't have that skin. I think it's time to do a salvage operation on our unidentified... Well, no, but that's not gonna help much. Hold on, hold on. Look, look, look. We cleaned our bank and everything before launch. Look at how clean all of this is. Amazing. It's time to mess it up. I am going to dump. Well, first... All these ingredients pouches and shit. Daily's going to land as well soon. And the same thing here. You know, I just happened to get the achievement point reward, which again means that I've got, like, mystic forge stones and stuff. I can deposit. Deposit the pre the Aurene precursor. I don't know when I'm going to use that. 85 stolen bags of goods. My Trin's coffer. Oh, I never actually opened it. Should we open it? See if we get lucky. This is from the 10-man strike mission we did on launch day. Ready? Ah, oh, I didn't get lucky. I could have sworn I was going to get a precursor right there, guys. Oh, it's cool. We're back into a phase of Guild Wars where you can sort of feel the, the hype of getting a pre. Fish stuff I'll keep. The seaweed salad that comes in from the goddamn login reward daily insanity. Uh, the Arborstone portal scroll. Look, I appreciate that you've given me it, but frankly, I don't care. I'm going to deposit that. Um, the steak with winterberry sauce. The XP booster. The bank access express, which is absolutely irrelevant to me. Uh... Let's open the fish up and turn it into some materials. Alright, how many slots we got? That's still not good, is it? But when we go to a merchant, in fact, let's pop a merchant. And we sell junk. There we go, that's not so bad. We won't have to deal with that probably for the next, the rest of the episode. Which is good, because that means between the episodes I can fix that up now. I wanted to go to this flyer. Thank you, robot. The CFL and Leviathan Productions present the Grudge Match of the Year between Narcissa, the Flame, Diakos, and Lo. Is that Ion Storm or Lone Storm? Who will claim the belt of the Archimorus? You will have to show up to find out. Oh, here she is. If you want an autograph, it'll be 10 silver. Sorry, but why do I want your autograph? You haven't heard of me. I'm Lone St Ion Storm, best fighter in Echovald. At least that's what Narcissa is going to be saying when she begs me to go easy on her in our match. So you're a professional fighter for entertainment. Mm -hmm, I'm a Luxon. Yeah, I was just thinking, this isn't very like Kurzaki or anything, but it's very Luxony. This is good. Fighting's in our blood. We used to determine everything by trials of combat. For people that don't know about the Luxons, let me just be blunt. The Luxons were the Norn before the Norn were in the law, okay? 
So a lot of non-feeling stuff is basically Luxon stuff. <laughs> we used to determine everything by trials of combat. Canthons don't let us do that anymore, but we still fight for the fun of it and the glory. I want to see a Norn interacting with a Luxon here. Uh, where'd your name come from? It's my given name, if you can believe it, but my mum always wanted this path for me, so she named me after one of the three queens. Oh, I see. We already talked about the three queens. They're, they're like demigods, goddesses. And I called her a queen before. And then I thought to myself, oh no, it's not a queen, it's a demigod, I got that wrong. But it's actually both. I wasn't as wrong as I thought I was. Good thing I didn't disappoint, eh? Yeah, good thing. Well, good luck, lady. Um, and here's uh, another flyer. It's the belt of Archimoris as well. That's that's cool because it's uh, it's a Luxon fighting tournament. It just appeared out there. Yes, yes. Do not look directly. And then they're gonna get sad. What could possibly? Nice place. Is is someone on the other roof? Another flyer on the other roof. Some kitties. You gonna talk about fighting? No. You can get my battery back. Alright, I'm sorry guys, but I gotta go to the entrance of the Jade Sea. I gotta go there. I gotta see the portal. I always find that the map transitions are some of the most beautiful places the devs ever make. But man, it's hard for them to be part of Thorns. That entrance, this this transition Oh god, scrolling all the way up, there's gonna be a this area here of Heart of Thorns is so unbelievably gorgeous when you're in Auric Basin looking back out. In fact, the whole area is. It's such a high bar that they hit on the previous expansions. Oh, there's a zip line. Can I take that on top of the exit of the map? In fact, let's just have a look at this. Look at this. Very cool. The Jade Gate. Bunch of broken sentry turrets. There's a Tengu wanting help with an escort. Look at this. Oh, the water. I'm looking forward to this last map. I really hope that it, it looks as good. This was the map that really impressed me on the preview. Saitang, I was kind of like, okay, that looks good. Echo Vowed, I didn't like. Kaineng, I only kind of saw really late in the day, and I don't know. I mean, it looked alright, but it was also, you know, it's such a dramatic thing they were doing. But Jade Sea just straight up looked awesome to me before launch. So, considering how all my my opinion of all the other maps has gone up now that I'm playing it, I have really high hopes for the Jade Sea. Whoa, we're going down. What a sneaky cave. Oh, the projectile mitigation. Brutal. Oh my god. So much of it. Fear my 40,000 health. I love how I can de-lich straight into... Um Dodges blade sworn ability. That's cool. That's telegraph on it too. Break the bar. That should get interrupted. I don't think I should get hit by that. If I do, I'll be mad. Oh, it's a bit slow, isn't it though? Can't I just There you go. Dagger felt good there. Nice regen regen. All these plants and blows. So signet. Dagger two. Don't even need to throw my elixir really. A lot of unusual coins there. Nice. And there's a secret door here and a grand chest. I wonder how many players have been in here. This is quite hidden, I think. I mean it's pretty obvious once you go down the zip line, so. It's an interesting place down there. My hands are tied. 
They need this equipment at the quarry, and I gotta bring back whatever jade I can carry. Okay, but it's your neck. Wow. What did he warn her about? Uh, the Tengu's gone. Did the guy trigger the event and not do it? Oh, he's up on the road. Oh, I was gonna climb up there. It's alright. Well, we have more time for the JC later. Also, the pit there with the POI. It's okay. We'll have more time later. Let's go help this Tengu on his escort. does look insane. You understand the whole spoiler thing on the JC stream? Interesting. She has enough on her plate already. Are you speaker or brotherhood? Neither. If you're not with us, you're against us. <sighs> Engage it. See, I kind of want spiteful spirits sometimes, like there, because it would have broken the the prop, and it's basically do 33% more damage the entire fight instead of just 20% more damage in the back half of his health. But it's more circumstantial. Will you give it a rest already? The Brotherhood won't rest until the speakers have been annihilated. <laughs> I like how he uses a turn of phrase, give it a rest, and she takes it literally. They're that fanatical. <laughs> Maybe I'm reading a little into that that I shouldn't have. It's so lovely to see how many Tengu are integrating into Cantho where we were expecting the opposite practically. Yeah, I agree. I agree. ArenaNet said, no, we've got a better idea. Let's have loads of them around and do them well. And they did, and I think they made the right call. In a lot of ways in this expansion, my sort of guesses about what would be smart to do or what I probably would have thought to do, they went the opposite way, and they were totally right too, because it's just good. It's King Kai Village. Man. Good to see you. You as well. Got those baskets we ordered? That depends. How's the catch been? Get the turrets turned on. You get a chance to think about our proposal? Let me see. Uh, do we want to see control of our village and send most of our catch to feed your gang? I don't think so. That's too bad. Guess we'll have to take it then! Oh wow, nice shout in there. Uh... Unfortunately, the commander is here, so you've got no hope. I'm noticing these events are a bit more populated now, by the way. Have you guys seen this? All day, it feels like there's people around at the events. It doesn't feel lonely and quiet anymore. Have you guys seen that? It's not just me, right? We could build some traps and things. Like, look at this. Quickness, Might, 25 Fury. Look at the stat. Look at the duration on those. Look at them. I mean, that is the god build if you then want to abuse Lich. I wonder what else we could do. I mean, it's crazy. I wasn't in combat for ages there, and it was still just sticking at 25. The only thing, obviously, we're missing is Alacrity, which might help with the form a bit, you know. Maybe you can get a second four or five in if you're really quick. I don't know how Alacrity feels on a big transform, to be honest with you. WP, you need chat mods? Yeah, I know. There's spammers and stuff. I know. I, 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 w there's very limited controls on YouTube. Look, I mean, just treat this like a normal video. Obviously, I'll be curating the real comments and making sure everything's good and fine, so... As far as the live chat, it's a bit of a wild west. Because um, YouTube, I guess, is sort of the new feature, or they're not really working on it very hard. We do have a couple of mods around. Uh, Rocker and Sean are both mods. I don't know who's here right now. This is a nice event, by the way. It's really big. Look at, look at the mini-map. Look how many different places there are for me to defend it.
And actually, this is one of those situations where it's the, we can build the turrets up, right? And it would actually be useful. Like, so I could do that here. Well, in theory. Village is remaining until surrender. 11. Oh, so we actually have to defend these guys' lives. Oh, uh, another player already built that one. I'm torn between doing the event and exploring right now and getting, like, the waypoint and stuff. Yeti once called the Kinkaishi Ma Yeti, yeah, talk to me about what happened to them. Yeti once called the Kinkaishi... What I hope from messages like this is that they just say they're not in the area right now, but don't kill them off. Don't make them extinct, because maybe we can see them later. Although they have long abandoned the area following the rise of the Ministry of Purity, the surrounding area is still considered sacred and was used to perform various rituals honouring the Yeti's dead. Of course, old friend. Not many of us left that are still free of the games. We need to stick together. I'll be throwing an extra basket into your cart, and I won't take no for an answer. You won't hear any protest from me. That's cool. That was all those events came from us choosing to do that escort out near the, the gate. Dude, this village is great. I really like the vibe here. You know what this reminds me? This is really weird, but if you guys have ever... I talk about this game quite a lot, funnily. But uh, if you guys have ever played Divinity Original Sin 1... In the second map, there's like a little village area, like near the exit to the second map. For some reason, it, this feels like that place to me. I, do, I don't know why. I guess it's because it's on the right-hand side of a map near the exit. And I don't know. There's something about it that just feels better. And it, it's really cozy feeling and really cool. There's a vista, but it's really high, apparently. Like, really high. I would have thought it'd be on this roof, but no. I love this as well. It kind of feels like an elevator, you know? Like. So I guess I could Raptor... I feel like it's nearly always true in this expansion that you don't have to do anything too tricky with mounts or whatever. It's that there's a zip line somewhere. You just haven't seen it yet. Like, this maybe is probably it. Well, that might take me to a second one that will work. A fighting match flyer again here? Oh, which we already read. Oh, is the other Lux in here, I wonder? I bet the other Lux in character's here. Also, I kind of want to fish there, but it looks a bit shallow. We've got to get that waypoint as well. I think it's just these big, like, platforms, these wooden... What the the the, pe the waypoint's all the way up there? Okay, let's take the zip line then, because I think that's gonna actually raise us to the right kind of area. Look at the flowers and stuff on the roof. Up there. What was that I got from a J Tech test a second ago? Oh, a god statue. Maybe I should be paying more attention to those. Oh, where do you want me to go? I'm coming. Oh. Oh, you're on the roof. I see you. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Where are you now? Oh, there you are. I found you. Oh, and now you're over there. It's a raptor. This one's good. This is a little bit more involved than the other ones. Um so, this is actually my favourite one so far. I feel like for these to be really good, every time it should be like... You should have a little moment of scanning to see where it is. I like that experience. It doesn't have to be brutally hard or whatever. But this is, this is, this is better, I think. It's taken me a good... I bet they want me to rapture over again, so hold on. Oh, no. How many times I've been distracted from this waypoint? Alright, let's go back up and see. Oh, 
Oh, it refreshed already. That's weird. I love that hint of a wall up there. Look at that. Wow. That's like some Divinity's Reach uh, dam stuff, you know? Okay, so why did I want to come up here so bad? Because I wanted the height for the vista, didn't I? So I think actually we... Let's get on our raptor. I think we just follow this around now. And we're about level with the vista. Because we're much higher up now. Might want oh, no, no. We're still not level with the vista. It's still higher. Really? Huh. What about... See this? Heart of thorns. Just through and through. This, this may as well be heart of thorns you're looking at here, you know. Oh my god, a bunch. Oh, here we go, a zip line. You gonna tell me it's the trees? Well, they are, but in the wrong way. Oh my god, there's a chest here. Oh god, I'm all over the place. We're, we're, we're a mile away again. Maybe I'll just put a pin in this and do the uh, story first. Here you go. We'll get 25 stacks on this one. There it is. 38,000 HP. I feel like this should extend the duration of Lich as well, maybe. The Aspenwood Gulch discovered. Canther explored. Oh, there you go. Hold on, Canther. Oh my god, guys, there's an area of New Kaineng I haven't unfogged yet. There's a whole area of New Kaineng I didn't unfog. But what? Feels like I've unfogged everywhere, doesn't it? Oh. It's gonna be here. I bet sailing south around the city, there's some stuff here that I never saw. That'll be it. Look at this place. Where's the mastery? Is it right on that shelf? It is right on that shelf. Hmm. Too high for a springer? Nope. Exactly right for a high level. I think that's what they wanted me to do. Hopefully I'm not missing out on a more intricate idea there. Every time I get one of those right, I collect it, and then I look at the minimap and I see it's still grey, and then I remember I actually need to collect the little re bo bobbing reward, which otherwise I'd basically ignore. And then it goes to the nice new colour. Aspenwood Gulch, man. Well, this shouldn't be that fascinating to me. I've played this area. Alright, let's just... Um this is too much, too much content. Let's go left. Let's do this. I'm sure the personal story is going to take me around here anyway. So let's hop along on our demon. And see what we see. Here we are, see? I remember this place. We could go see the two, uh... The two cranes, the mummy and the daddy crane, and steal their egg. Except it's daytime. I think last time I was here was night, and it didn't look as good. So Caval's got that going for it. This little bit. Oh my lord, how golden it is. Hey, this feels very Guild Wars 1-y, this here. Look at this little shrine. The Tangled Altar. Is there anything I can do? Kneel? The little spirits here to play with? Amber Rock! Hello? 
This strange stone has tiny handmade etchings all over its surface. What are they alluding to with this? Leave it alone. Maybe there's an event nearby. Handmade etchings. I honestly thought it was a gathering node for a second. I was so sure it was going to be a gathering node. This is a huge looking place here too. What is this? Also, is this the north bit of the map or not? Oh, I think that there's like two chunks I can unfog up there. Wait, no, didn't I just, didn't it just tell me I've unfogged everywhere? So I think what they've actually just done is they've, they've obscured the rectangle-ness of things a bit better. It's funny because the waypoint being embedded in the fog kind of isn't it? An interesting vibe. How are we actually doing? We have all the waypoints. We've still never done one of the hearts. Three hero challenges. Look at all these POIs. Look at those POIs flash. <laughs> you can really see which bits of the map I've done and which bits I haven't, right? Look at that. <laughs> so bottom left is all good. Everything else we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> and in fact, I seem to have missed one right here, which would have been quite good. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to glide off of this. Goa village. So we do get the petrified stuff. What did I get from this before? Yeah, we were getting resin, right? And elderwood. See, so when I saw that amber there, I thought I was going to mine it and get that again. Like, it would make sense, wouldn't it? It is kind of weird. Usually, do you know what? They don't often do this kind of like, this is like getting a jewel, right? Just from pressing F and like every time. Just got a slight uptick in signal strength. I think you're getting closer. Okay. Oh, they had a big ring, and now it's going to be a small one. That's cool. We can slowly hone in on the area. Signal spiking, Commander. You've got to be right on top of the sewers. Well, I'm just looking at a strange door. Are you sure this is it? The signal doesn't lie. Take a look inside. Sorry, this is supposed to be an airship here. Um, I, I don't know what's, what's in store here. Dude, I put the heating on when I started this this video, okay? Because I was so cold yesterday. And I'm freezing right now, and I've got my foot against my radiator, and it is still cold. What? I turned it on! It might, The auto timer must have turned it off again or something. A strange door is... It doesn't help that I'm making these videos, like, quite late in the evening and then through the night, so obviously it gets freezing. A strange door is wedged into the rock face, framed by thick wooden beams. I open the door to investigate where the signal's coming from. Okay, this I didn't expect. I thought we were going to be in a little enclosed room. What on? Uh, hold on. Oh my god, it's like a whole glade in the middle of the map that is completely secluded from everything else. There's the airship. Whoa! Wait, is the idea that we're inside one giant tree? I'm inside, and there is an airship. It's got Aetherblade markings, all right. I'll keep you all posted. Dude, this is cool. Look at that. We're inside one tree, right? That's the idea? That's what I'm going with. What a cool vision. What a cool idea. Uh, do they, they expect me to have a glider, right? But I wonder if they have a physical walk way down. The secret cavern. Oh, and the pretty birds as well. Did you guys just hear that? Yeah. Revelers sleeping. Revelers? Hold on, and what about their clothes? These aren't Aether Blades. Oh my god, of course, we're in the open world. <laughs> that was a cool moment there. A nice little MMO moment there. We see a spud run along, and I was like, what? Captain, we have a trespass. Repair deck side defenses. We don't have any deck side defenses. Also, you don't order me around. I order you around. 
belay that order, Captain. We've got an old friend clambering aboard. What is going on? I when you'd show up, Commander. Come on inside. We'll have a drink. We drank all the drinks. What the shit? Familiar sounding voice, and it's Kanak and Saida. Oh my god. I didn't think they would have a part of all this. Oh my god. How cool is that? Of course, they had an Aetherblade airship. They had an Aetherblade. It's, of course, it's there. This is awesome. Wait, but they have a mist portal device? Why do they have that? And they're revelers because they're, they're all hanging out and drinking and pillaging and living off of Canark's winnings. Uh, amazing. Okay, hello. Welcome to the story, you guys. I should have thought of this. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a hedonism party. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm going downstairs first. Oh, it's a, it's a debauched party. What is this? They're gambling. <laughs> it's like a casino ship, right? You know, they, they get out into international waters and, and there are no gambling laws. They're, they're clearly <laughs> little slot machines. Uh, is this the music that got revealed? Anyone in the live chat? Is this the music that got revealed before the game came out? Saida. Uh, his outfit. I have to assume you're here on purpose. On purpose, with purpose. Commander, you are looking at the world's largest Only? flying VIP social club and gourmet restaurant. Oh, hell yeah. Unfortunately, we lack the room and willpower for expansion. He says that like it's my fault. Okay, I stuck with you as long as I could, but we're going to talk about something else now. Captain Trin of the Aetherblades was murdered by her first mate, Anka. Anka wants this ship. She can get in line. Oh, I, I like it, Saida. Get in there. Line. Nothing we've done has surprised her. I want to change that. <sighs> you want to use us as bait? To draw out your murderous pirates? See, this is why I miss you, Commander. What exactly would we get out of this suicide pact you're proposing? The saviors of Kantha? <laughs> Pretty sure Kaz could negotiate that into a favorable rate on a site for Kanak's social club. A site off my ship? Well, let's not be too... Done. Hey, Steve. <laughs> okay. Consider us bait, Commander. I'm still not used to his voice. What, an, what a cool trajectory for Kanak. So he's going to be like the casino boss now. He's going to evolve from being a patron of casinos to running them. It's a good position for him to be a bit edgy as well in, you know. <laughs> Wait, but why are they here though? Sorry, did they say why they're here exactly? It's just coincidence, is it? Sorry, what? <laughs> I, said, I guess you're here on purpose. He says, with purpose, you're looking at the world's largest flying VIP social club and gourmet restaurant. And then Guck stopped them from talking. Why here? Whatever. <laughs> it's still good, though. Oh, that, I wish I'd thought of them. i got to say as well, I said this in the previous part. The other expansions, it feels like the story is like thinning out. That's the phrase I've been using through this playlist getting smaller a bit faster going rapidly end of dragons is still kicking man like <laughs> this is great oh these people never get tired smart thinking commander we can lay a trap for Anka wherever that ship's going to moor she won't go down without a fight should pick a spot where people are least likely to get hurt the Jun Lai Jade Scrapyard, right in the center of Echo Ball. That'll be quiet enough. I could send out a false message on their comms network. I've been working on a relay. Ooh, yes. Anka will definitely hear it. And if she knows there aren't any defenses, she might get overconfident. At least overconfident enough to bring the extractor along for a speedy getaway. 
Message sent and received. Good work, Ivan. Oh. Everyone, come to the airship, and we'll escort it to the scrapyard. Ivan's on the way. That's probably not the best idea. If I can hack around your photon forge, so can Anka. You can monitor Aetherblade chatter from Arborstone, Ivan. Hmm. Be our eyes and ears. Uh, all right. Just promise me she won't get away. She won't get away. Oh, I like that. Okay, actually, no sooner as I say that, suddenly it's like, okay, we'll build into a big thing right here. Catch a spider. Dude, they really went big on Crimson Skull coins for the X-Pack. I love that, considering they're otherwise entirely absent. I really love that. Here, there's another strange door. Is this just going to be another exit? This one's super buried in there. This door seems to lead deeper into the depths of the Echoveld Wilds. It bolts from the inside, so you think once you leave, you can't come back this way. Uh, okay, so that when it says deeper, it just means out of the inside of this awesome hollow tree. I thought there might be spirits or something on the floor down here, you know, some, something to play with. But no. So are we going to have an instance here? Head to the airship. Oh, how dramatic is this going to be? Are they going to have us actually on a moving airship here in the open world? I, I can't imagine it, but they might. They might have us go into an instance where we actually... Well, let's just see. Okay, it's an instance. Would you like to continue your story empty? All right, here we go. Oh, the concept art there. She's looking necromancy now. Empty. That's a good name. That's how I describe her as well. Remember. We want to detain her. If we can present Anka and her extractor to Minister Lee, we can prove our innocence and then use the extractor to drain the void from Su Wan. Look, Anka, we can't. She's too dangerous. Do you understand? We do. But she left us with very few options, and that extractor's our best shot at saving Su Wan. Ayumi, see anything? No. But do you really think I'd keep it to myself if I did? Well, it's nice to see everyone in such a good mood. She lied to us, to me! Kidnapped, threatened, she's a, a monster! <laughs> you don't have to convince us, Gorik. We're already on board. Everyone, clear on the plan? Not much of a plan. Yes, we're clear. The Aetherblades attack, we repel. Then take Anka alive and secure the extractor. Well, I'm no expert, but wouldn't we have a better chance of success with more, uh, what do you veterans call them, specifics? <laughs> Shut up, Kanak. <laughs> I mean it, by the way. This good mood, it's infectious. Okay, do I have to press F to continue this? Oh! Yeah. Aether blades on the approach. Two groups going around you. My kestrels are almost in position. You brought backup? It's not back up if they were part of this from the start. Oh my god, are they going to jump on the ship from the tops of the trees? Oh, this is really fantastic. We're going to have airship v airship here. Above the Echobald. What a cool view and perspective of the forest, by the way. Being all the way up here. And if I'm not mistaken, that's like... This is the, like the real map geography as well. It's not like spoofed or anything. It's not like a raw story mode. Look, we're actually here. This is actually what the map looks like this high up. Surrender this ship to the Aether Blades, and we'll let you live. Where's Anka? She too much of a coward to fight us herself? Hey, no one talks about the captain like that and gets away with it. She isn't a captain. She's a common thief. No better than you. So you're not gonna surrender? We've got you outnumbered six to one. Hold that thought. Oh shit! Hey, look at that. Six to one. Oh, that was good stuff, man. They are up there. I could I saw that ledge and I thought they're, they're probably on that. I thought they were gonna jump in though. And then it was the Aether Blades that jumped in. Okay, we got a big tanky guy here. Well, somewhat. Let's see how he does. The ledge form! Oh god, confusion. He's doing well against the Lich form. In exchange for Anka's location, I'll need some compensation. I'm not sure that's your best play. Tell us where she is. Uh, right. She's, uh... 
Captain! No! I didn't tell! I didn't! Damn it. Where is she? She can just keep throwing these undead no. goons at us from anywhere in the disposal yard. Oh my god. Everybody! Come in! Let's go fall back! Wherever you are, retreat! This whole like necro side of it feels really out of left field. Uh, I like how she can force choke people now, by the way. She basically is a harbinger, right? I'm a harbinger. She's a Anka is a harbinger. We'll be fighting these Pistol and undead stuff. Wait, if Anka indeed brought the extractor, I may be able to detect it. I mean, in, in terms of techni technicalities, I think we would say she's inspired by the Harbingers, but I mean, she hits all the beats, basically. Got it. Aurene's energy signature, right in the center of the disposal yard. Come on. Oh, I missed seeing the airships get shot down, did I? Oh, 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 that sucks. Okay. Saida, Kanak, you should leave while you can. I could pretend I want to fight you on that, but I respect you too much. On the other side of this, <laughs> Dude, I love that Saeed is a part of this. It makes all the POF stuff feel so good. <laughs> In jail, usually. <laughs> this is good stuff. Okay. Oh. oh man, now we have undead in the forest. Oh, it's going to be at the junkyard place as well. Dude, so what, what do we think is going to happen? Is Anka dead at the end of this? And we move into Su-1 final boss territory? I still have two acts of story, right? I'm not crazy. What is it? What, act? We're probably about to end Act 3. There's still two acts left. So could Anka actually be out of the story at this point? I think she's going to get a leg over us on this. A leg over us? That'll be weird. She's gonna get one over on us. <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna do the deed. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hold on. What did this look like earlier in the open world? Dude, I love their like Aetherblade skiffs. Aurene empowerment down there. Oh, this is a strike then. The Aurene Empowerment appeared in the Mitrin room before. This is the second strike of the X-Pack. Yeah, so we'll do the 10-man one soon as well. Oh, boarding party. What do you want me to do? I want to get in there, man. Uh, Raptor would do it, but I'm in combat. Because I went too close. Can I break combat? There we go. Oh, I can't Raptor at all. Can I Jade Bot in here? Because I could glide and Jade Bot. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ask you to call back that ship, Commander. Oh, you and I both know that's not going to happen. What if I could? And forced you to make the call. No, you already died. Quiet, Sam. You'll appreciate it. Like how you hook an electrode to a dead roach to the nerves twitch. You don't scare us. <laughs> and that's why the chief seeds love you so much. It takes more than an inescapable apocalypse to ruffle your feathers. <laughs> okay, this is a bit weird. Oh my god, I'm going! Science always has a uh. solution. She's summoning help! Don't let those things touch you! <laughs> is this right or wrong right now? <laughs> I mean I'm game for it. Let's see where we go. Ah alright, fine. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was kind of awkward. I wanted to finish the fight quick, but I also didn't want to shroud and cut out the dialogue. What is going on here? Okay, I gotta dodge to stop that. Okay, the hallucinations we just avoid, right? Oh, they suck us in a little bit. It's a little bit desmenery. I'm going to try and go a bit slow here because I have a feeling my builds are a lot stronger than uh, they balance this for. I want to see the mechanics. Actually, it might be all right. This goddamn poison, man. I've got to... Stay as far from her as you can. Run! Oh, I super overdid that. Okay, Ayumi's down. Oh, I have a lich form hallucination. That's interesting. Do I just keep walking away from it? What is vacuuming? Okay, it's vacuuming me to it. I mean, 
mean, where's my space for a bit of pressure here? Okay, it's gone. What's going on here? I want to res these guys? Special action to res them, maybe? What do I want to do? Is this like a flak mechanic? When does this get dropped? Oh, it's not after a dodge. It's just it does it. Looks like the 10-man version, and especially the CM, you'll want a bit of cleanse in the comp on this one. Because I imagine this poison will really start to... ...sting. Stopping all this would be a victory. Ending the dragon cycle will save countless lives. You did end it. Congratulations. Now live with the consequences. The void is literally filling the void you made. If we can stop its corruption, we can... Alchemy, you don't get it. Every change you make changes something else. You've never stopped the apocalypse. You just kept trading up. Now it's time to pay the bill. Oh, I love how it's kind of meta what they're doing, you know, but they're kind of like looking at this like almost like fantasy trope and certainly something Guild Wars ended up having where, you know, there's this sense of trading up constantly. They touched on it a bit in POF when Ritlock has that other likewise almost meta comment where he says short term gains always lead to long term problems. It's that same thing again. You can always kind of feel that they're struggling with this idea of what, what, what are we doing here? Are we constantly trading up? The, the fact that that line is there makes me think actually that the void might not be a, a big problem for the franchise. That we might actually solve the void right here in End of Dragons. Maybe. Anyway, it's interesting they give me a straight up pause in the fight. I'm supposed to be chasing her, am I? Out of the room. Oh wow, this is going to be interesting in the strike. What, the, what are the giant hats? Look at this. Slight movement section. Hey, that's actually really cool. Guild Wars doesn't do that much. Oh, how cool is this? Wait, reanimated sprite. Break bar and really low health. Literally couldn't break the break bar fast enough there. Plus a ton of spiders. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, very rarely in Guild Wars do they have you in the middle of a fight walk to a new area, a new arena. And I like that. That's cool. Watch out for the tentacles. Hey, there's Zaitan tentacles. They've reused the things from the Zaitan uh, mission. I wonder if I get hit by those, it will say. Oh, that's inspired. Very good. I'm very, very happy and impressed with that. And they're sticking about too. This is one of the least used assets in the game. Every time I've <laughs> like streamed or gone to um, or made a video at the Zaitan, I nearly always make that comment about them. Like, oh, they're a really cool asset. You only seen it. There you go, reusing them. I like this. I think this is going to be my favorite strike of the episode. It'll suck the life out of you. Right. Got it. But what do they want me to do? Just stay out of the red ring or anywhere near it? A hallucination. What are these hallucinations? What are they? Oh, are they risen quaggin? Popping. I think they are. I think they're risen quaggin. Really cool. Okay, a bunch more of these. What do you guys think the sprite does when it dies? By the way, if you guys want to do the 10 man thing with me in a minute, you, you might want to pay attention to this. If you haven't, you know, played this far yet, I assume most of you guys have, because I'm a bit slower. It says inflict hallucination, so I wonder if that's something I can control. Also, look at this patch of shadowy terrain here. I wonder if that does damage to me or anything. Does that give me hallucinations when I walk into it? Oh, I think that's what it does. Terrifying, malevolent visions haunt you. Take out the boss quickly. Take out the boss without being downed. Well, I'll be fine with that. The quickly, probably not, because I'm going really slow here. Just sort of see it and indulge. Like they have donut attacks, obviously. Okay, pursue her again. Gorik, I'll be honest. I thought you would handle this better. You kidnapped me. Tried to kill us. You used our 
relationship to betray me. I'm sorry that's what you thought. But I figured more than anyone would understand what I'm doing. Anka, for the first time in my life, I understand exactly what you're doing. Okay, sorry I cut his dialogue a little bit. Good. Then you shouldn't hold this against me. What are you? That's void magic. Holy fuck. What's the matter? You think you can stop it, right? Then this shouldn't be a problem for you. Soon the whole world's gonna look like this. Trust me, I don't like it any more than you. Then stop fighting and help us. Do you understand? A tyrannical lich, a demented god, and five elder dragons later, and all that's left is the void. An emptiness with purpose. Just my kind of apocalypse. I um look, I like the talk there about all the previous stuff we've done. I, I I'm not I'm not following her like motivations anymore. I think I've started to lose a sense of what she's all about. I don't understand what the resurrection thing is with my allies here. Good build for this. I mean, just keep moving and stay at range seems to invalidate most of the What's content. Pulling more void magic out of the day and using it to manifest new creatures. Focus on them. Wow, those things are so quick. Yeah, so she has void magic because void is. Because she's getting it from the jade. Why can't you all just enjoy it? The end. Commander, that passage. Uh, cinematically, I loved it. I mean, look at this. And when she was in the middle, oh my god, it was so cool. Gotta be where she's hiding the extractor. Come on, Anka, you can't stop me. <sighs> you, the inquest, June. Why does everyone want to play God? Well, what the fuck are you doing right now? Everyone fails. Every time. Just embrace the end that you earned and let the world reset. <laughs> You're no fun. Warwick used to be fun. My trin. What happened to you people? You can't fix anything by playing it safe. You have to burn it down. So something better can grow in its place. <laughs> Alchemy. All I ever wanted was a little stimulation. Is that so much to ask? Anka. S sorry, I... I, uh... I thought... I just... thought I'd feel better. When... you know... When justice was... When it was done. This is... <sighs> when it's someone you know who hurt you, there's no closure. Not until you decide it's time to move on. I think... Uh, I'm tired of feeling like this. Yeah. So, the extractor? Right. <laughs> Brahma's great. Knowing then. Anka, she had a contingency plan. Looks like she set it to overheat without a proper biometric scan. I can probably deactivate it. Mmm, probably. Gorik? It's not stopping. It's not. Ah, get away from me! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Everyone all right. Gorik? Jory? 
Fine. How do we not see that coming? Can we... I don't know, can we fix it? Doesn't look like it. Boric? Uh, her we body just got flung over into the corner it, it there. It take too long. There's only one person who can fix this, and she won't. June, what if we could prove that Anka was the one behind the attack? Provide some evidence. Well, for starters, Anka's dead. Secondly, your evidence just blew up. The extractor blew up, but we don't need the whole thing. If the extractor's core is still in one piece, it should still have residual orine magic stored in there. And we can show that to Minsek. Plausible deniability. Nice thinking, Gorik. And so, the apprentice detective finally becomes the master, huh? <laughs> mm, no. Okay. This is a great runner but through as a this. Sleuthing partner? You're not half bad. Hey, there you go. Yeah, why I kick him while he's down, Marjorie. Yeah, go on. At least she threw him a little bone. Yeah, her, her body just got unceremoniously flung over here. I can interact with it. Anka, dot dot dot. Gorik wants to speak. I don't know, I'm bursting to say a lot of stuff here right now. Um But I don't know how to organize it. I uh I don't like the Ooh, just destroy everything. Like, I feel like I don't like the sense that she just wanted to break everything so that something new can grow in its place. When she has, abs as far as we know, she has absolutely no indication that anything positive will ever come from the void. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, and it's it's kind of a tropey villain archetype to be like just the ultimate nihilist that just is happy to dissolve everything. I liked her. I, I really followed her, her motivation and I was really into her as, as the baddie in as much as like all these other people are making all these big power plays. And she's like, she, she loathes that about my, uh, about um, my Trin and she loathes that about June. You know, these people trying to play gods and she's just like self-interested in for, in it for, you know, whatever the Aether Blades can take. She just wants to pirate. She just wants... She wants to kind of stay small scale to a degree or something like that. I really kind of followed her there. But here, there's all this shit about she just wants reality to get destroyed just because... I feel like they're needed... And, and they, she alludes to this idea just let everything be re rebuilt. Honestly, I wasn't really buying any of that. I feel like I want her to have known more about the Void before then and stuff. Or something, I don't know. I don't know, but I've got, to, I've got to be honest, I was kind of a bit soured how Anka went out there. Again, the fight was awesome, and everything surrounding it, but actually just like following exactly what she was doing. Like in the first half of that fight, I very nearly said it out loud. I might have actually, I can't remember. But I was just sort of thinking like, why are we fighting at the moment? And th uh, that should never have come to my mind. But And I was thinking that, why are we fighting at the moment? Is it my fault that I'm not entirely sure on this? And then... um. And then halfway through the fight, it's like they started trying to give that motivation for this conflict between us. But uh, I didn't really buy it. I don't know. First uh, immediate sort of feeling I got from playing that. All right, anyway, let's let's grab the core. The shit's about to go wild here, I suppose. The main components of the extractor are completely unrecoverable. Hopefully something, anything survived. Oh, we've got to check around the room, have we? This is the main casing for the extractor's turret. Search inside for the core. There's nothing inside. The core must have come loose when the casing hit the wall. Oh, here it is. Oh, and look, you see the little That's blue in it. there? Let's... Yes! See? Orane's magical signature. Right there. Okay. That's enough evidence for me. Let's get this in front of Minsec. I'll go with you. Make sure it's clear I stand by the evidence. Once that's done, we'll go see June together. Is that wise? Going to Minsec? Minister Lee may interpret the evidence differently, to suit his preconceptions. It doesn't matter how he interprets it. We have laws, we uphold them. Lee will have to accept this. You say that with seeming conviction. I've had a lot of practice. Commander, I'll meet you at Minsec HQ. So the live chat's got a few messages here. Yeah, the idea that she was like an anarchistic force, right? And she didn't like the idea of... You know, freedom from people playing gods and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. But anarchistic doesn't mean <laughs> that, what she was just doing there, you know. 
That's a level of megalomaniacal that just... I, I don't think it matches. Or it might, and I just need more supplementary material, or I need to replay it and think differently about it. Uh, let's go with rock this time. <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors emotes are uh, <laughs> interesting. Guild Wars 1 actually had that emote in it, and you could sync it with other people, and your characters would actually play. Kind of one of those old MMO things, theoretically, people could use to roll for loot and stuff. No end of game, uh, end of mission thing here, but that's fine. I think on my day one review, I was wrong. There is plenty of that. Oh, thanks for seeing me. I didn't know who else to turn to. I'm still getting the hang of this pirate business. It's been tough. <laughs> You're doing just fine, Horrid. little Anka. Relax. Feel the breath of the wind. Taste the salt of the sea. Swashbucklin's about being free. Being free? Aye. We go where we want. Do as we please. No gods. No masters. It's a dangerous life, though. What we do. And we all gotta die one day. This old sea dog will go out in a glorious blaze, blade to blade with a worthy foe. Ah, <coughs> Captain! At ease, Horik. Are we prepped for voyage? Aye. Good. And who might you be? Crewmate Anka, ma'am. Ah, Thalmanova, right? Glad to have you aboard, Anka. We've got big plans. And it won't hurt to have another inquest engineer aboard. Thank you. I won't let you down, Captain. God, that's so perfect, isn't it? After she's dead, you hear her first moment joining the Aether Blades. So well timed where they position that. And it's such a so well done as well because they even get that little implication there. You know, they, you've got to remember the Aether Blades are pirates with inquest tech. So they want inquest minds. And it's just, it's so logically and perfectly spelled out there. Yeah, like, uh, to me, Anka's all about freedom, right? She's all about choosing her own course, her own destiny, and so on. She doesn't want to be thrown around by these cosmic powers. Um, I don't think that they've adequately taken a character like that and had them endorsing the disintegration of reality. I think the, o the only key little piece is, like, if there was a suggestion that the Void was trying to rebuild a, a fairer, freer world afterwards, that there was life or something in the chaos following, but I, I, I don't know. I haven't seen that. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Is there another one? I love this slow walk thing, but now I'm like, must... Oh, I can't even interact with her body now. I can't even interact. Interesting. So, I think that's probably the lot. Oh, God, I've got a real decision now. Do we do the 10-man version? Or... Or do we keep playing? If we're going to Minsec, I know that there's another strike mission at Minsec. Because I saw it there in the city. In the last part. Return to New Kaineng. So, is that Act 3 done now, I wonder? Or is Act 3 in a minute? Uh, Full Brumby, thanks man for the donation. My biggest problem personally is the extractor. More than Omad's machine in the past. Really bothered you. Oh, you think it's just too strong of a MacGuffin kind of thing? Like it can just depower a thing? Well, I don't know what supplementary information there is about that as well right now. Um, I don't know whether I can say that bothers me yet. Because maybe there's a lot of cool details and stuff about that. Oh, here's an interesting idea from Wide-Eyed Miller. I think her time in the fractals made her feel like, well, everything works just like a fractal. Let it reset. That's a really cool head cannon. If she had slipped a line in like that in the boss fight, I would be wanking myself silly right now. But she didn't say that in the boss fight. It's a really cool idea to think that the fractals reset and just, like, broke her worldview. If I see it, that's really, really genius. I, I would like to see any evidence for that. Right now, it's just a good... Good little bit of um, head cannon or extra thing. Okay, so where's the entrance to the strike then? How don't I have the POIs here, eh? Dump site one. Oh, the music's good in here at the moment. 
Cool, it's very rare for me to be as into Guild Wars at the moment as I am right now. I'm very... Every little element of it, I'm really vibing on at the moment. Weaving the map comp in with the really good story section, dude. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, I'm going to create a squad. Do you guys want to try Anka? The vibe of that strike mission, all the undeady stuff. I, I'll tell you, I, that might be my favorite. I mean, I, I've only seen two now of the four, but that was a cool fight. And I'm excited to see that 10 man. So listen, guys, I don't mean to disappoint you. I know most of my audience is NA. Uh, EU, but I think I'm... Pl am I playing... It? What region am I on at the moment? 81 ping? While streaming? At 1440p60? Across the Atlantic Ocean? And I'm only at 81 ping? Is that true? Am I NA? Or am I EU? I think I'm NA, aren't I? Oh, look at that. The diamond chest still hasn't reset. Feels good, man. I'm so happy I got that done. Um, ball is past Jade Quarry for Aspenwood. These are NA servers, aren't they? Why is my ping so low on NA? Holy crap, dude. Oh, no, there you go. It's going up a bit. Average 100. Anyway, yeah, we want 10 players. I don't mind what you play. One support might be nice. A uh, heal support, specifically. I have quickness for my subgroup. Hey. My ping is the same as yours in Canada. Yeah, where are their servers? They must be East Coast, right? <laughs> Didn't they used to be in Texas? And I used to get a higher, uh, higher ping. Where's the entrance? Is it on this? Yeah, it's there. There's the there's the entrance. Oh my god, they've put that in a really challenging spot, haven't they? Again, is this a zip line thing though? Oh my god, there's a hero challenge there as well. I tell you guys, through all the commentary I offer in this game, the thing that I don't talk about enough, but I really, I mean, it really stirs something in me, is always the audio. I'm always just so into the music and stuff, but I just, I, I have no language to articulate anything I say, you know, uh, anything I feel with it, but I, it's so good. There we go. Bit clunky, I'm sure there was another mechanism to get here. You can sense the beauty and power where it is buried. Uh, sorry, you can sense the beauty and power where it is buried beneath refuse jumped, uh, dumped by the Jinlai Jade Corporation. All right, one more player, one more North American player wants to come on this strike mission. Try it out. You can be experienced, non-experienced. You can do whatever you want. I don't mind. I just kind of want to get a feel. I'll give it four or five attempts, and then we'll move on. If we get the kid in four or five, I'm very happy. Also, since we got, I think we've got enough for another bit of Harbinger now as well. Which feels quite fit fitting after, after that fight. Here we go, the Elixir of Bliss. Resolution again. Oh, res resistance before resolution now. I'm still not settled with that. Ah, oh, here's our cleanse. These tooltips are just nuts. Such a simple skill with such an insane tooltip. Okay. The elixir of bliss. We've also got septic corruption now. We're starting to get our condi line. Oh my god, and we- oh my god, we have a uh, dark gunslinger too. So pistol skills, reduce- gain reduce recharge. And expertise on vitality. Oh, and um, poison on the shotgun. Yeah, septic corruption is huge, man. That is huge, because that's six packets, man. That's a six packets of poison. Doom approaches. I've always loved this trait name. Hey, when you think about Anka as a harbinger, and just the idea of End of Dragons and the Void, Doom approaches is a pretty goddamn cool trait name. <laughs> 
but that's our GM. That's the Condi GM. And that's actually good for the open world because it has a weakness on there. Maybe we can supplement quickness elsewhere. There's two elixirs in a row at the end. So this is a quickness elixir. And then this is an everything elixir. Okay, there we go. We got ten players. Let's go on in. The scrying stone can allow you to relive past events, but the mind can be unreliable. Who knows what may sh sh change and shift as you dive into oh, those memories. What happened? The Jinlite Jade Junkyard. Did I? Did, did we? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, well, that dialogue wasn't related to this, was it? What a cool, uh, like, environment to pick, too. I'm so happy it's not a circular arena. But beyond that as well, it's just got, like, this crazy different vibe to everywhere else in Guildhalls. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were on the ship at the start. Forgot I did that. Okay, so it looks like someone tried to join and then left, because they were probably from Europe, not North America. That always happens. Someone somehow doesn't pay attention. It's North America, so we got one slot. If you guys want to join... To get in, all you have to do is go in game and type slash squad join list. You can copy paste that from the live chat in here. That's it. And then you're in. You saw that scrying stone there and instantly knew a strike would be here. When you saw Anka, you were like, ah, she's not coming out alive. Ah, that's interesting. You kind of had it tipped off. I mean, you can have a boss fight that doesn't die, right? Like, you can do that. She didn't have to die there. My trend never died at the end of the first strike. But to be defeated, I think, is a... Or it could be, you know, Anka was going to summon some minion, and the minion is what we thought. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if they were ever tempted to do, like, an undead Horik or something <laughs> in there. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a ready check up. And we'll just see how this looks and feels. For this group stuff, it would be really cool to have the Elixir out of Ambition already, but hey. You really hope they someday bring Season 1 back, just so you get to learn about Scarlet Merchant. I mean, I like that End of Dragons is so good with the past lore, because it kind of is an argument for more Season 1 at some point, <laughs> you know? I think uh, of an abridged Season 1 that's just like the big beats would be fine as a re-implementation. Like a four-act Season 1. I don't know, that's a huge topic I don't want to get into. Here we go, let's do it. So, my mindset here is just going to be to hold CCs. Oh, that's not on me. Okay, guys, if you have an AoE on you, I think you want to walk away and not dump it on the team. Do you see how one of you guys created this massive AoE on the boss there? And now we can't hit the boss. So, I think, see, everyone's dead. That was one particular player that killed all of us. So, if you get the big AoE on you, you've got to walk away. Two other players seem to figure that out instantly, but someone didn't. So this looks like one of those instances where um, there is a bit of personal responsibility. So we've got people getting defeated already. Let's GG this. Let's do that again. So yeah, you want to pay attention to that. or um, And I just want to be very clear. If we're in a situation with this group where people can't deal with that one mechanic... Um, I'm probably just going to leave and go keep playing the story and do something else because um, it's very, very difficult in a pug situation um, to know when or if a person will ever figure it out. I've had a lot of experiences before where people just can't do it and um, you end up losing hours over it. So we'll try again. So yeah, if you get a big expanding AoE, there's probably some kind of like active effect on you that tells you it's you or there might be text in the middle of the screen that says you got it. That tends to happen in other things. Can we jump down already? How's this work? Yeah? Alright, she's already shooting. It's a cool start as well. My advice to you all is to focus far less on your skill bars here. And far more on the environment. There you go. Okay, so you can see three people, they moved out. I don't know how far away we need to dump those. I'll get with my dagger eyes here. She says, don't look away. So we've got some hallucinations coming in. 
Okay, someone went down to that hallucination. Is there more damage here? What's the story going on with this? I'll niche, because that why not, I guess. Mind you, I should probably stay in Shroud as much as possible. Quickness as much. Okay, so run away from this, right? I'll heal this guy. Ventari tablet, friend. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I died resin the guy. Okay. Try again. Throw my little uh, tonic down. Elixir. Trying to keep nice and close, I guess, for lots of buffs. No break bars at all, so I can just spam the four and five, I think. I'll raise that. I don't know how they went down. I didn't really see anyone, actually. Okay, so she's involved. So that's phase one. Are there going to be break bars? I can't remember. Did I do any of those in single player? Yeah, what's the game here, by the way? When there's a whole group. Oh, do you know what? I should have cleansed. I'm an idiot. I should use my thing. This power feels good. I can use the signet to heal on the malice. I should turn the signet off, by the way. It's pretty much useless. Oh, there's break bars here. Oh, well done, guys. Yeah, but they were also really squishy, weren't they? Yeah, I have a useless skill here. Spectral Grass as well. Yeah, if there's not much break bar stuff, Spectral Grass is essentially useless. Okay, I'll throw uh, Tonic down. I wonder what I could swap that for. I need to start using the three. Especially when I'm over the blight threshold. Oh. Zytan worm got me there. This guy's down. I can't really. What am I supposed to do there? Do hallucinations, DPS, down state. It looks like they might not. I don't know if the 4 and 5 are good to use uh, on a power build in this context. I could use the... Um... Oh, here's, here's one, here's one, here's one. Oh my god, we destroyed it. Well done, guys. Yes, I guess I'll do this for a bit. This is an incredibly unoptimized build, but I'm playing here. It's alright, I'm having fun. Oh, we've got two defeats. I didn't even notice. How did that happen? Okay, that's another phase. Get up, she says. Oh my god, all the mobs. I kind of want Axe here. Fax three. Oh. Okay, I should probably go help this. Oh, they obstructed my pistol three. Okay, that's fine. Wow. There's an actual swarm of mobs. Someone else, they stayed in, I think. Oh. oh no, okay, this is the hallucination flak thing, right? But with the whole group, there's going to be a bunch more of them around. Okay. It's chaotic. Oh, these guys go down. Is that an instant defeat? Can I get you, Derbeg? I kind of, maybe I put blood magic on so I can transfuse all these bodies again, just like I did before. You know, put them out of these nasty AoEs. I gotta heal, man. Glad for Signet there. I'll tell you that. Okay, 40%. Doesn't she run to a new area now? We had four deaths there. So we have to six man the last bit.
Now, if anyone gets hit with condies here, I can... There you go. I threw them on. I don't know if anyone had any, but... Okay, void phase. My worry about this fight right now is that it's kind of really easy at the start, but takes a long time to go through. And then it's only hard here at the end. It's going to be like Doom, you know, with like the really long pre-events. So... Fingers crossed it's not that. Sorry guys, is, is your quickness. Oh, she had some kind of laser beam. Oh, well, was that us? That was our hollow, our mechanist, I think. Oh, I needed to stand in banner range there. Whoa! Oh, dude, I really want some AoE for this. Yeah, I'll get to these quicker. I'm not contributing to these phases as well. There you go. I broke the bar and it died faster than if we killed it. There's another one. Whoa. Okay. I think I hit the outside and instead of killing me, it TP'd me back into the middle and reset my camera. Are we all okay? Nice and healed up. Man, I feel bad. I have two useless utility skills. We got a downstay. We really should focus on these on this one now. Oh, look, she's like TPing around a little unpredictably. Okay, break bar. It's down. So fast. Well done, everyone. So 20k, but there's a long animation on the floor. What's the I wouldn't blink thing? It's like this is a look away mechanic, the way that it's typed about, but um, it's not a look away mechanic. I feel like the or oh, it's a scrapper raising people with function gyros. So good, man. Well done. I see you doing that there. Just throw some elixir on people here. Oh, I don't want to be in the donut. I don't want to be in that either. See, there's another guy down there now. I don't know whether we can get him. Oh, I think we can get him. Let me just heal myself here. Oh, i got to move away from this now. Sorry. I I'll put worms on him otherwise, which isn't good. Stay in range for some... Stop. Oh look, she's pistoling me. I'll pistol you back. You ain't the only harbinger in town. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Ah, oh, dude. I pressed F and then I saw that I was getting sucked in. So I was trying my best to dodge roll to break the res. But I couldn't break the res from the dodge roll. <laughs> Okay, considering we had to six-man that last phase, I think that went fine. I'll just clean up my build a little bit, and if everyone else cleans up their build a little bit, I think this is actually quite an easy strike mission. I think. Unless something crazy happens in the last 10%. I think we'll be fine with that. Uh, let me turn off Signet of the Locust, and instead... Oh, well, Spectral Grasp I def definitely don't need, but I can put Spite on for power. Um... You know, maybe I could use Bliss and Ignorance. I don't know. Let's use Well of Suffering for some of the... No, no, no. Uh, also, I think I'm going to turn Spite off and put Blood on. It's going to kill my damage, but I think getting the people out is much better. Right. So, um... Plus the Ritual of Life. So then my last skill... I mean, yeah, let's just do Bliss and Ignorance. Why not? And then the Elite, we could Flesh Golem. Just for added casual pressure. I could also put food on. What consumables do we have? Um, there you go. 100 Ferocity and gain Might on Crit. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, there's someone still up the back. Sorry. Who is? There's two people actually. Sorry, I should have waited to see if you guys were ready. Someone's AFK. I'm guessing this is someone who died in the last run and now they've gone off to eat some donuts. So we'll wait. There we go. They're wiping the uh, the the sugar off their fingers. 
There we go. Oh, I was going to change my weapon as well. Oh, well. I think we got this, guys. You know, using signets was probably a better shout for me here. Okay, someone's dropping the thing on us again. They just about moved out. It's really forgiving timing. The, the hallucinations. I'll try and raise this. Okay, guys, if you're hallucinating, I think you've got to move further away than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, Chance Fuse actually didn't do anything there. I did leap towards him. I was expecting the teleport, the body to teleport into him. Is that me? No? Actually, Signet's kind of lame if I want to just sit in Shroud without the Signet tray. This might be a fight, you know, where the more players you have around, the harder it gets because there's more... Um, more AoEs and things land, you know. There have been a few examples like that in Guild Wars over the years. Okay, I'm hallucinating, so I'm going like well away. I need to squeeze anything out of this. She's totally aiming me, right? Can you guys see this? Oh my god. Did my flesh golem die or did I simply forget to ever summon it? It could be a look away for CM. Yeah, you're right, maybe. If the hallucinations have eyeballs on them, it could be interesting. That's a weird moment, that corridor yeah. run. Uh, I'm contributing. I'm going to flesh golem charge in this phase. Like, why not? Look at that. <laughs> it's like going bowling. Good quickness for everyone. Freedom through quickness. We actually have an alacrity spammer as well, so that's pretty cool. There we go. I'm getting you out. And all that poison we just ate, we can clean up with our elixirs. Oh, not all of it though. Ow. Go, my flesh, go then. Move back into the group to resustain. I'm not going to shroud until I've got a bit more health. There you go. Thank you to the Ventari tablet. It's nice to be supported by these weird abilities, right? We've got a scrapper helping out and we got a Ventari tablet helping out. It's pretty nice. Running very low on uh, life force suddenly. What was that? I was getting so much life force from. It wasn't spectral grass, and it wasn't spike. Just because I swapped blood for uh, spike for blood. I think I really just need to spam this more. Someone's losing it. Or everyone is. I'm quite sure how that looks. I like holding my elixirs here for right when this phase triggers and just. All right, there we go. That's the next phase. Good. <laughs> this power feels good. Oh, my golem was going for it there. This section's weird as well. I wonder if this comes together more in CM. Like, I'm not sure what the jeopardy is from the uh, minions right now. I get that they're probably meant to make it harder to get to the edges for the break bars. See, she said don't look away there. So maybe you're supposed to spend the whole time staring at the hallucinations? I, I really don't know. I don't know what the game is on that. Oh, my thing's not good. 
Oh, I gotta help them. I got a well of blood. Oh, good job to the guy who's immediately stopped. There you go, well of blood. He saw what was happening and he um he changed tack. All right, phase three. Everyone's alive this time. The arrow is showing us where to go. Oh, I'm just gonna power through this and cleanse. I did a bit early. I'm fine. So we're not eligible for the like speedy kill achievement and stuff when we're in this. I guess let's get tight together and I'll start ramping the quickness up again. It will have dropped. Oh look, this guy's down. He didn't even get into the fight yet. Can anyone help him? I guess I will. There you go. I, t I transfused the body that time. Transfusion Harbinger is a weird mix. All the elixirs. So when you actually get three elixirs, you start running into this thing where you can overcap on blight. Obviously. Alright, she's crazy. Go, Golem, go! Boom! Oh, I was hoping it would die there, but it didn't quite. I should have used Shroud 5. We can use it on this guy. Oh, she evaded. <laughs> Straight up evaded there. Going pretty clean here, eh? Just stack and smack. Two people in the back. Safe little section here. I really should be dagger too, that's just all I know. You know why we're fighting it. It's obvious why we're fighting it. Why are you embracing it? There we go. Got a bit of a rhythm going here now. I do like that alacrity, bringing the three up so fast. Okay, last 10%. If there is something special, it's coming up now. Somehow I don't think there will be though. My train kind of had some weird stuff structured at the end, you know. It was like a whole second fight, really, it felt like, once you got into the Scarlet phase. So we have that guy with the Ventari tablet on the perimeter there. Is, 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 does he believe there's a flak mechanic? Is there a flak mechanic? Because he's playing like that's a flak thing. I would res, but 2% left. I'm just going to put... Alright, someone else. Hey! Little bit disappointed on the tuning on that, I must be honest. Uh, uh, it's hard to tell though, because you never know how experienced everyone else is. Very good, guys. Can you just type a 1 in chat if you've never beat this before? Can you just type a 1 in squad chat, or any, any kind of player chat if you've never beaten this before? If you're totally new to this. I want to see how many people are blind on this. So, 5 of us, 6, 7... We're all, this is first time for all of us. Okay, type a two in chat if you have done it before. Can, can we go that way? Can you type a two in chat if you have done it before? Ten man version. The ten man version. There's no twos. Yeah, we're all new at this. Well, which is awesome, by the way. That's exactly the way I'd want to play it. Just all of us going in having fun at the start. But that, I, that says to me this is a bit, a bit undertuned. Even for normal me. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But it was cool. I mean, it's still a cool fight. And hey, it means we get to keep going. We get to move on. We pro gamers now, maybe. I do like the different builds, I gotta say. I like I like seeing a scrapper and a Ventari tablet and whatever other weird mixes we had out there. I like that, man. Who was it giving me the alacrity? Was it the scrapper at this point? Uh, so there you go. So, um, Junlai J Junkyard. Thank you, guys. That was cool. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, the meta's up again now. You know, I'm beginning to think that here on day uh, day four, we're not going to see this meta. 
Wait, it's gearing up. No, let's do it. Let's do the meta now. Let's do the meta now. I'm going to do the meta. We already have a squad. It's just started. The university first for study. Then they'll go to the Kurzic Kultus. Why not? I imagine some of them will end up on display. Most will be archived. All of them will be heavily warded. I'm going to the flag. Wherever they go, it'll be... So it says that it's gearing there. up. The outpost will be overrun in 20 minutes. Really? Where? Is this after the explosion has rocked through the place? If I remember rightly, that's how it opened, isn't it? Yeah, the tablet could have been given a bit of alacrity too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you just watched my day three episode and you were asking about the jumping puzzle. So you saw me play it, did you? That was really cool. It was a real highlight for me. Is there a jumping puzzle in this map, I wonder? It's a little bit labyrinth in here. I've got to go around like this, let's see. Not even gonna protect us? We gotta I don't mind the pink well, cat matter, but we gotta go green for Necro here. Now, yeah, I think I should have played Axe there as well, right? for Axe 3. So let's see what we got. Uh, my hopes aren't very high for this, because neither Sai Tung nor um Kaineng met has actually impressed me. Story-wise, it might be good. You can actually pay attention to all that dialogue now. What's my process for choosing servers? I don't have one. I just I'm wherever I am. Uh, when you're a partner, you can just swap for free. So. Usually it's, okay, do I want to dodge that or CC? I think CC it, CC it. Um, the last boss on this mirror is tough apparently, that's cool. If I'm doing like something where I genuinely want really low ping, I'll play, um, I'll play EU. Uh, but otherwise, I play NA. I like to play NA with Kerry. I'm playing NA on this playlist because I just ended up here, I think. I can't really remember. I was just here. So why not? Aren't I doing um, Final Fantasy on EU? Oh no, is Final Fantasy NA as well? I think it is NA as well. More of them? Congratulations. You are free of gang occupation. For good? That's the hope. Okay. Ah, there's another one. I like the speakers speak are building their bombs. Out by the Ultra Mines. Security's light. Could bust up the operation pretty quick. I like that you can always tell when the meta's going. They're very clear with the, the color of the arrows and stuff. Like the deep red. A lot of refugees just arrived at Mori. The Jade Brotherhood took their village. Oriel, it's being patrolled by some of those extra tough mechs. Are the turtles ready? You bet they are. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm making a choice here. Oh, look at this. I like this beam. <laughs> it looks like it would break under the weight of my demon uh, springer. Let's zip line. Uh, I am making a choice to do this. So did the bomb explode before because these because the players had failed it on that instance that that uh, instance? Outsider, over here. There's a whole lot of potential firepower down there. End of this operation before anyone else dies. Don't trash the components though. Bring them to me. It might come in handy if we go up against Brotherhood siege engines. Wow, three seeker supplies from that one box. 
Okay, well, I should kill some of these guys. I want Spectral Grass back now. I wonder if I want Spike back, though. I think I do. I want Spike for all the mites. If you're not familiar with the real Harbinger Spike combo, it's actually the Miner. It's Reaper's Might. Shroud 1 gives Might. Look at that. That's 30 seconds of Might per stack. And think about how rapidly you attack as a Harbinger in a, in a Shroud. Not to mention all your Might then is actually faster. Um, it is, uh, is worth more power than using the middle chain. So that, that's really where all of that comes from. And blood just doesn't have the privilege. the biggest fan of jade tech myself but i'm not gonna blow anyone up over it all right i don't think we're gonna get to that other event in time the speakers have so taken wait. to larry village and are enslaving the spirits of the local dead we cannot allow this blasphemy to continue imagine terrorizing people with their own ancestors let's do that elixir the elixir of risk spike 10 might real quick Okay, we should go over there, though. Oh, it's nice that I have the waypoints now, you know? We can move around. We can get to the places nice and quick. Jade Brotherhood are swarming Karstadt Village. As soon as we got a lock on them, they blinked out of sight. Laura's headed that way with a device that'll like help us ferret them out. And left she their needs behind. backup. Don't be fooled. They're cloaked. Not perfectly, though. Every so often, their devices give off a spark. <laughs> Shutting work in shop. Most of my kin don't want anything to do with Jade Tech. I find it interesting. I've learned its weaknesses. This is really complicated here. A lot to read and understand while you're on the time limit of a broader matter. What's it saying? The Ecto Spectrometer. Focus a burst of high frequency light in an arc in front of you, revealing hidden enemies. Move faster. So we're just we're just trying to get invisible guys to appear, right? I see. Uh, you think the final meta might impress me? You haven't seen so many people wiping a wild boss in a long time? Uh, well, not to labor the point, I know I've said it a lot in this next play already, but wiping on a, on a wild boss doesn't mean that I'll like it. If it's overtuned and too... It, it's... It's more the complexity of the thing and the spectacle of the thing, so... You know, too easy, too hard, it's not really... Actually, I think if people just... I think if it's just something that really doesn't feel that intricate and yet it's really hard, I think that'll actually... I, 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 I probably won't like that much, you know? But we'll see. I mean, obviously, kicking back a little bit is, is always fun to see. a spectacle. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I personally think the highest spectacle meta they ever did was Dragon uh, Stand. The Heart of Thorns final map. That fight is really terribly tuned. Only some phases matter and so on. But they're spectacle. No protection fee of any kind required. So that's an example where the balance is wrong again. Like, I really wish that the Mouth of Morgimoth was retuned re so that the other phases mattered and stuff. And more islands got destroyed and stuff. Not in the interest of making it harder, but just in the interest of making it less of standing around waiting for ages, you know, which is what it ultimately is, even with all the spectacle. So I'm curious how, how this expansion ends. Speakers have spread throughout the area, binding the local spirits and twisting them to their will. And I totally see if it's Su Wan in that meta. I see how Su Wan is the very same shape as the mouth of Morgimoth, and they could just look at what they did there and do a mirror of it. <laughs> so a part of me is expecting that. for everyone.
should mount be disabled on that map or part of the map for the mild fight. It's an interesting idea. Um, not if it was just a naked change, but as a part of trying to reinvigorate the whole boss fight. Uh, yeah, I think that would be a good way of of bringing back the the feel of moving around the ley lines and stuff, and not just hanging around on a skyscraper. Wasn't such a feather-brained idea, was it, Zuru? I still maintain this outcome was improbable, but it seems we have beaten the odds. What are they doing now? I don't know. I. They're headed to the junkyard. Who? All of them. Speakers of Brotherhood both. Sending everybody they got left. Then we need to follow. Let's move. Okay, so is this the end of it in the junkyard as well? It's at the Anka fight place? That's cool, but we're doing that back to back. Gang's already dug in. Speakers to the west, Brotherhood to the east. And they're duking it out in the middle. The leaders, Tetra Earthcall and Shaw Lower hanging back, delivering orders from a distance. You don't think it's overtuned, but people haven't learned the mechanics yet? Well, uh, I would be, I would, I would warn you against that. Okay, observation one is that people here in launch weak. They're actually the better players. They're the people who understand the game more. They're more fanatical about the game. They're pushing through. People on that map already. They're not your run of the mill Guild Wars players that are there right now. They're actually the 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 upper crust. So it's not a thing where everyone's just going to suck. You know, they're thinking, enthusiastic, fanatical people who get the product. And they're actually more predisposed to success than, uh, than those who will come later. And another thing I would say is in all my years playing Guild Wars, I have never observed the, the, the general standard of play to improve over time. What, but by that I mean if there's like some really bespoke mechanic that you have to know about a thing the average player won't know it they will have forgotten it like what's a good example we saw we saw it happen several times in my big playthrough of the whole story last week you know we'll be doing something and people just don't know what's going on because the last time they did it was five years ago or they've never done it you know and people don't tend trend upwards not really I think if people are struggling right now it is overtuned that, that is what I would say. I don't think it's going to be a thing like where in the year 2027 everyone sort of gets it. Because the kind of people who were still playing it in that time, they, the people will have started to forget. And stuff doesn't get taught and reinforced adequately in Guild Wars, so information slips through the minds of the casuals like a sieve. And it's not their fault, it's the game's fault. But, so yeah, I don't see, I, I, don't, I don't really buy that argument myself. I wish I could think of some really pointed examples from the playlist we just did, because they are there all over the place. You know, I'll very often see other players, like, in casual little events, it's like, oh, they're not going to know how to do this. Oh, they're not going to know this mechanic. They won't remember. Or they'll just be struggling with, like, very basic, basic stuff, because it's just that little bit arcane, you know. So, I don't know. Obviously, I've not seen the damn thing. I'm willing to be completely wrong. Well, that was cool. Saw an untamed ability there. So what? What is the saying here? Both gangs are at the get at the junkyard, right? So I'm against the speakers right now. The Brotherhood's in another area. I only see one event, but there's dialogue here. Let me go see the dialogue. These dialogue icons. We put a stop to the oh. speakers' rituals. They're gone. They're retreating. So with forest warfare, so we missed Goa Village. There's a speaker and Jade Brotherhood left tenant battle, a 1v1. I, I, I'm guessing they'll do the Ryland Bram connection mechanic with a break bar. That's my guess here. Let's see if I'm right. And then here, prototype XJ1. Brought down the shield. As tempting as it is to let them keep beating each other up, they're releasing more void every second. Let's see. Oh, I can feel it in my bones. Don't you dare surrender I'm almost finished reprogramming this thing. Wasn't planning on it. 
cold. The spirit I channeled into it is now ectoplasmic. Oh, you stop. Please. Can't you see what you're doing to this place? Oh, I really. Okay, they're not doing the thing that I thought they were doing. <laughs> or gonna do. Break that. Break this for everybody! If I stand here, I can get both break bars at once. Oh, nice heal from someone there. That's not me, that's um I think that's the abomination mechanic from Path of Fire. Like the counter attack if you're hitting into the shield. And I think uh, I was getting wrecked by it. Oh wait, I forgot. Other people can heal me while I'm in Shroud now, can't they? Oh don't kill, it's a sink kid, is it? I see, okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll try my best to get there in time. We got 10 seconds. Get in there. Four, three. Okay, hold off now. Hold off. Swap back because we're not going to make it. This is going to start ping ponging if we're not careful. We don't want it to ping pong. Ah, uh, it's going to ping pong. Oh my god! What? I didn't. I didn't target them. We might have time. Go! 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 10 seconds. No, no, no. Okay. You know, we're going to miss it again. Ease off. Ease off. We're not going to get that. Ease off. Just wait here. Uh. All right. I think the timing will be a little bit better this time. We need to scream panic in chat. <laughs> All right. We, we've got it this time. We've got it. Hey, there's a dev here. That's cool as shit, man. Or oh, we can see the arena tag on the dev's minion, I think. I, I, I don't think we can see the dev himself. They're, they're somewhere in the stack. There we go. Panic avoided. <laughs> Averted. Whoa! What is this? Oh, he got slammed. Oh, this is the uh, the Iron Forge man. I'm so happy. I thought this was going to look like the Kaineng boss. This is awesome. Also, that visual effect, I'm guessing that's the first I've seen of it, but that it's going to appear a lot as I interact with Void in the later story, right? That was really creepy and cool. Very, very, very badass looking stuff. Damn, I went down. What did I mess up there? I was trying to raise this guy. This is a this is good. This just immediately took my spot for favorite meta. No break bars on him. Looks like. guys like some elixirs. He loves a dagger too. Oh, he's moving. Oh, fucking awesome. Whoa, look at the animation as he dissolves. Oh, this guy wants a res. I got you, friend. Oh, someone else has got you. Oh, no, that was your own symbol. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, we gotta go. I'm gonna go see the thing. Oh, the zip lines are part of the matter. Good shit. Oh, and a battery. I wonder if we can use that somewhere. Whoa, it's all the way down there. Dude. My frames are holding out here as well, by the way. Might just be because I've been really crazy with the culling. Res. 
What is this giant attack here? There, there's very little clarity, but I mean, I can't accuse End of Dragons of having a problem there. That's just a Guild Wars thing. <laughs> reanimated mechs. Veteran reanimated mechs. Hold on, I've missed all the context of the story that here, though. Who built this and why? Which of the gangs? Is it... Uh, is, oh, is the idea it's just... The, the void has just come and crashed the party, so to speak. Is that the idea? And this mech's just been built via the void from all the shit that was dumped here. And possibly... I mean, i, I got to learn more about void. Like, what controls it, what causes it. I got a sense in the Echo Valve earlier that, like, this idea of sadness and emotion might impact things. Like, when they were talking about feeling all the dead dredge. Okay, it's now occurring to me that he's quite high health still. We only have 12 minutes left. So I wonder... Oh, it's just so much death, right? So many people down constantly. You guys want to get yourselves some open world builds. Look at this. Wandering around here with zero quality of life. Okay, we're, we're one quarter done. I mean, this is rough. Let me get my minion plane. The gravity is kind of weird. Also, what's this this yellow ring telegraph? Is that good or bad? What is that? Are you guys seeing that sometimes? Do you know what? Let me go get this. Defensive protocol. Offensive protocol. Oh no, I need more batteries. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can target the arms. You can break the brake bar on the arm. Guys, come over here. Let's hit this. Does that help us? Oh, wait, no. That's a laser module. Wait. Mech arm. Yeah, here you go. Look, 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 look. Mech arm. It has a brake bar. Oh, no. They're just little creatures in the area. Ignore me. I'm, I'm an idiot. Ne never mind. Never mind. I thought it was literally the, the boss. I thought it was like, uh, you know, the Asura tutorial boss. And it had different hitboxes on it, and some of them had thingies. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Just keep hitting it, I guess. We might not make this. I mean, I don't know what's the most value from me. I guess rezzing, right? I mean, if I res someone, I essentially double my damage if I consider their damage once they're back on the field. So you know, It's just relentless though. Look at how much they're dead. He's moving again. Accounting for the movement phases, I think this is going to be tight. Um, when he gets below half health, he will get a lot easier. Oh, here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get batteries. There are batteries in the area. But as you go to the next zone and collect some of these protocols, make sure you've got an offensive and a defensive protocol on you. It will give you a shit ton of stats, right? I mean, it's, it's not like I have food on me or anything. <laughs> Didn't I have some random food I could eat a second ago? Alright, let's get in there. I appreciate the time is short. Oh my god, all the bodies. Did everyone just get nuked by something? What happened here? I've just... I've, I've just walked into the room with the pizza and everything on fire. How did everyone die? Was there some kind of nuke? What did I miss here? <laughs> Is he going to do it again? I can, I'll res down, but defeated? Oh shit, what's this? Something's going on in this phase. It's changed. Something's going on. I can't possibly res this many players. Right, I saw a telegraph, like an arrow telegraph. I think what we need to do is hide behind rubble. When he does a, a clap ability, yeah, someone's saying in chat there. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 there's junk, there's arrows. Okay, guys, if you've ever played the Silver Waste, it's like hiding behind the beehives in the first lane of the Vine Wrath in the Silver Wastes. 
<laughs> is that a good comparison for you all? You'll see, yeah, and then after the clap is done, the, the, the junk goes away. And if you're defeated, please just wait point and come back. I don't know if we need to prep the junk. Here, yeah, like, like for example, see this on my on my video? See, hear that? And you're safe when you're behind the junk. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting some damage in here. If you guys waypoint away, it might scale down while you run back. It might help us. Oh, he can be blinded. He just got blinded. He literally just slammed his thing on I don't see any more junk around. I mean, I'm trying, but... There's a lot of health to get through. Oh, I wish I was on this. I could just be resing you all if I was on this. I can't see any more junk right now. What spawns the junk? That's the thing that I want to look at. Oh, there's a pile here, central, on my tag. You guys just come to my tag. You'll hardly be interrupted in the next phase. Look, I'll give you quickness here. 46%, 6 minutes. The junk is hard to see. Uh, don't look for the junk, just look for the ground target telegraph then. If you, if you really want to. I'm usually really bad at seeing stuff in these fights. Usually I really struggle with telegraphs and stuff. But I have to say, I'm finding this one easy. So you just might not be looking for the right thing. Like here, see there's junk here and the telegraph's not even there. See that? And by the way, if you pick the one with the green tag, you'll be getting quickness while hiding. Which is obviously always good. Is that guy just down safe? No, he's defeated. Right, well that's another 10%. Six minutes to do 40, 40, uh, 40%. We, we might still be on track, you know. Might be. I know I'm just dagger autoing. I'm kind of playing this as a ranged guy now because... Oh yeah, here we jump over here. It's very good. You can see when you're going to be safe because of those blue circles, which is nice. That's it. 100k from the, shr the shroud autos. I feel a bit nervous right now. There's some junk. Oh, I like this guy's technique of just typing junk every time so that people can see the white, you know, the, the dialogue box. Keep on going. What, uh, why did I forget my character's name? What's his name? Gux. I was going to say Gex. I was like, no, no, no that's... Prototype X is moving. Nice. Oh, God. What if they add another mechanic now? All right. Last phase. Four minutes. I believe in you, team. I believe in you. This is excellent, this meta, compared to the other ones. Certainly. Oh, he's not. He didn't move far. He has everything now. Well, what, hold on. What, what did he not have before? There's a clap there, and I don't see... Was that a clap? The arena's smaller here, which is nice. Junk should be easy to find. Oh god, there's like vacuums now. Junk over here. Oh, well spotted. That one's hard to see. Holy crap. You can really just see the bodies fly as soon as that clap animation, right? I'm so happy I got here late. Because I would have died to the initial clap for sure. There's, is that junk? No, what He's doing it, isn't he? No, no, no. Oh my god. One of those animations looks like he's doing it, and it's really scary. Oh, I gotta res these guys. Oh, I need a well of blood. Actually, I feel like... Oh, that one's gonna mess people up, I think. 
20%, three minutes. I think we're on track. If there's no disaster. The tuning on this is like pretty exquisite, I gotta say. It's gonna feel real bad to miss this. But, you know, that's only a few frames away from glory, so you, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Really focus on my utilities more. Than that. Watch out, it's a junk phase, I'm sure. Here, here, here. Oh my god, that one's far away. Is everyone okay? Oh, that's a lot of bodies! Oh no, that's a lot of bodies! And these are defeated! I can't. I want to attack. He's defeated as well! Come on! No. It's 2022! Don't make me res defeated people in combat! I'm happy our squad's all alive right now. Look at that. Ten percent. Oh, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. All right, keep an eye out for an out man. That blind. They should make him immune to blind. That's invalidating your content, or internet. <laughs> oh my god, I love that though. Look at all the bodies every time. <laughs> every time. Dude, we must have survived at least, what, 20 of those now? And there's some poor fuckers out there that just don't get the mechanics. <laughs> They're just getting flopped around like fish. Five percent. Oh, God, this is good. Get out, get some, there's some junk there. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Here are everyone. Quickness for everyone on me. Last 3%. We've got a whole minute left. Look at that. Brilliant. Very engaging. They want me to do it five times. That's cool. Did you forget the part where it squashed me, Shen, like a bug? It wasn't operating under our orders. Ugh, can you stop fighting and listen to me? We all need to work together. Or there won't be anything left of Echo Ball for you two to squabble over. Oh. If you put the minds of the Brotherhood on the problem, we'll have it solved in minutes. <laughs> and your solutions are more likely than not to send us spinning closer to oblivion. I'll need to be there to make sure that doesn't happen. Look, it's Guild Wars Factions. Oh, that's probably the best I'm getting from you two, isn't it? Look, that's so good. Two enemy gangs coming together to fight a common cause. 250 years ago, it's the Affliction with the Kurziks and the Luxons. And here, these two coming, to get to coming together against the Void. Oh, they just disappeared, though. <laughs> Someone said, is there a meta event here? All right, let's open the chest before... Oh, I already opened it, I guess. I like that. Chewed Canton backpack. Just waiting for my inventory to be too full. Very good, guys. Very good. Lots of fun. I wonder if Shingji has a boss at the end. Because we only saw one lane complete. Hey, I got a thing for Quietus. Nice. The Jade Vault. Find four statuettes for Myung Hee, Keeper of the Jade Vault, and return them to her. Why don't I remember picking this quest up? Weekly Canton Strikes, by the way. When does this reset? We've got Kaineng and Harvest Temple. Kaineng Overlook. Am I going to get two strikes back to back? Because I'm totally going there now, right? And I swear I saw the strike entrance over there. Very cool. Thoroughly invigorating. Okay. What's that dialogue down there? Let's go see that real quick. I don't know, seeing people fail such a simple mechanic really makes me feel people are being lazy on the last map. No, man, it's not laziness. It's that, like, you're, like, here, right? When you're playing, when you're watching me play, you're watching someone who, who has a good PC with high frame rate, knows how to not let the culling destroy him, is really familiar with 
the controls and the build and has a good robust sense set of expectations of what Guild Wars content looks like, you know, and knows what the telegraphs look like. Like, th that's all subtle stuff that you know and have under your belt that most Guild Wars players don't have. So it's not laziness, they're genuinely trying, it's just they're s woefully unprepared because it's a very complicated game that that doesn't stagger people into that kind of stuff well enough, you know. If the third personal story since this expansion had that clap mechanic and the junk thing, people in the open world would be doing fine with it, right? Or, or if it had happened early in the personal story and it happened many times before. Of course, you'd be calling it old and boring at this point. But people would have learnt it. Um, so it's just, uh, it's not laziness. It's not even stupidity, it's ignorance. And there's no shame in ignorance. But it is the game's fault if people are ignorant. For too long. So, anyway, how do I get up there? Speaking of ignorance, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to get that dialogue. You know, there's people that would have been doing that, zoomed in, like immersive camera. Right? You know how I've been on this Let's Play most of the time? They would have been trying to do that fight like that. And they're gonna have no chance to see that telegraph. No chance at all. How on earth do we get up there? Oh, that's why I ended up around the other way, because I went... Dude, I want post-meta dialogue. That's clearly post-meta dialogue, right? It's just this thing, I think people don't realise how often they undervalue their own expertise. You know, things become very old hat and very quick and very simple. Ah, the dialogue's gone now. I didn't know how to get up to it. It's gone. You know, one of the most eye-opening things you can possibly do is go to, like, a Guild Wars stream on Twitch or here on YouTube. Uh, oh, a Termite Man. And watch, like, a genuine new player. And you'll see intelligent, you know... Decent, normal people playing in a different universe to you. Like, everything about their way, the way that they control and act with the game is just a million miles different to you. And that's what 10 years of playing the same MMO does. And that gulf that appears, that's like, that's a real challenge. You know, people talk about MMOs being the most challenging games to develop and, and uh, continue production for and stuff. And, you know, most people aren't even thinking about the real problem, which is that. You know, there's just this huge gulf. So again, I'm kind of forgiven about people like that. Um, you sort of have got to be, to be honest, as well. This many years into Guild Wars, don't having low expectations of metas. Anyway, 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 I'm gonna get off my high horse. Let's go to the Ministry Ward. I want to get coffee, so I'm gonna disappoint you all here, and I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. Get a cup of coffee. But um. Commander, meet me at the East Precinct. Haven't been able to reach Lee yet, but I have an idea. I thought he asked you personally to bring me in. Is he always this tough to get a hold of? No. Not for me, anyway. Uh, but our departments are underwater right now. He's probably just busy. He directed all traffic to this office. My friend Min is the captain. She should be able to help us. Oh, it's the precinct I spent all that time in yesterday, and now we actually do some story there. Okay. Dude, I like coming back to the city now, after we've been in such a different environment. Ah. Oh. Look at this. Oh, what a vista. What a vista for you guys to look at for two seconds while I get a cup of coffee. Beautiful.
Okay, kettle's boiling. So, uh, I don't know if you guys want to chat about something while, uh, while it boils. I've got my instant coffee mix in there. Uh, you wish loads of players would listen to me on the fact that not everyone has a good PC or is good at the game. Map chat on the last matter is usually toxic. Uh, well, you're not going to stop that either. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I want to say as well with Guild Wars, Guild Wars um, is easy. To, it, it it's not as unoptimized as you think it is. Okay, I've, I did a graphics video um, last summer, and I really recommend if anyone has frame rate issues, and frame rate really, really will impact your performance. Uh, make sure you watch that video. Seriously, turn shadows off. Just bite the bullet. By the way, you can have shadows at low and it's basically negligible performance impact. Get shadows off. Get ambient occlusion off. Get reflections off. Okay? Those are the really big ones and you'll gain incredible amounts of frames. I'm kind of very carefully optimized right now to get the full 60 frames here. Um, for the purpose of the let's play and stuff. So my settings are higher than I'd normally recommend. And just go low with the culling. You see, I'm low, low here. These are killers. These are absolute killers if you go highest. No matter how good your PC is. I have a really new, really brilliant PC that this community funded last year. And if I was highest, highest there earlier, it would have been a crap shot. And then, yeah, ping's another thing as well. People don't think about ping much. But uh, some people have a really bad ping. I, I have a lot. I'm very familiar with how different this game feels to play with good ping versus bad ping. Um, and another thing that people don't think about as well is actually just controls. Controls are actually a really big thing. Um, it's very different playing Guild Wars when you have an MMO mouse and perfect muscle memory for every action. For pinging on the fly, for typing in chat on the fly, for triggering every skill, every profession mechanic, getting on mounts, getting gathering, you know, um, like toys and stuff out. It's, if you have a really well mapped keybind setup and a perfect mind map for it, you are infinitely more competent at the game. And uh, when you're just sort of casually coming in and out, you're not going to have that. Let alone the hardware, you know, when you don't have an MMO mouse and now you're talking about using a ton of modifier keys and stuff. Um, you know, one of the great innovations of Guild Wars was saying, hey, instead of having 30 skills, let's just go with a couple, right? Um, but even then, it's still complicated with weapon swaps and stuff. So, you know, there's just these, these really, really big things. And that's just in terms of, like, performing mechanics. When it comes to just straight up numbers, doing damage, healing, stuff like that, uh, you've got the whole build side of the game as well, which, again, Guild Wars is woefully inadequate teaching and talking to people about so there's just this other gulf that appears between people so yeah oh my god Gux just stretched there right when I did <laughs> in like basically the same way that was weird alright the kettle's bored one second Alright, I'm back. Yeah, like that guy typing junk a second ago. That's good. That's you. That was useful for someone like me. But what if you're a player that isn't conditioned to look at chat or to look in your environment for the kind of text bubbles that might be appearing? What if you disabled text bubbles like 50 hours ago and you forgot about it? Or what if you disabled text bubbles two years ago and forgot about it? You know, it's not like there's a ping, an audio ping sound that would direct your attention there. You know, here's a good example as well. When I used to um, raid, sometimes you'll get like a raid mechanic. Um, exactly like the thing we had just a second ago against Anka, where it connects a, a, ground a, a ground ability to you. And you've got to move out and drop it somewhere far away. Um, in raids, that can happen quite regularly. And it's always telegraphed with a ping noise and text in the middle of your screen telling you that you've got the mechanic. But I had the ping noises muted, and I, um, I just, I don't know what it was. I just had absolutely no conditioning whatsoever 
to be reading text that appears in the center of my UI. Massive, obvious text in the center of my screen saying, you've, you've got the poison, move out of the way or whatever. I just wouldn't read it. So, like, I was, like, dragging my eyes all the way to the bottom left to see it printed in the chat box. Or, like, trying to look at it. And it made my performance, like, dealing with that mechanic way worse than it should be. Because the most simple thing to be conditioned to do, I, I didn't know and I didn't have. And I had the audio off and stuff. And then it was only way later that I realised, oh, this is a really easy mechanic. That's the telegraph. That's the thing to look at. You know, let alone people that get stuck. Am I supposed to look at UI or am I supposed to look at the actual animation itself? Like, sometimes that's unclear. Anyway, there's just a lot of layers to that stuff, so. What do we got here? I feel a bit sinister coming back to the city here. Like, this isn't going to go well. It feels like we're in a really weird place narratively here, where it's like... Like, Anka's left, and we didn't instantly explode into something new, so we're kind of... It's... Immediately that builds a lot of tension to me, because it's like... Captain Min wants no interruptions. Thanks to your buddy Lee, our precinct is swamped. Let me back there, Mogi. I'm telling you, she'll be fine with it. Think I know her better than you do? Oh, I forgot I'm talking to the Minister of Self-Importance. She's not even answering her door right now. She'll answer for me, okay? She knows my knock. We have a secret knock. It's an inside joke from when we were kids. Cute. And I'm sure you and Lee have a special handshake. But the answer is no. She's busy. And so am I. But we'd be less busy if someone gave us a hand. Say, I don't know, a friend of Min's? Perhaps an admirer? Who cares deeply for her? Oh, you manipulative foot fungus. I'll knock out a few tasks, hmm? To help her. Then, you're letting me back there. Deal. But until you're done, the only door you're getting through is the exit. No secret knock required. Okay, I've hey! lost the plot. Hey, Min! Are you back there? Stop shouting! She can't hear you! I swear, I'll have you removed. Oh, you gonna call the police on me? Get out, Rama. A deal's a deal. <laughs> I like how he just had to give it a shot, you know? Okay, leave the precinct. There's a lot of events on at the moment. Whoa. Oh, it was our disguise, right? Our hollow scrambler. Right. Sorry you had to witness that little kerfuffle. That was actually one of my more pleasant interactions with Mogi. You two have a history. This is the guy who wanted fired. You could say that. We went through training together. He used to give me crap for. Uh, it's a waste of breath. Anyway, we're helping with a few chores. Some grubs, undead crows, routine stuff. There's also an infestation of purest activity in the area. Given their political inclinations, you'd think they'd choose to live somewhere more agreeable to their bigotry. You'd think. Listen, think you can handle Mogi's menial tasks on your own for a little while? I've got an idea. Might be a good one. Might be crazy. I'll get back to you, Commander. Sure, I'll do menial tasks. That's what the Commander does. Riches through menial tasks. Get more information out of Lieutenant Zhao. I kind of wanted to tag this event, thinking it was going to be, you know, a phase of the story where we do lots of little events. Let's, uh, let's kill this guy real quick. Sorry. Oh, he's over here. Okay, at the grub lane. Interesting that I could have just beelined the story and I didn't realize it was going to take me back for like a proper arc in Pine Egg. At which point, you know, I could have done the grub lane stuff there. a bunch of reports about Raisu Palace. Apparently, Risen are pouring out of the ruins. I'm a suspect. Suspect how? He thinks it's a nest or something. It's giving him a bad feeling. I'm trying to set up a meeting with Mizuki. See if we can get a couple folks down there to check it out. I know that we've heard that a ton of times, but it's the Raisu Palace mystery, which is so captivating to me. Okay, let me um, let me read this here to figure out what I want to do. 
We have one hope left. We managed to recover a single piece of the extractor, nothing that will work on its own, but solid evidence that Anka was behind everything. With any luck, we can use that evidence to regain the trust of the Ministry of Security and June. Because they currently think that we blew up the lab, don't they? We went into the lab, everything blew up and got locked out and so on. They don't realize it was the Aether Blades. So we're going to take this to them and say, look, it was the Aether Blades. It's a long shot, but it's our last shot. So we went there and that guy won't even let us see the boss until we do some chores for him. Basically, right? And you guys might say this is a bunch of busy work or whatever, but I'm actually fine with phases like this. I, I like breathing room and just time to spend uh, around the sea and do things. I think this is really cool, actually. This is like uh, going back to Am Noon after the Desert Highlands for, like, real content, which is awesome. This is the first time I've ever seen Guild Wars do this, even including Core. Core Story is just a relentless march forward. Heart of Thorns is a relentless march forward. All the Living World content is a relentless mar march forward. Living World Season 1 is a special case, but let's not get into that. I but here, here we have something very real. Hello. East Prince Precinct sent you to help. Thank whichever god is still watching. The city barrier is compromised. We need to clear out the Unchained Risen or we're looking at an even bigger outbreak. You could say that. Compromised how? Normally the shrines of the ocean. Okay, so we'll just do the heart. Okay, but not actually the heart. It's like an overlap of the heart. We need some language to refer to this technique of putting me at a heart, but sort of only half doing it. I can get my second jade orb now, though, today, can't I? Jade orb? Uh, blue orb. Oh, I feel like that was some good news there that I missed. Get a couple more crows for the achievement. I feel like um, I've been influenced by the fact this is called Grub Lane, so I'm just in the grub thing. Where are some crows? There's one up there. Oh, there's one. Oh, I should have just jumped higher. There we go. Got it. Crow catcher. Four or six. I think I... Was I talking about this in today's review or yesterday's review? Or, or yesterday's review. I do like this art. I think it's today's review that I talked about this. Risen attacks are getting worse and worse every day. I really like that Tengu voice, that guy, the I swear kind of guy. It's kind of cute or something, I don't know. Sort of a youthful exa exasperation or something. My temptation to bond of faith so high. I want some respect for not doing it. Man, I do want those last two crows. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got that, we got that. Yeah, nice. Five out of six. One more. You. I uh, probably jumped a bit early there. Wow, that one's so high up. Is that, like, meant to be a sky scale one? Oh, no, no. Here you are. Oh, 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 no. Okay, look, we find a chest, though. But look how weird this is. There's a staircase underneath the staircase. Oh, I guess that's not actually that weird. 
Oh, hey, Freedom Panic in the live chat. It's been a while, dude. You haven't had much time to play, so you don't want to get spoiled. Well, my my main reviews are um, are non-spoiler reviews at the moment, so you can feel 100% safe with those. If you felt safe enough to click onto this Let's Play at this point, for sure. Hey, Commander. I've got everything set up. Let's say we do some real police work. I'd say about time. What do you have in mind? The East Precinct's been trying to identify a purist ringleader hidden in Kaineng. To no avail. They only know a code name. White Falcon. Oh. has been working at it for months. We might be able to help expedite her case. Meet me at the docks. And bring a skiff. Dude, the White Falcon. I read a message from the White Falcon before, didn't I? It was White Falcon to... Red Cuckoo or something. It was Red something, wasn't it? It wasn't Cuckoo. Red Lion, maybe? No, I don't know. What was it? Oh, I'm in the water again. Keep going in the drink. Bring a skiff. We get a skiff section? Hell yeah. Talking about tutorials, they just reminded me on screen about my uh, mastery skill. It's going to help out anyone who got a skiff like 30 hours ago. And then, well, okay, that's an exaggeration. But <laughs> hasn't used it ever since. Okay, I'll bring a skiff. Dude, I just got that last bird, but it didn't count. Whatever. We'll do the achievement layer. I love these undead things here, by the way, that blow up the skiff. So cool. Oh, except that their range is so huge. I mean, maybe their range has to be that huge for them to even be credible part of the game. All right. That's probably evidence of the rising sea level due to Zaitan. Well, not necessarily. You see stuff like that in real life all the time as well. Like, in a, in a realistic world, there'd be a tide, wouldn't there? It'd go up and down across the day, and so they always over... They always go a little bit deep down. And just in terms of making the map, I think, the devs, it sort of is easier to do that. Did you want me to pull up right here on this channel? Sorry, I parked in a weird place. Hi. Is he going to get the boat with me? Oh, you're going to get in with me, aren't you, man? Oh, it literally says pick up Detective Rama in your boat. This is some Grand Theft Auto stuff here. Pick him up. Ready? Here we go. You coming in? All right. Let's get this show on the road. Mm, river. You sure you know how to drive this thing? I've ridden an Elder Dragon, Detective. Yeah. Just checking. Wait. Don't get the hat wet. Not only have anyway, we ridden... A friend of mine in the Ministry of Intelligence lent me a few eavesdropping toys. <laughs> Gods, I love my job. There's a couple of bridges along the river that the purists like to loiter around. Take us under them like we're a maintenance crew. I'll install the wires. With any luck, we'll hear some juicy purist intel. Oh, this I can't is so tell good. If this plan is brilliant or a disaster waiting to happen. This is but so I good. Bet you want to find out. We've got three bridges to hit. Just pull us up under each of them, anchor the boat, and I'll handle the rest. I'm well up for this. Also, not only did we ride an elder dragon. By the way, we didn't really ride her while she was elder, did we? I mean, they hinted at the start of this expansion. Maybe we did. Uh, but we also gave a boat ride to a salt spray at the start. So, you know, that's pretty good too. And she didn't have any problems. This looks like a good spot. Anchor her and I'll plant the bug. Oh, his animation was a bit weird there. <laughs> Look how happy he looks. That should do it. Let's get out of here before we're spotted. If we find this white falcon... Will that be the end of the purists? No. An idea doesn't die with one person. But it'll make a difference. Yeah, look at his face. Oh, Rama looks so happy on the boat. <laughs> He's like a little kid, you know. All right, all right, let's go. God, I love that creaking as well, the wood. I like that little moment there. They say that it's not the end of the purists. Can't kill an idea so quickly. Kind of touched on a little bit of these ideas in Vabi and uh, POF, but never went very far with them. This is honestly brilliant. 
The game needs to be full of like phases like this, right? Like we're in the open world, but it feels like we're in an instance. Just chilling out. There's a bit of bonus dialogue there. We're not waypointing around relentlessly. Oh, is this bonus? I'd managed to avoid this sushi place no matter how many times men invited me. Then you and Navan dragged me there. Thanks for that. Right. Uh, Rama, may I ask about you and this Captain Min? No, sir. You may not. It's alright. I already snooped and discovered that you quite like her. Didn't we see something quite affectionate between the two of them? A quiet little letter at the East Precinct. I would have had more context for all of that if I, if I hadn't explored that place until now, but hey. Drop anchor and keep her steady. I don't know why I'm pulling up like this. I guess it looks less suspicious. More, probably. Done with this one. The purest problem in Kainan got ten times worse when White Falcon came onto the scene. I don't know what'll ever stop them. I thought the border opening would give them a little perspective. But so far, it's only fanned the flames. I'd like to think hearts can be won and societies can change. But there are things we face that are bigger than all of us. Hmm. <laughs> like the void? Like the void. Dude, what a good little... This is, uh, actually where I grew up. My dad's a little much. Would rather he didn't know I was here. Dude, can I go speak to his dad? His dad isn't the old man near the orb, is he? Oh, this is so good that they did these little optional bits where I can just chill with Rama a bit more. I'm doing them all. Are they all available already? Oh, they are. Dude, listen to how the music changes when we're up at that sinister bit of town. It was the New Year's card. That's right, Bradley. That's right in the live chat. Yes. Head through the tunnel there. Junkyard on the other side is a known hotspot. <laughs> I uh had my first kiss in there. The love tunnel, kids call it. Uh uh. Don't get any ideas, Commander. All the jade shipped through Echo Vault arrives here. The jade Brotherhood like to target it. Oh. Okay, so do we go to the love tunnel first, or the boat? Th this, which I missed. I think I'm going to go to that, just in case the love tunnel's the end. And besides. Who wouldn't enjoy this? Dude, season six has got to give me this with Ritlock, man. Give it, give this to me with two characters bickering that I really like, right? I want two people on the skiff with me bickering about some shit. <laughs> and Gux is just like sitting there quietly or something. <laughs> Who would be the best candidates to go on a boat ride with, guys? Let's hear in the, the comments. Oh, oh, it always feels bad when there's no collision. I'm going to pretend that there was a real bit of risk there. Enormous. Even bigger than Kainan. Wait, what's bigger than Kainan? Are they talking about Su Wan? Is that their beliefs about Su Wan? That's quite nice. Kanak and Saida. Yeah, I guess. You check out any of the night markets yet? Definitely worth it. After we save the world from the void, that is. Actually, the night market was one of the first things I did when I got here. This mission makes you want to level your skiff. Yeah, we're nearly done. Oh, man, I wish the mastery was like a big tree. It's just like if I'm really leveling my skiff, I've got all these, you know, loads of little nodes to go for and actual things to get invested in. Is 
you just gave me a real flash there of like what it might be like to be playing this game with like a real like cool feature around leveling the skip. Kanaka and Anise is definitely a good good idea for sure. Oh, the reflections are good here. Remember when we were here before, guys? Oh, sorry, 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 Rama. I wonder if he has dialogue being annoyed that he's crashed into the water. He must do, right? Like Navang did. Kunavang. Oh, someone else is here doing their thing. If we're untethered, Commander, drop the anchor. Yes, yes, I understand. All right, that's the last of them. Let's head back to the docks. I gotta ask, do you think we can actually stop the void? It morphs reality. I have to have faith in our allies. All the more reason we need to convince June and Lee to help us. Well, you have this mid-level detective on your side. If the Void obliterates me, tell Minister Lee I died a hero. I'm always a little bit worried for new characters like this, because they're prime real estate for slaying. Some top notch spy work, Commander. You know, I heard Mintel might have some open positions in the near future. Thanks, but my life has excitement to spare. I set up a receiver we can use. It's stashed away on higher elevation. Better reception and all that. You head up there, and I'll head back to the office and try and get in touch with Min again. Let her know what we're up to. I like how a lot of people offer me to hang out with them and to do things, and we just sort of quietly fob them off. We at least give him a real answer, you know. I know my skiff's being broken back there, but hey, whatever. So we want to get up there now. I distinctly remember spending a long time climbing up there before. Once again, maybe zip lines will save the day. That gate toward the shrine. I think, I think they were a purist. A purist, huh? That's a pretty lofty conclusion to jump to. I mean it. They, they were wearing these strange. Masks and, and with everything going on. Listen, the eye was missing the next day. They, they stole See, they're talking it. about this eye as well. I don't think I quite understood that last time I listened either. Look at that. That feels so futuristic there, the uh, holographic poster. I guess I'll raptor as we move it. Very little kit in there. Oh, is the whale nearby? Did I just hear the hollow whale? I'm behind every other angry brat and kainang. How many times do I have to tell you? No, I don't think I did. I'm terrible at that. All the money's in the game. Wow, we perfectly got here. I mean, that's crazy. I just sort of tried and ended up in the exact right space. May, you are looking. Probably a credit to the map there. Say about using names. Goddamn idiot. Sorry, sorry. Forgot we're supposed to use code names. Hey, who do you think White Falcon is anyway? Hell if I know. The Empress herself? Gotta be someone high up the food chain. Did you drop off the dossier? Do I look like some kind of Luxon street trash? Of course I dropped it off. With the kooky recruiter over in Grub Lane, like you said. Good. That drop-off's going straight to White Falcon, so it's your ass on the line if you screwed it up. Yeah, yeah. We've got our target. I know it's jackass recruiter they're talking about. Wanna pay our purest friend a little visit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With pleasure. 
So, should I have any credible theories about who uh, White Falcon is? I'm scared it's Lee. I'm scared it's Minister Lee. Let's go. Well, let's glide there, actually. <clears throat> Yeah, I like that sense of the Luxons just being street trash now, you know. Homeless, no place in society. Little avenues for success based on where things went in the future. The Kurdix, yeah, the Kurdix and the Suxons. That was the line. It was to suck on my Kurdix. That's what all the teenagers said back in the day, all right? Gather around the fire as this old man will tell you about the ancient histories of Guild Wars. The unwritten histories. Oh, I should say the unchronicled. Well, I say Yeah. Hello. Hold on, you're just a hero challenge guy? <laughs> creepy clientele. Swear he was handing out pamphlets. The news said criminal activity's been up in this part of town. We should keep an eye on him. I had a whole bit of my review today where I was going to compliment the slums here. But I think this is actually a good bit. And I, I accidentally, like, skipped over that bit of the, the script as I was doing the actual voice bit. And so it never made it in the review, and I feel bad, but hopefully I'll put it in tomorrow. Is this, uh... Oh no, here we go. Hey you! Yeah, you! Not from around here, huh? Ever heard of the Ministry of Purity? Interested in a quick history lesson? I have a better idea. I'll clean the city of your presence. This is great. This all feels like extra breathing room and stuff to the story that the other expansions did not have. I'm gonna stand out of these because I think they'll just refresh my weakness if I go. Oh no, it's his or Oh, it's these bu bubbles that are doing the. Okay, okay, take it. Oh, so can I outplay well, that weakness? Just finished having a chat with our purest friend. Did he sing? With surprising ease. Nice. Min's ready to see us, and she chewed Moki out for making us do his biffy work. We can pass along the intel you got. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Wait, I want to read the dossier. I can't click it. It's not a quest item, is it? In the in here. No. Jesus, all the objectives here. Look at this. So much. Okay, um. Should I waypoint? I think I'll waypoint. I don't want to go too excessively slow. She knows about you. This is Min. We grew up together in the, uh, fancy part of town. Real fancy. <laughs> Even the cockroaches wanted out of that dump. Speaking of cockroaches, sorry Mogi gave you the runaround. But he's right about us being swamped. Lee keeps piling stuff oh, on. Oh, it's definitely Lee. They're reminding us of Lee because they're going to make it Lee. I think Lee's just stressed. Well, he can join the club. I know, I know. You've got a soft spot for him. I guess I can relate to him in some ways. His early days, at least. He can actually be easy to talk to when he wants to. Well, he's definitely got a soft spot for you. I told him you'd be there soon. Might want to head over. Yeah, and they're even trying to have someone we like be soft to him to case. throw us off the I scent. I feel like I'm about to make a breakthrough, but a million distractions keep popping up. Like earlier, I guess some guy was in our lobby shouting. Now I have to look into that. The city's coming unhinged. Yeah. Wild times we're living in. Mm. It's either that or Min, but I, I think it's Lee. Okay. Oh, we could take a taxi, couldn't we? To the Guansung Hill? Should we get a taxi? Taxi? I'm gonna get a taxi. I thought I'm in control. 
Fun detail about the boat ride. You're an Ash Legion char, and the response to Rama about the Mintel position was different. Because you're Ash Legion. Oh, 10 out of 10. Dude, really? Oh, very good. Well, what did you say then? You just said, oh, I do, I do enough of that back home or something. It doesn't even matter what you say, really, as long as it acknowledges. That's, uh, that's very cool. I wonder if Order of Whispers people get that too. And I wonder if... Um... Well, that's it really, isn't it? You can't be an arcane eye, Asura. Maybe Shining Blade backstory? No, that doesn't work. That's a human. Doesn't work. God, I wonder how much of that stuff there is here. So far, the only thing I saw was my character saying Eternal Alchemy, right? By the alchemy. If I remember they said detective, you assume I'm not already a spy. Nice. Hey, that's really good, because that can be actually uh, utilized for both. Right. That's a nice generic line that whenever the spy archetype comes up, they can flag it in. Oh, good question. If your character's Canthan heritage, the problem is with that, that that's a super biography choice. That's like... You have to have Lost Sister, and then it's an option within Lost Sister. So I would be surprised if ArenaNet did anything on it. They might have. It would be very cool. But, you know, that's an option in an option in an option. And it might be too deep into the... Uh, too many layers down. In the name of the law... Well, here we are. This is going to be a strike mission. This is a bit... Whatever this is, this is big. Because there's a strike mission entrance right outside of this. Lee is uh, the third strike, I guess, then. Hey, Rama. Place is always empty this time of night. Gives me the creeps. But less commotion is probably a good thing. Lee usually works late, so he should be in his office. Let's take care of this. Well, they know that I'm suspicious of him already, and they're going to do a cool rug pull where it's someone, something else altogether. You brought the evidence, right? Of course. Have a little faith in me. Just making sure we've covered our bases. We can be tough to get through to sometimes. There's <laughs> sort of an art to talking with him. Uh, let me start things off, and you can back me up. When should I chime in? You'll know. Just be patient and pay attention. Nervous? Lee doesn't intimidate me. Good. <sighs> that makes one of us. Dude, it's good that they write the commander with a bit of swagger sometimes. I like that a lot. He's, he's nice, you know. He's like, yeah, you can take the lead or whatever. We're very subservient when we want to be. Dude, that door opening animation. Holy shit. But um, we're still a boss, you know. I knew you were the man for the job, Rama. I'd say you've got a promotion on the horizon. But first things first. I could just present it right now. Suspect downstairs for questioning. We have a long night ahead of us. Sir, before we do that, uh, you should know there have been some developments in the case. Go on. I hate to admit it, but I think we've been pursuing the wrong perp. I believe this suspect to be innocent. Sounds like someone's been charmed by Ambassador Meade's dubious narrative. Don't tell me you're falling for their lies. No, sir. But I think our previous assumptions may not be as cut and dried as we thought. What isn't cut and dried? This outsider's been part of every breach of national security since we opened our borders. That includes the reactor incident. Must I remind you their dragon's glowing fingerprints are all over the crime scene? I... I'm aware. But a new piece of evidence was recovered that aligns with the commander's story. It points to another culprit. In Asura named Anka. She led an Aetherblade mutiny prior to the attack. Fine. Bring her in for questioning as well, if you feel so compelled. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. She... Well, she's dead. Shame. <laughs> Not that it matters. We'll see how well this one's story holds up after a few hours of interrogation. There isn't time. If we don't if hurry... If you don't hurry, my patience will run out, and I assure you, you don't want that to happen. Take this louse downstairs for questioning. Now. That's an order. 
You can back me up any time here, Commander. <laughs> okay, I just present the evidence already. I was really, I really want to replay this and just press F straight away, <laughs> like straight away. Present the evidence at the ideal time. Oh, objection! Look at this, it's Phoenix Wright. Now. This was used at the reactor, Minister. Finally. I was starting to think you really forgot. What exactly am I looking at? I didn't get the a achievement. Piece of the device used in the reactor incident. Aether Blade Tech. Anka, the blade's first mate, used it to drain the dragon's magic during the airship crash. She then staged a mutiny. Later, she used that stored magic to cause the reactor incident. The signature matches the crystals at the scene. To say this story sounds far-fetched would be putting it mildly. Minister, you taught me to believe in this organization, in the values it stands for. If I have even a shred of proof that points towards someone's innocence, it's my duty to take it seriously. Right now, the biggest threat isn't the commander. It's the dragon rampaging in the Jade Sea. We need to get her under control, and June's our best bet for that. The commander's willing to help with June once you give us the okay. Ha-um, I need you to trust me. Very well. Let's get going. Oh, and Rama, if you ever use my given name again, you'll be on desk duty until you retire. I have transport available on the roof. Should get us to June fairly quickly. What's the, uh, the name thing? I mean, is that a, um, is that a Korean thing that they've lifted? Hmm. We have, uh, like, a separate names, uh, another name for more personal matters. Okay, get in the elevator. This this is pretty sinister to me right now. Oh, we're finally going up the elevator that I was trying to get up before. Do you remember? Do you guys remember? Oh, what a great Incredible. moment! Incredible. There's nothing in Tyria I can even compare this place to. I still remember the first time you brought me up here, sir. I was in awe. I felt the same when I started here. It's only gotten more impressive. Humbling reminder of how far we've come. Yeah, the build-in, man. So cool. <laughs> Many Ramas charging ahead. My specialized task force. Train them myself. They'll be assisting tonight. <laughs> We're doing a Winter Soldier thing, are we? This is the idea. <laughs> Does anyone want to get out? <laughs> June's left her mark on this nation. She is a talented woman. Wish she'd focus that talent on what's in front of her. Some people are always looking for what else is out there. Guess we prefer working with what's already here. Everyone thinks their view of the world's the right one. Hmm. Is everyone ready? Yes. Absolutely. Dude, I like how it looks exactly like a boss arena up here. Oh my god, did a bird just fly off? Was there a bird animation there? Oh, I can't even mouse over these guys to get their nameplates. Rama? Subdue the criminal. Sir, what are you doing? I'm sorry you got caught up in this mess, son. But it's best you leave matters to us. We'll see that they're handled appropriately. Guards, see to it the outsider remains alive. But if force is required, you may use it. I'm not going anywhere till we get this straightened out. This is the best part of the job. Oh, dude, he's a wheelbender. Nice. The enforcer. Um, I'm guessing someone's going to stand on that platform out there. Uh, this is really cool, the idea of a strike mission on the uh, the top of a skyscraper or just a big badass boss fight. You know, you're going to have a like a setting like this. You, it's a really good idea to have, have one of the big fights on top. Okay. What did the commander and Rama think we were doing when we were coming up here, though? I think I missed that. I, I think I missed that. What 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 were we under the impression was going on? It's my pleasure to detain you tonight. Okay. 
Okay, so the Ritualist, bunch of Spirits of Destruction. Need to be ostentatious now. It's unbecoming. I loved her Rama just getting Got the sword out straight away. Ready? Pull off the pillow myself. I'm gonna try and give him as much quickness as possible. Surely he values that as a blade sword. He likes me at giving him quickness, surely. Look at him go. Oh, I'm in sniped. Oh. Thought it was gonna be like in Heart of Thorns. Oh, is he gonna create a new one? This is cool, the sounds. Excellent. Yeah, what a shocker. Oh no. This is cool. So a mechanist. We're going through the nine specs, are we? Uh, possibly not a harbinger, though, since Anka was sort of a big oh, Another patch. Jesus. Um, was a big poster child for that. You should be able to reach him now. Be careful. This night just keeps getting better, huh? This is great having a Jade Bob. This will be easier if you cooperate. This useless outsider is not worth your career or your freedom. The commander is innocent. They're all innocent. But even the smallest cut can lead to infection. And we've let this one fester. Sir, permission to assist you. Permission denied. I'll handle this. Was that meant to be anyone in particular, or just one of his, his lackeys? That's really cool that they have that little detail there. It's like, why are we like, doing these sequential 1v1s? It's because of the honor of the thing, I suppose, whatever. What's this? Gun saver mode. Oh, no! Oh, I went down! That's the first time I went down in a strike mission. We will have lost an achievement for that, right? Mama, stop this nonsense! You're interfering with the law! And you're ignoring the law! That's a good little line there. Well of uh, darkness isn't new to do much here. Well this is making Blade Swarm feel pretty cool. So he actually seems deadly. There's actually Guards, some change of plan. Place them both under arrest. Time in solitary should get Rama's head straight. Oh, is he gonna fight Ra- Oh, no, no, he, he threw us down here too. I thought they were spitting the two of us for a second then. Oh, it's all of them. Hold on, have I got Spectral Grasp? And are they CCable? No. The Mind Blade. I can I can't float them or anything. I can't manipulate them anymore. I really like that Lee can do some damage. Look at that, look at that. Five five nine. Dag autos do not fuck around, I'm telling you guys. 31k there, by the way, from a single skill two. Maybe they were just extra squishy. No, look at that, six ten. Look at that, seven six ten. So good, and I have the quickness to fuel it. I'm really enjoying Power Harbinger. Right, down he goes. I think I'd know about eroded culture. Oh, don't be dramatic. History is a ebb and flow of power. Humanity is striving for its best iteration. Sir, I insist. Allow me to help. Find yourself, soldier. I said I'll have this. What's this telegraph? Do I want to stand in that? Oh, it's because Rama's down. 
I don't understand this. What do they want me to do? Do I just stand in it and it raises him for free? Is that the mechanic that's going on this expansion? Because that's come up a lot. And I've not known what to do with it at any point. Oh, he's... Oh, he's ready. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I thought this was smart. Yeah, let them 1v1. That's some good shit. And he can enjoy my, my buffs for a little while. Right. This is quite a small arena. I'm wondering how this feels in the 10 man. I'm being sniped. What do I do though? If I'm being sniped. Oh, I just gotta dodge it now, have I? Rama can't help me. I assume it doesn't do that much damage. In 10 man, it probably does. Aegis might help as well. Oh, oh, I can hit him. Oh, they're talking up there. Oh no, the, he, he avoided it. I was gonna CC him, but he managed to actually move away in time. Warhorn, Flash Golem, Pistol 3, leave me, I've got enough CC for you. Oh, I dodged too early, this could be it. What's gonna happen? Oh. I don't know what happened there exactly. Let's go back to her. Get that going quick. Not sure who I should focus on, the sniper or the, the mech rider. By the way, the fact it's called the mech rider, there's someone in it, right? Like, unlike mechanists, there's actually someone piloting the thing. I have to stay for Dagger 2 here just to be a little bit safe. Oh! Oh, I broke her bar while she's up there trying to snipe me, so she never got to snipe at all. Ha, do you guys see that? Wait, where'd she go? I've had enough of you goons. Oh man, I love the Sura male voice. I miss Tyria though, it's really weird. I really miss Tyria right now. Like, I can't wait to go back to Yeah, Not, you know, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just Canther is so different feeling, you know? And it's so high quality, it's like giving me like, all this nostalgia and love for the rest of the, the universe. How these mines? You could do worse. Enjoy the view. Now all of Kampa can see who you really are. <laughs> I'll res you, bro. So I just stand on him, right? And it. Yeah, that's it. It's just stand on him. There's not much feedback. Oh, that works. oh, he's taking too much damage, dudes. Can you like double your health bar, please? Look at this. I'm gonna vampirism him down. Fear the vampire. Enough! Enough! I can see it. No achievements that time. Because the random one shot. I'm placing you under arrest for attempted murder and criminal conspiracy. I let he says his name. And if being an asshole were a crime. I charge you with that too. <laughs> That's a nice little touch there. You have no power here. Yeah, you know what this whole act of the game feels like? It feels like an extra act of quality and substance to End of Dragons that under other circumstances might have been cut out. And I really appreciate it for that. Do you guys know what I mean? Like this kind of lifts out of the bigger picture, but it's so good that it's in here. I wonder if the delay afforded them this or... It's a foolish thought of mine. Oh, Lee, I had high hopes for you, man. I had really high hopes for him to be a dick that, like, gets vindicated. I don't think ArenaNet ever does that, though. If it looks like a spade, it is a spade. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, hello, Rama. This... This is going to be a whole lot of paperwork. Well, Commander, looks like my night's booked. You'll have to get to June on your own. Will do. Good luck with Lee. Oh, and... On behalf of the non-corrupt side of the Canton justice system. Thanks. Go get with you your know, girl, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. It was right there in front of me. Some detective. This isn't on you. 
What's tough about these situations is they don't parade around in purest masks. You get so used to someone, you miss their tells. Before you know it, you're used to those, too. I wasted 12 years working for Usoku Incarnate. You've done so much, and that's not gonna stop. Lee didn't make you a great detective, or a great man. You did. Damn. So we got a little bit more of Quietus there. <clears throat> So much XP. Another free mastery point. Throw it on the pile. <laughs> How many in excess we got? 15. Fuck me. Sorry about all of this. At least now we can hold him accountable. Lee sure puts the criminal in criminal justice. But he's right about you making a great minister. You represent Cantha more than he ever could. Thanks. Doubt it's in the cards. Though he did set the bar nice and low for whoever's next. <laughs> oh, I want to speak to you. Also, her outfit is fucking cool, isn't it? Look at that shit. I wish Guild Wars was bigger, so we had, like, more cosplayers and stuff. I wish Guild Wars was bigger for a million reasons, but that would be cool as shit. Imagine someone getting this into the real world. There's probably stuff quite close to it already, actually. Oh, these guys have just got the su the sni- Oh, look at this! This is really good! Look, the Mind Blade, the Sniper, they're bowing down, the Enforcer. Just in general, all their outfits are awesome, man. Especially this guy. Okay, um... And the bot's still up there, too. Did I just beat a whole act? Was that act those instances? Was that act four? Are we into act five now, are we, I wonder? Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're not even getting started here, it looks like, actually. Okay, we want to do this one? I mean, I'm game for it. Ten man, uh, Lee? Minister Lee? What do you guys think? I'll create a squad. Anyone in North America want to do this with me? What do I predict would be good for this? This one might be trickier. I think my build's sort of okay already, to be honest. I'll make some changes. Uh, yeah, so we would need 10 players. If you guys want to do it, I mean, I'm, I'm well up for it. Story says, head to June's estate in Saitung. Back to Saitung now. Okay, so I guess Act 4 is kind of like returning and addressing a lot of these things. Like a lot of the politics and stuff. And um, and then Act 5 is whatever dramatic conclusion on the Jade Sea. Maybe Act 4 includes a bit of the Jade Sea stuff, though. Gain access to June's files. Read all the books. I think there's one more instance in this chapter. Wow, guilt by association. Find out where the crystal bloom went off to. <gasps> guilt by association. Find out where the crystal bloom went off to. If Aureen's about to go nuts in this act and the crystal bloom just stay adherent to her nonetheless, that would explain why this achievement is called guilt by association, right? I wonder if we'll come into conflict with Kaith as the other parent. Curious about that. Okay, it looks like some of you guys might have logged off or stopped for the night. So maybe we do this mission tomorrow. I'll give you guys a few more seconds. We're looking for six people. Six people currently watching this episode of Let's Play Live to jump on in North America and fight Minister Lee, Ten Man. Music's nice here. Yeah. Oh, it's just that they'd arrested the Crystal Bloom for being associated with the commander. Right, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll get this. You're trying to join, but how do you do it? All you have to do is go in game on North America and just type slash squad join list into your chat. You can copy paste that into your chat box. Oh, there you go. Three more. Move yourself into a new subgroup if you want as well.
blackout starting. Or ending, I should say. Okay, so let's go on in. The Kainang Overlook. Everyone in the squad should have a pop-up now. Unless you're EU. This is North America only. Sorry to repeat myself for people watching uh, this whole series. Okay. Three people unable to make it right now. Interesting mousing over everyone's AP. We've got a real mix of people here. It's quite nice. I'm most happy to see the 4K person and the 7K person. Look at this. Fresh blood. It's really good. Okay, these last three people. Are you all... Um... European players that can't join. You won't get a pop-up or it will error if you're EU. If you are, could you please very promptly leave so that I can get more people in so we can keep the show going? Oh, what's this? What's this bubble? Um, what should I do about my build here real quick? How can I get more quality of life for everyone? I'm in with the elite, but I haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> We're currently unlocking the Condi line. Okay, look, I'm going to kick these three people in, in like 30 seconds. If you're not in in 30 seconds. Oh, they're on a different build. Oh, okay. It's because they patched. All right, hold on. Let's do it this way then. Um, let's let's all relog. Everyone relog, so we're all on the same patch. That's what the problem is. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so see you guys in one second. Just a quick intermission. Uh, yeah, and if, if you didn't get the pop-up, you could have just spoken to the strike boss, but obviously if they're on a different patch, they can't get in at all. Which certainly makes sense. <clears throat> Gluten-free in the live chat says, as someone who's played 4,000 hours and only have 11,000 achievement points, I don't trust AP as an indicator of how long people have played. Well, look, there are exceptions. There's always, there's always people that have spent, you know, 20,000 hours only in PvP, for example, and they have no AP. <laughs> And there's people that have spent 4,000 hours AFK in Lion's Arch. And there's people who have spent 4,000 hours on the trading post the whole time or role-playing the whole time. But they're not the standard, right? You can make generalizations. And that's all I was doing. Averages do exist. The Ministry of Security okay. is always watching. Kinding overlook. Let's see what we got. It's cool to see a wheelbender in the squad, by the way. I don't think I've played with a wheelbender yet. I don't think um, I've even seen any really doing much. Wheelbender, I was very close to playing in this X pack. Wheelbender is this is a kind of a dumb thing to say, but it's my favourite icon. <laughs> also, there's a catalyst there. Don't catalyst specialise in quickness, right? So, I, I'm going to put the catalyst in a separate group to me. Let's put the Reaper in that group. Let's put the Warrior in that group. One of the Necros in there. I'll keep the Rev. Um, and I'll put the Wheelbender. Well, no, I want to give the Wheelbender quickness. Oh, no, doesn't he give himself... I can't remember the, the, the whole setup there. Let's go like that. Two Necros in each group. Oh, well, there's three in the bottom, two in the top. Half of us are Necros. Okay, so there's six people who aren't joining this time. Um, oh, sorry, you guys can't see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Hmm. <clears throat> I was just messing with the uh, the squad, that was all. You didn't miss anything. Like, literally nothing. It's just that there's six people not joining her. Huh? 
Okay, four people. So I can open some of these. See what we get. Anka's coffer. We got a flame serpent scepter. The rock emo. Bag of luck. Ancient canthan coat. So we can get the light coat this time. It's pretty cool. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to destroy. I wanted to use him. Oh. They've used that icon. That's probably not a great move. I guess I can save that for when we go back. It's so cool that we were in the Echo Vald and now we're back. Okay, so one person struggling. Desiridirium. It's the 4K achievement point player. So I'm guessing this person doesn't... I don't Let's just not... Oh, they left. Okay, if somebody wants to join, please do. Uh, slash squad join. List. Let's go. There we go, we got a tenth. Jatoro's gloves are scavenging runes. I thought they were um, a heel set. Okay, now this guy isn't joining. You have to be on North America, not EU, if you want to play. Let's just nine man it. I don't know. This is really frustrating. Let's just play. All right, well, let's just nine man it. Is our squad prepared? The longer we wait for this, the higher chance one of these guys has gone off to go, you know, make a burger or something. So, see, there's two AFK people even here. Oh, there we go. And if that guy can't figure it out in the meantime, we'll kick him after this run and we'll try for someone else who will also. BEU or something or the wrong patch or whatever. All right, let's go. Oh, they got a little bit of bleed on him before he left. Oh, there you go. They got in. Well done. Just in time. For sure. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. I'm insta dead. Oh, okay. He launched me off the zip line. That was cool. Let's start getting the quickness going. I was ready to just start dagger oiling there, but I remembered we've obviously got to... Okay, don't stand in front of him on the rush. That's what one-shot me in the solo a second ago. And if it one-shot me in solo, it's definitely going to one-shot you in uh, group. Oh, he spun around. He nuked us all. Whoa. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. Oh, my God. All right, all right, slash GG. Okay, so what's the game there? So, there's probably some tip-off when he's going to suddenly 180 and do it. Can you guys who are still alive, GG, you're not going to two-man it, are you? All right. So, I wonder what we do with that. All right, let's watch it again. I didn't see it spin around. Oh, this has got a long reset, it looks like. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, one of us has to drop. Okay, let's try this again. So, I think you're going to be quick on this, because he's got some, this animation here. That's going to nuke people coming up late. Why is this person still not coming? All right, so look, look, look. just stay away from that arrow. Whatever that arrow is doing. Oh, he put his banners in the middle, so we're all out of range of the banners. Okay, so he did that, that's fine. Okay, it was here. I'm gonna stand in front of him. I'm gonna try it. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm not gonna, st I'm not gonna do it. What's he doing? There, look, he spun around. 
Okay, but how do we know that that's what he's going to do? I mean, I just guessed it, but based on the previous run. But what is the game? There must be some dialogue or some active effect or something. Okay, he's rushing. Back corner. Banner's a tricky position here, right? He seems to like this corner, though. Alright, it's probably going to happen again now, right? I'm going to flank. I mean, surely flanking will keep me safe. Right? If I'm at this... Because he, he won't hit either direction. Oh, no! He did it again! Uh, oh, maybe it's a furthest away thing. Or a toughness thing. Maybe there's someone he's aiming at. I think there's a player in our party that he doesn't like the look of. There might be a ring on the UI for the for the squad that shows a box outlined. Or one of you might have a, a, tele a message saying Lee's targeting you. Maybe there's an icon that will appear above your head. I think it's on a player. That's my guess. I don't know for sure. Yeah, you can run. Let's watch closely here. Yeah, look, it's on a player. It's the triple exclamation mark player. It's that guy. But is he just going to get thrown to the wolves? Just don't stand with that guy. Oh, wait. It's the reverse? Oh, but I didn't get hurt. Okay, there's something more going on there. Numbers. Oh, my God. This is like a Final Fantasy fight. Numbers. Show order he slashes at. So there was a one, a two, and a three, was there? I represent Kanto's future. Your mere pests in the way. Oh my god, this is a lot like a Final Fantasy trial, if that's a number thing. So what is it? The third strike is really bad, or like... We just have to keep the numbers spread out so that all the damage isn't consolidated in one place? Alright, what's the split phase like? Uh, everyone seems to be on the rich with this, so I'll stay with the team. Each per each number can go to a different corner, and then what? Then his damage is spread out, right? And it's not a one shot. Okay, I got I got you. That makes sense. That makes sense. Pistol has no place now that I'm just. Oh my god. Not virtuoso damage. Eh? If I can shroud as much as I can. What do we do about this sniper, by the way? Oh, and that person's charging. I don't want to get hit by the wheelman, though. But, oh my god, we're really struggling in this split phase. I've, I've got fixation from someone. The Enforcer, for example. Is in the I think we're going for the Richness. So I just, I've got to stay with people, otherwise my whole quickness thing is not. No break bars for me to do. All I can do is spread fury, might, and quickness around. I've made such an auto attack heavy build here. I don't know if I can res this. I'm trying. Oh, no, he's dead. That guy got nuked. I think me and one other person were trying to there. Wow, this phase is a lot, lot harder than before. We're not on a timer. What is this? What's the, uh... Oh no, that's just the ground. I thought there was like a white line telegraph there, but it wasn't. Quick, let's go in. Get the two in before we lose shot. I can. Okay, it's dead. It's unbecoming. Who do we want to go for now? The mind blade or the enforcer? I don't know. That's not on me, so. I'll say. Oh, our vindicator just jumped back in <laughs> so early and just killed a guy. <laughs> Did you guys see that? 
This poor defeated dude. Uh, hopefully you can see cool animations on the team. Oh my god, lots of food rip wanted there. Final shivers up. Won't run well of corruption, I can see that much. They're so tanky. Oh, we're so tanky. One of them. Look at our boot up time here, real good. I'm gonna heal this. Alright, there it is again. Final of shivers. Do I have corrupt on any of these abilities? I have fixation here, so I'm trying to keep the aim outside of the arena, right? It's that shotgun ability is the scary one. If I sidestep a little... Dude, this is like FF tanking. Look at this. I'm messing up their rear and flanks. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm never getting the end. Oh god, dude, why? Ah. Alright, more boon rip. This phase is a huge phase. Are we just doing this terribly? There might be a way to keep them all balled up or something. Oh my god, the fixate guy is like going all over the place. All that sweet quick for them. Sweet, sweet quickness. It's on me for once. There we go, he's dead. Last one. End of Dragons is not big on CC. Mixers. Dude. What's the game here? There's relentless movement. So, oh, baby. Oh, baby. The Wheelbender just soloed two players. 1v9. And he got two kills. So I guess the big dash around the edge. He's going to unleash some big damage right there. doing it again he's gonna sprint around see we can't cc before this i mean i'll swap to pistol for this phase screw it don't stand in the middle after that i think yeah don't stand in that that's not good all right there we go all right back up to lee Oh, it's just zipline. You think you're any match for me? Okay, so numbers, right? Basically, stand in the. If you have a number, don't stand in a corner and don't stand in a corner with other numbers. But why is the number part of the cap? Whoa. Sorry, was I in that hitbox? I don't think I was. Thank you for the transfusion to our Reaper friend. Oh shit, oh shit. Hold on, so he's actually, um, yeah, I'll hold the autos here. Make me easier to res. Oh, I almost res myself there. Well, not entirely on my own, but you get what I mean. Get the th uh, three down right. Oh, bro! <laughs> Alright, 
This is chaos. This 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 bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're back into it. Sorry guys, if you're low on quickness and stuff, I'll, I'm helping out now. He did the spin around. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so yeah, it, he. Do, I saw he did three attacks, separate attacks, in a separate order. What is this? Like, look at this. Look at the telegraph on the thing. Right now. I don't know. We. Okay, there's something going on here. He he has a big cone that's going to cover the whole arena, right? But he also has this. So I've got to be behind him, man. But it's on a delay. So I guess the thing is that you can... Um, you can do one, then the other, right? Stand behind him, like this. And now spread. You only have a second to spread, though. Maybe the other corners are safe? Is there anywhere that's safe when he's doing that? Ah, oh, see, so now we're dead. I have to spread like hardcore here. How do you do that mechanic? Aegis, maybe? Is it is it a block mechanic, you think? It might be. Oh, we got it. Okay, one. So I'll stand over here. And I'm not going to go into um, Harbinger Shroud. I'm going to have nice, lots of health. Okay. You know, if they really wanted to punish you on that, you'd have to dodge that too. CM might do that. So this is just straight up, don't stand in front of him. Again, again, again. Maybe you just dodge. Maybe the, the one that attaches to you, you can just... Fuck! I'm an idiot. Uh, maybe you just dodge it, right? Like this? Like I'm gonna double dodge. Ah, I double dodged and I did it too early. I wonder if... Oh, God. That's nearly a defeat for me there. I wonder if you could just dodge it. Just stand behind him and then dodge. I'll, I'll, pre I'll see it here. I don't know. Did that work? In the Ice Cream Saga, I think the Whisper of Jormac was a little bit like that. I'm going to dodge into the corner here. I did it too early again. <laughs> I didn't get the timing. The fact there's no timer here allowing... Okay, well, so don't, don't stand near the people with the numbers. There's a guy with the number directly behind him. And the two. I think I'm safe here, right? I am totally safe here. Let's help those guys. That last one looks big. This blood magic uh, reaper is really pulling his weight here. Alright, don't stand in front. Just had to pop the UI there again to verify that there's definitely no... Okay, try this again. He does that. Now I dodge. I did it too early. I think. Or it's undodgeable. One of those. I mean, uh, why not do both, right? Just spread and dodge. And don't stand in front of him. I'll say, I really like this fight, man. Um, in terms of like, it feels really kind of like very, what's the word I'm trying to use? Like it's a very unique, specific experience, you know? It's good. It's definitely good. Alright, how's the mech phase work? And what do we want to do? Snipe first? How much do you guys trust you're going to be alright getting sniped? <laughs> I think they're going to want the sniper first. I mean, in my solo fight, I did the sniper first because the mech wasn't too bad. But who knows how bad this bullet hell's going to get, right? Alright, she's sniping me. How do I know the timing? I, I dodged it. <laughs> you can see, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I double dodged. You can literally see her shoot. And then, um, 
and dodge the projectile in transit, right? So. Also, I bet if you go, because the projectile's actually moving, I bet if you go to the opposite side of the arena from where she's shooting. Oh god, this is so. Tonic for everyone. Um, you'll have more time to land the dodge. Sorry, quickness. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, what? What? Oh, they're all back on the. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep hitting the two right as I get off. Sorry, she's up. I feel like you can sort of sidestep these cones. That's awesome. That's the hollow elite. Okay, she's back down. This phase suddenly became a lot less chaotic. I don't know why. Is it because if you leave someone next to him like that, he won't do the bullet hell? Because he's distracted? That person's staying there, tanking essentially, right? Oh, break bar! I don't know why we didn't move in. Was I the, was I the controller of that, that site? Break this thing. Oh no, it's the sniper that is it. At the wrong target. Okay, am I? I think I'm okay, right? I think I'm not eating these. I don't want to lure the damage onto that guy. No, no, no. The person closest to the mech is target. Yeah, and it stops his other animations, right? It stops him doing that other thing. Oh, if someone wants to do that as a job, that's cool. Alright, back to the sniper. Oh, she's off again. Sorry, I was so slow there. Whoopsie. Well, I got the licks on a couple of people. I'll say that that was intended. I like that. That's kind of like, uh, you know, Kadeem. Sort of someone stays on the platform, someone stay with the boss. Keep it doing its thing. I really think this is gonna be good, because everyone's gonna have a decent grip grasp of what's going on, and then when CM comes out, oh this guy's down at the self map. Chaos. There's the sniper coming in, hopefully he dodges it. He didn't dodge it. Gets the sniper's back. I don't know what we're doing. Can we have just funneled the uh, mech the whole time? Oh, nice. By the way, look at this. I can cleave them both. Watch this skill too. Ready? Boom. He's got a big hitbox. So I can actually get them both. Someone getting sniped. Dodged early. He's dead. Oh, no, he's gonna die. I want more boon rip, more CC. Opportunities, I mean. Oh god, I wonder what Lee's gonna do on the next phase. This is really long. these. I'm trying to um, keep it away because there were lots of bodies there. I think I did a good job on that. That other guy want to uh, keep tanking? Oh, so there he, see, so he did the bullet hell there and we were both on it. He pushed away and then... Okay, so the sniper's probably going to die in a second now. There you go.
Oh, I wish I'd broken her bar. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I kind of... He seems to want to be on me. I don't know what that is. No, he doesn't just want to be on me. Let's throw these down. I think that thing's just on a cooldown. Man, these deaths because of that wheelbender, that one wheelbender animation. All right, here we go. I'm expecting chaos here. Is this his last phase? Or is there another one with the side? Okay, oh my God, there's a two and a three. Oh, he's doing the thing. Oh, and I'm the one. Okay, we're all good. Wow, that was a lot of time. Very forgiving, a lot of time. He's doing it from the corners now. All right, now don't stand in front of him. That looks weird as all hell. Okay. Oh, I felt like I played that okay. Shit, I didn't do that okay. I just instantly stepped to the right. Very silly of me. What is this? He's clearly not going to go. Oh, it's numbers though. It's numbers. There's a one there, two there. I think I'm alright here. Yeah? Fuck me. Fuck me! I was not alright. In fact, three of us went down. I guess I misinterpreted the order you can go in there. Oh, I'm gonna get my golem up. How often have I got downtime on that thing? Oh god, a soak as well? What? How are you gonna do a soak as well? Oh my god, Guild Wars has got a real problem with, um... Oh, fuck. Uh, with the strength of reses. Just that we can face roll grind through this one. Not <laughs> doing it well at all. Uh, numbers. Okay, so I'm the three. I don't want to get that druid hurt. I mean, this is fine, right? And I can dodge that. Right. I can't even begin to imagine how we're going to do that green. Thankfully, there isn't one on this occasion. Oh, dude, 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 if you just. Okay. They seem more deadly now to me as well. I don't know. Okay, numbers. If I stand in the very corner, am I okay? I mean, I'm fine here, right? I wonder where the community is ultimately going to decide the correct positioning is. Like, it'll just be standard to have everyone on one spot and the numbers on another. Well, we're getting there. I guess there isn't another phase because we're below 10%. Look at this. This is just some crazy shit, man. I'm standing on the soap. All right, we're all good. Is that is this numbers? I should res. Look at well of blood, man. Look, look at that shit go. I'm not gonna double the damage on that. Oh, we took a defeat there. Okay, I'm number two. Nice, nice, nice pressure here. <laughs> like, I'm nowhere near him, but because I have 25 Might Fury quickness all on my own, it's actually kind of cool to just siege away from back there. And I'm autoing, so it's not even like the alacrity is like, I'm missing out on it. All right, wow. Uh, there's a lot for me to think about in terms of how Enough. to actually do that. Enough. I can see it. Well, I have to say, the MVPs there were the people with uh, Transfusion, Well of Blood. Uh, we might have had a War Banner in there. We were definitely, like, graveyard rushing the shit out of that. And that's, like, a real balance issue, I think, at the moment. But nonetheless, that was, uh, that was cool to grind through, at least.
Uh, good luck on your chest, everyone. And that was cool to discover and experience. Minister Lee's coffer. Let's preview these, by the way. I haven't previewed for a bit. So we can get him as a tonic. All the Aurene precursors are in there. Some Jade Bot stuff. Second tier of the glider. This is a really cool reward, honestly. This is really cool. I like this a lot. That my bot's actually going to get better at the glide thing. Unless there's another way to get that. Potential le uh, ascended skin sets. So let's see what we got. We have assault spray scepter. Okay. And a little bit more progress to the weekly as well, as it happens. Um, that was really cool, guys. We never had a hill scourge in that group. The community's very stupid when discussing necro. The scourge is actually not as significant as the blood stuff, which can be run on any number of necro variants. Okay, so... Um... I guess we just keep going, right? Let's go to Saitong. Weight of the world. And let's see what June has to say. Actually, guys, um, I think I'm feeling it there, to be honest. It's quite late at night. It's nearly three in the morning for me. Um, and you know, not every episode has to go over seven hours. <laughs> Six and a half hours. I think this is a really good episode for. Whoa! Keith? Orin? Whoa! She's just barely holding it together. Together. Commander, why haven't you done what needs to be done? Suwa, is that you? You must find a way to end this before. before. We need you to hold on just a little longer. We're working on a solution. There is no solution. Holy shit! We will not be undone. Hey, we heard your call. Suma, please, you must find it. There is no way that you will find it. If the boy brings it to the dead, then it's over. Use it. Is it true? Do we have to kill her? Yes, but not with all of this inside her. It would unleash the void onto the world. And the world would not survive it. Go, champion. You must reach June. She's the only hope. Yeah. I'll stay with her. We'll hold this as long as we can. Oh shit, all of the dialogue there was amazing. Did you see her in all caps say the cycle is ending at the end there? Oh my god, what Green. an amazing thing they just threw! I can't lose any more time. No more delays. No more entertaining doubters and petty disagreements. I need to get to June. Shit, that was cool. Wow, they're really playing with my expectations of when story gets delivered, right? Oh my god. I gotta, we gotta recap. Oh, we're not ending there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why am I here? Kate or Reen? She's barely holding it together. And Sue Wan is breathing heavily. Commander, why haven't you done what needs to be done? As in, you've got to kill me. That's what she said, right? Do what needs to be done. Sue Wan, is that you? You must find a way to end this before, before. We need you to hold on just a little longer. We're working on a solution. There is no solution. We will not be undone. What's this here? Was Kraukatorix's torment void as well? And is this Su Wan's torment speaking here? Is this the Elder Dragon saying we won't be under? Commander, look at Keith. We heard your call, Commander. Please, Su Wan, you must fight it. Orin even chimes in. 
There's nothing left to fight. If the Void's made it to the deepest corners of the mine, then it's over. I'll buy you some time, champion, but you must use it. Is it true? Do we have to kill her? Yes, but not with all the Void inside her. It would unleash it into the world. And the world would not survive. Go, champion. You must reach June. She's the only hope we have. And Kate says, I'll stay with Aurene. We'll hold this out as long as we can. No more questions. Go. The cycle is ending. And Aurene's in pain. Wow. That's crazy. I don't want to get the music here right now. Wow. So next time, June's Mansion, the Jade Sea and the battle with Sue 108. And possibly the conclusion of the game. Look at all the spuds that have made it into the sea now, by the way. Possibly, right? Oh, I saw the 80 here and I was like, whoa, what's this map? That's the Isle of Reflection, of course, which will probably be in the Let's Play later on. Possibly. I don't know how far we'll get in another six, seven hours in the next part, but you never know. The Void seems very familiar to Kraukatoric's Torment. Both Kraukatoric and Suwon have two personas. Exactly, yeah. I, I feel like Kraukatoric's Torment is Void. Kind of. But Kraukatoric's Torment's from having... I don't know. I don't know. I'll, we'll figure out the logic of the magic and stuff at a later point. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, the next part of the Let's Play, um, I am intending to do tomorrow, but it might be shorter because I think Kerry has the back half of the day off work. It kind of depends what's going on. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, yeah, uh, should be the next part tomorrow. If you missed my review, check it out, and um, I'll see you on YouTube very, very soon. Thank you, everybody. Uh, don't forget to check out Discord. Um, where we can uh, chat about this stuff. And uh, if you're thinking of buying the game as well, I do have a link in the description. Don't really want to go on about that too much, though. Uh, cheers, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for doing the strike mission. Thanks very much for the lovely feedback and awesome chat. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. For Let's Play End of Dragons, part five.